हेलो गाइस आई हैव अ गुड न्यूज़ फॉर यू एज यू कैन सी आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग सी ए इंटर कॉस्टिंग लेक्चर्स फॉर फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट फ्यू थिंग्स विच आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस लेक्चर्स आर फ्री 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 यू कैन एक्सेस दैम ओके माई नेम इज सी राहुल पंचाल एंड या यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द लेक्चर्स फॉर सी ए इंटर कॉस्टिंग अगेन दैट इज फॉर फ्री सर वट विल बी द ड्यूरेशन द ड्यूरेशन विल बी अप्रॉक्सिमेटली वन थर्टी आवर्स दैट विल बी योर ड्यूरेशन माई कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर इज नाइन नाइन सिक्स सेवन सेवन थ्री सिक्स सिक्स वन थ्री जस्ट इन केस यू हैव एनी डाउट विथ रेफरेंस टू दिस यू कैन जस्ट व्हाट्सएप ऑन दिस नंबर एंड वन मोर थिंग एम लॉन्चिंग फ्यू बुक्स एंड अगेन क्रैश कोर्स ऑफ कॉस्टिंग एंड अकाउंट्स ऑल्सो सो जस्ट इन केस यू वॉन्ट टू बाई दैट इन फ्यूचर यू कैन सेव दिस नंबर फॉर दैट मैटर एंड माई इंस्टा आई डी विल बी लॉस्ट इन कॉस्ट ओके एंड इफ यू want notes that is question bank for this course which you are going to watch or even the solution part what you can do is what you can do is you can check the description in the description and in the comment box link will be given google drive ka link will be given that's it and lectures will be conducted in basic in english language so just i can say just all the best guys start watching the lectures bye bye yeah bye bye acha now i need your participation guys agar if we talk about cost sheet sir cost sheet what is cost sheet sir it is very easy very easy understand now i will compare only two people there is one person and there is one person acha sir this person's name is a financial accountant financial accountant okay i don't have to tell you more about this you know uh, what he does then there is one more person sir there is one more person that is cost accountant okay let us compare the things sir if there was already one accountant known as a financial accountant what is the need of cost accountant sir what is the need of cost accountant understand if we talk about if we talk about this that is financial accountant his job was to tell the company see this is your he will prepare let us say pnl account profit and loss account of the company and he will tell the company and he will tell the company See boss this is your profit this is your profit of the company or loss of the company okay profit of the company or i can say loss of the company okay he will prepare all everything that journal ledger and all karke but if i talk about cost accountant what he will do if let us say company has three products let us say that when a company has three products tell me have you ever prepared three balance sheets or you have prepared only matlab uh, is it ever happened that for one company you have prepared two pnl accounts or there was only one pnl account only one there was only one pnl account because your financial accountant is more interested in company that at the end of the year this company has earned this much profit okay he is interested in that but as a cost accountant guys you guys will have to take the decision it means if company has three products you will have to make three different statements for each product product a product b product c it means i can say your financial accountant thinks about company that is holistic view and your cost accountant thinks about the product because he wants to take the decision so that thought process should be very clear your financial accountant thinks for the company and your cost accountant thinks from the product's perspective like simply in 10th examination let us say you got 80% the what to do sir whether you should take commerce science to decision if you want to take it cannot be taken based on this percentages you have to see the individual marks that in maths you got how much in science or whatever the subjects are there you got how much then what is your area of interest that will be uh, like indicated in that let us say that you got uh, this much in maths and all karke so we can say that is your strong subject and all karke so accordingly decisions can be taken so if you want to take any decision now you have to go in more depth and when you want to go in more depth, Depth, it means company should be divided in the parts this is product a b and c then you will you will have to think this is the sales or this is the cost this is the profit i can say sales minus cost you gonna get the profit profit will be calculated for each of the product and accordingly decisions will be taken and when i say this cost so for this cost i can say one uh, statement will be prepared which is cost sheet acha when i say this cost sheet cost will come cost which is connected with the product which cost will come all the cost guys which are connected with product okay now let us discuss about the cost 
let us start with the business only now so it will be very easy for us to understand okay so i gave you one idea that we gonna make the cost sheet and when i say cost sheet it means very easy uh, that uh, one statement will be there where we will write all the types of cost where we will write all the types of cost let me give you an example so that a uh, thought process will be more clearer to you okay uh, let us take uh, we are manufacturing something so let me give you an example so th things are more clear than let's take one example uh, we are in the business of manufacturing what let us say this pen only with which i am writing so guys uh, if you are in the business of manufacturing pen in order to manufacture this pen now think about this you are a businessman you you thought let's do one thing or let us manufacture this pen so tell me to manufacture this pen now tell me what are uh, types of cost that you guys are going to incur those you guys are going to incur sir you will incur this cost or you will incur that cost just tell me if you want to manufacture let us say marker pen tell me raw material raw material exactly plastic. plastic and ink i can say that uh, uh, in layman language i can simply say that you guys will have to incur a plastic and ink cost okay there is any other cost that you will incur machinery cost sorry machinery cost machinery cost so let us make one machinery also so we will incur machine cost okay in Labor. Labor. So let us. Uh, you are only telling. I am not saying anything. Whatever you are saying, I am writing. So there is a plastic and ink that is being converted into the uh, marker pen uh, through the by worker through machinery. करके. And this activity where uh, the production activity will be carried out. This activity is known as production activity. I hope you all understand that. This is a production activity where raw material is getting converted into finished product. Okay, that is a production activity. Now tell me another type of cost that you will incur. That's it. Uh, plastic, ink, and labor and machinery. Bus. Factory. Factory. Now you will require a factory. You won't do this uh, on road, right? You need one factory where you will carry out this production activity. So let us say this is apna factory. This is my factory where we will carry out production activity. Okay. storage facilities storage facilities will be there but let us say now this is my factory so in this factory there will be uh, let us say five machineries in this factory there are five machineries let us say that there are five machineries and on five machineries there are five workers who are uh, producing a product now i hope you understand to supervise them there will be one person who will be required that is one supervisor will be required who will supervise them that whether these guys are working or not then there will be let us say one helper who will be there to help them it means when the pens are produced he will keep that finished goods stock somewhere else uh, or he will uh, take that finished goods ka stock and he will put it in warehouse and all karke we can so there will be one helper also who will be there let us say there is one more sweeper who will clean the factory there will be one watchman so there are many people who work in factory i just gave you a rough idea obviously i cannot have a tour of factory with you ke chalo dekhte let us have a look these are the cost we incur i can just give you one imaginary example yeah these are incurred if you want you can visit the factory okay so now that is what it is now after factory uh, there is uh, one more cost which is incurred i can say there is one more department all the cost are done let us say with reference to factory now let us talk about this uh, let us talk about this which is uh, i can say that accountant there will be one office let us say in one office there will be computer and through that computer there will be one accountant who will pass the entries who will pass the entries and all karke so there will be one office also which will be there where accounting will be done through the accountant and then there will be one more office uh, where uh, showroom i can say there are salesmen there are salesmen let us say these are four salesmen who have a uh, one like we can say the card of the company where everything will be written these are my brochure we can say that uh, these are our products and yeah mrp is this and catalog or you can say so now once a customer approaches the company and once customer says please deliver this goods so we will deliver those goods so this is customer where we will have to deliver the goods and we will require a van and all for that matter so let us see that we have a van also for that matter so this is our van let's bring van here now where it is okay hmm 
so there is a van uh, by which uh, product will be uh, like uh, distributed to the customer okay dispatched to the customer now if i name this to sabse pehle we can see that the first cost which is incurred in the factory the first cost which is incurred in the factory this this and there is one more cost these are the three types of cost we can say then one which is incurred in factory one which is incurred in office one which is incurred in selling department so the cost which you guys incur in the factory with reference to raw material that is known as actually plastic and ink that is known as raw material raw it means it does not have our desired shape if you convert that into your desired shape that is known as finished goods okay so raw material will be there guys and there will be one uh, labor also uh, who will convert that product uh, specifically i can say he is a direct labor or here i can give you the specific names that is a better uh, approach i can say this is your direct material which is required then there will be a direct labor who will produce a product so that is direct labor after direct labor i can say there are direct expenses guys there are direct expenses like i can say there is a royalty royalty means what you know uh, royalty uh, will uh, you please uh, explain as to what is royalty royalty is basically like a for example a particular company is producing a product hmm. and it has like if another company wants to produce the same product hmm. then it has to pay certain amount of royalty to that person exactly that can be said as a royalty or i can simplify the example so i can say uh, there is one author let us say a uh, michael was and there is even publication let us say manan prakashan so manan prakashan knows how to uh, man uh, how to produce or manufacture textbooks but they does not know what content should be there in that textbook so michael was uh, michael uh, was i can say he will share his content with the manufacturer and that company will give him some uh, let us say money that in per book you will get 20 rupees that is whatever knowledge you share with someone technical know how which is known as technical know if you share something with someone and for that matter if you charge money that is your royalty that he has shared his content and he charges some money for that that is a royalty we can say in simple words okay so i can say there is a direct material direct labor and there can be some direct expense also then these are the only cost which are incurred in the factory no sir there will be a cost which is incurred for the supervisor for helper uh, for uh, let us say sweeper rent will be paid for the factory electricity will be paid that is a power consumption we can say so there are n number of costs which will be incurred like let us say rent let us say depreciation on machinery which is per annum fixed now these cost are known as indirect cost whatever cost you incurred now that is cost of a product whatever product you produce now only i told you as a cost accountant your major focus will be on the cost of a product you will calculate cost of a product so the cost of a product is actually divided into two parts one is a direct cost another one is indirect cost we will write that in detail but i give you the idea one is known as direct cost the second one is known as indirect cost when i say direct will factory be indirect sorry Uh, will the factory be an indirect? Oh, uh, just wait. I will explain. Do not worry. I will explain that. Okay, okay. Yes. So uh, just wait. Okay. Now I can say that indirect cost is also known as overheads. Indirect cost is also known as what overheads? We will write it down. It is just one explanation that you listen to me. Ah, uh, listen to me carefully for that matter. So I can say it is factory indirect cost, or I can say it is factory overhead, which is incurred in factory. And there is one more, which is office and administration overhead. and then there is one more which is selling and distribution overhead now understand let me answer his question as to why sir factory will be indirect i was about to come to this now listen to this whatever cost you incurred in the factory that is divided into two parts one is direct one is indirect okay now let me explain now first of all tell me when you manufacture one product when you manufacture one product let us say if you manufacture one pen and let us say you you require let us say that uh, you require a uh, uh, 10 grams of plastic i hope you understand if you manufacture two pens you will require 20 grams of plastic do you agree with me hello yes so does it have direct relationship we can say that it is a, it has a direct relationship karke yes okay now if i talk about the labor also i hope you understand to manufacture one marker paints or uh, one pen we require one hour so to manufacture two marker paints we will require two hours let us say that so that is again direct as the number of units increases your cost will also increase okay that is a direct relationship now tell me 
If you talk about rent which is incurred in the factory, is it during production activity? It means if I tell you, if you manufacture one marker pen, guys, you're gonna pay 20 rupees uh, as a rent. If you manufacture two marker pen, you will pay 40 rupees as a rent. Or tell me, rent is paid on per unit basis or it is paid in totality? It is totality. paid in totality. Na? Rent is like this, Kisor. Rent is 1 lakh rupees per month. Now, it does not matter. It does not have any connection with the direct connection with the production activity. It does have connection with the production activity, but it is indirect. It is not a direct, it is indirect connection. Like it is not like this that if you manufacture one pen, the cost will be 20. If you manufacture two, the cost will be 40. It will not increase proportionately. That's why that is known as indirect. Hello, is it clear? So then why is machine direct? When did I say machine is direct? I said royalty on machinery, royalty. It was just written over there. I never said that machine is direct. Depreciation on machinery is factory overhead. It is not a uh, direct expense. I just gave one example which is of royalty. Like if you manufacture one book, you will have to pay 20 rupees to the Michael Walls. If you manufacture two books, you will have to pay 40 then. Okay. Sir. Okay. Fine. So if I talk about rent and all karke or, or simply, if I talk about this fellow, if I talk about this fellow who is supervisor. Now if I talk about supervisor, understand, generally a definition is like this also. When I say direct, direct means something which is involved in production activity and which has a direct connection. Now if I talk about supervisor, he was directly involved. He was actually manufacturing a product. No, he was not manufacturing a product. He was supervising. And when I say he was supervising, he was directly involved or he was indirectly involved. He was indirectly now like guys uh, when you appear for your examination you have to write the paper so you are directly involved but before uh, when you write the paper there is a supervisor or i can say let us say that when you write the paper even before that we help you in preparation your family and let us say teachers help you in preparation so in that case teachers and your family these people are directly involved or indirectly involved in your examination i can say indirectly involved at the end you have to help yourself directly okay uh, these guys can help you but at the end you have to write the paper same way please understand this supervisor is involved but he is not actually producing so he is just supervising so it is indirect so supervisor salary and all karke rent if you talk about depreciation on machinery again so these all are indirect cost only two costs will be direct when you manufacture any product two thoughts will come in your mind as and when i say sir ye banane ka hai. you want to manufacture this you will say sir material lagega labor lagega so these are direct other than this mostly everything is indirect hello is it clear yes sir ha dusre log khana kha ke aaye ki nahi everyone has to say yes if you understand if you do not you have to tell me sir nahi samjha please repeat okay fair enough ha chalo so, आगे बढ़ते so let us go ahead uh, 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 now now so having said that it is clear Achha, now one more thing there can be indirect material also actually I will come to that later on but chalo, I feel let us discuss here only now let us talk about uh, direct uh, indirect material like tell me in factory I hope you understand to manufacture this pen to manufacture this pen you guys require a uh, material you guys require like plastic and ink like in this is the only material which is used in factory no in factory let us say you require coal also to heat up the machinery you require coal let us say there is a you require one cotton ka cloth we can say just to clean the machinery or there is oil and greasing that is oil and grease is also required so that servicing will be done of the machinery like when you talk about the bike the petrol is required but other than petrol even certain oils are also required so if i talk about this uh, to run the machinery uh, there will be a servicing which will be done after two months so guys after every two months you will require oil oiling will be done so oil is it it should be a direct metal or it should be indirect metal oil grease then cotton's cloth wo. these are material but these are indirect because that does not form part of your product it means if any material is forming part of your product it is a direct material now coal you cannot see the coal in marker pen right so it is indirect oil and grease that is everything is indirect or the direct will be something which can be seen which can be identified from the product that can be direct and the one who manufactures that product that will be direct labor other than that everything is indirect so whatever cost you incurred in the factory so 
टू कॉस्ट वी कैन से जनरली मेन दैट इज डायरेक्ट मेटल एंड डायरेक्ट लेबर दीज आर डायरेक्ट अदर देन दैट देर आर अदर कॉस्ट आल्सो व्हिच आर इनकर्ड दीज आर इनडायरेक्ट कॉस्ट तो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर एज टू दिस फैक्ट्री ओवरहेड इज योर इनडायरेक्ट कॉस्ट हेलो इज इट क्लियर यस ओके फेयर इनफ चलो लेट्स प्रोसीड अहेड सो देयर इज वन कॉस्ट which you incurred on the head of the factory so that is known as factory overhead on this head you have incurred then once the factory head we can say there is one more head there is one more department where you incur the cost and that department is office where accounting is done like depreciation on computer accountant salary office rent all those stuff those will come over here that is your office expenses that is office and administration overhead then sir why office is there just to calculate the profit just to calculate the cost accounting purpose okay so there is one office for accounting purpose now now having said that there is uh, one more department which will be there let us say showroom is there or there is will be one warehouse let us you can say anything i am saying showroom let us say there is one showroom there are salesmen these salesmen are working and yeah they have a catalog with them and once the order comes they have to dispatch it to the customer okay so here is a customer so i can say whatever salary which is given to salesman is known as selling whatever rent is of showroom that is known as selling but when you distribute the goods to the customer that is i can say transportation cost the transportation cost is nothing but distribution so that is known as selling and distribution overhead so on this head the cost is incurred i hope a uh, little bit is cleared now we can start writing the things okay so let's start writing the things so let's start writing now okay so uh, point number 1 now in cost sheet please write with me point number 1 costing please write it is a technique to calculate cost of a product it is a technique to calculate cost of a product so it is a technique in which what we are going to calculate cost of a product so now the second question arises what is cost of a product so so costing means to calculate the cost of a product means when you add all the expenses and when you take the total that is nothing but costing okay so to calculate cost of a product and when i say cost of a product cost of a product cost of a product means total of all expenses incurred from i can say from consumption of raw material till finished goods is sold in the market so sir what is the meaning of cost of a product cost of product means uh, from the time you purchase or you consume the raw material uh, till you sell the finished product uh, whatever expense you incurred in between when you take the total of that that becomes cost of that product here only we have seen you can see that you purchase raw material then labor then machine then factory office selling and distribution so everything is your cost of a product one is direct one is indirect
Now, having said that, so first we have said costing means uh, it is a technique to calculate the cost of a product. Then we have seen what is your cost of a product. If you guys are done with the writing part, please uh, type uh, D in uh, message chat box. So I will come to that you guys have written till here. Please type D so that I will understand. Yeah, you guys have written. Uh, everyone or you can send me in DM also that is everyone that is quite okay so, uh -huh. so many people have written that is okay so I came to know that you guys have written that okay so now I can start with the next part which is your cost of a product is actually divided into two parts so let us uh, classification of cost of a product first we wrote meaning so first what we wrote is meaning of your cost of a product now we will go we are going for a classification so if I talk about cost of a product it that cost which belongs to the product is divided into two parts one is direct cost the second one is indirect cost which is popularly known as overheads on which head you have incurred the cost that is overheads so you can just divide your uh, cost of a product into two parts one is direct cost and yes the second one is indirect cost uh, when you talk about uh, direct cost, uh, there are uh, three costs which we can write. Direct material, then direct labor, then direct expenses. Okay. Then here we go, I can say factory overhead. Now from the from now onwards always remember I will never write overheads okay. As in when I say overheads I will always write OH that means overheads. It is an abbreviation which will be used uh, in the entire subject. So please remember this write somewhere or you can make one page only for abbreviation. So go to the first page and write overheads is means OH okay. So OH is equal to overhead. So now it is factory overheads. Here it is uh, office and administration overheads. Yes, guys. Then there is a selling and distribution overheads. then there is a selling and distribution overhead okay so having said that uh, we have understood what is costing we have understood what is cost of a product and we have divided our cost of a product into three or uh, two parts we can see direct cost and indirect cost that is direct and indirect okay now again there are different names also for direct material and direct labor which we will do like direct material is also known as raw material consumed this is also known as direct wages productive wages this is also known as chargeable expenses but as of now i am giving you a brief idea yeah this is direct and this is indirect okay everything will be done step by step we will proceed okay now now Having said this, uh, having said this, uh, if I talk about uh, raw material now, we guys will have to make the format of cost sheet. We guys will have to make the format of cost sheet. Uh, it is preferable. Uh, maybe uh, I will take the fresh page. Uh, yeah, how much line do we require? So uh, yeah, it is preferable. Uh, I will take a fresh page only to write the format of cost sheet. It will be up to you whether you want to write it on the same page or I will recommend to write it on the next page. Few points will be written here. So please, conjusi nahi karne ka. Don't be that much here. You can just leave that page and you can come to the next uh, part. And here you can write format of cost sheet. Format of cost sheet. Okay. When you guys talk about the format of cost sheet, a uh, few things you should do. Uh, uh, take care of that is uh, in the format first of all it is not necessary guys that cost sheet will be prepared always for one year cost sheet can be prepared for three months yes sir that is quarterly or it can be prepared semi uh, annually that is six months or it can be prepared for 12 months also or it can be prepared for like even i can talk about this when you go for a picnic right when you go for a picnic you make a cost sheet like let us say the picnic is for five days 
you make a cost sheet that in those five days what is the cost that you're gonna incur so cost sheet can be prepared for five days also so it can be prepared for five days one year and all so that's why as and when i write this because as of now i don't know if the question is there it will be given it is for one year or one month or one week okay so as of now what i'm writing is cost sheet uh, we can see that cost sheet for the period ended cost sheet for the period ended when i say period it can be a month year whatever it is so cost sheet for the period ended okay now when you say cost sheet for the period ended ended now we need to make some columns so when you make the columns uh, simple uh, the first column will be particulars then there will be one column for total and there will be one column for cpu now what is the meaning of cpu so you can uh, write somewhere here only cost per unit so cpu is nothing but guys cost per unit okay no Here only we have discussed, here only we guys have discussed that sir, when you want to manufacture any product, sir, first what do you require? Sir, you require raw material that is plastic and ink. So that is known as direct material or it is known as raw material. So I can give you the heading. Please give the heading with me as a direct material. In bracket you can say raw material, direct or raw material consumed. direct material or we can say raw material consumed sir what is the formula i will give you a basic formula then uh, little bit additions will be there in between when we solve the question but i can see that this is achha, do you know the formula of raw material consumed or uh, if at all you have done somewhere else otherwise i'm going to explain that but stock plus purchases plus outstanding less closing stock acha ye kahan pe dekha tha matlab uh, from where you know accounts, this man. in accounts uh, okay so you know this from accounts to theek hai let us write then i will explain uh, it is a uh, opening stock of raw material acha again for raw material i will write rm so you can write somewhere rm is equal to raw material on the top if you don't have a space you can write here only rm is equal to raw material so few things which will come across in entire costing so we will have abbreviations for that uh, in examination it is not preferable to write abbreviation okay Uh, for overheads actually module also writes that oh but that is okay but it is preferable you always write full form opening stock of raw material plus purchase of raw material plus when you purchase the raw material you will have to incur carriage expenses that is transportation expenses that is expenses on purchases like carriage inward freight inward expenses on purchases transportation cost we can say then uh, if there is something that you are less subtract that is a closing stock of raw material here you can write when purchase of raw material it is net it means if there is some purchase return obviously you will have to subtract okay if there is a purchase return you will have to subtract that it is net purchase though expenses on purchases then there is a closing stock of raw material okay guys uh, that will be subtracted and there is one more thing which will be subtracted that is sale of scrap of material so having said that when you do this when you do this this uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, these two will be subtracted then you guys get the answer for this then you will get your uh, cost per unit and your total we are going to make the statement it is just a format it is just a format okay now let me explain as to why this formula is there let me explain as to why this formula is there okay uh, then uh, maybe we will take one short break then we will again come to this point now let me explain why this is there okay uh, simple suppose there is one box 
or there is one uh, whatever the thing is there at home and there are 10 biscuits in that uh, dabba we can say there are 10 biscuits in opening okay opening so these are already there 10 biscuits or whatever you like to eat okay uh, then you guys have purchased then you guys have purchased let us say your mom has purchased 20 more biscuits now uh, these are in dabba in total how many uh, biscuits are there let us say 30 packets are there so opening plus purchase already there were 10 uh, mom has purchased 20 so now there are 30 packets now uh, let us say mom went somewhere biscuits these are biscuits now mom, mom went somewhere let us say uh, any any place then she came after two days and what she saw is there are only uh, five biscuits in that dabba there were 10 biscuits she purchased 20 so there should be a stock of 30 but when she went and she uh, came oh, i can say she came back she came to know there are only five biscuits in that box so she can say that 25 biscuits are consumed by you 25 biscuits are consumed by you okay so it is always uh, like i can say biscuits consumed same goes for the company this is like go down in the go down there were uh, 10 let us say kgs of raw material we have purchased 20 kgs of raw material so there should be a stock of 30 kgs like in once that week is ended or let us say that month is ended we come we came to know that sir there is a stock of only 50 kg 5 kgs sorry so 25 kgs where did it go so we must have we must have used this we must have used this in machinery this must have went inside the machinery and from that raw material we must have produced our finished product okay this is something which is consumed by machinery so this raw material is known as consumed it is consumed by whom it is consumed by machinery whenever write by machinery but huh, it is raw material consumed but it is by what machinery it is silent like we can say in love Katega is silent. Pyar mein katega silent hota hai. Vaise yaha pe raw metal consume mein by machinery is silent. Okay, thik hai. Nevertheless, so you can understand this formula very well. Matlab aisa kuch jada taklif nahi hai. You can understand why we wrote opening, then purchase, then this subtracted closing. Ha. In between, go down, in go down, if there is a scrap which is generated, obviously that will be subtracted. And when you purchase the raw metal, you will have to incur some expenses. Again, that is a cost, so it will be added to the cost. If it is a scrap which is the income for you it will be subtracted if in warehouse or uh, some material got scrapped and you you sold it so you got some money so it is a scrap which is subtracted okay we will solve the questions okay as of now material is done now once the material is consumed by machinery this much is consumed okay this much is consumed now this is done by whom this is done by our worker so that is known as direct labor or direct wages we will have to pay him also direct labor or wages Okay, so so I can see that यहाँ पे ये भी आ जाएगा. Now when you take the अच्छा there is one more thing which is direct expenses. There is one more thing that is direct expenses. When you take the total, you will get one answer. When you take the total of this, you will get one answer. And sir, that is known prime as cost. prime cost. This is the primary cost which is incurred by the company. The first cost, prime, the primary, matlab, subse for, the first cost which is incurred. When, when I talk about any product, this cost will come in your mind. Yes, sir, you will incur material, labor and all. Karke, bhai, sir. So that is your prime cost. Now, other than your direct cost, other than your prime cost, there are heads on which you incur the cost, which is indirect. That is your factory overhead, office overhead and selling overhead. That will also come into the picture. So now, once you guys are done with this, once you guys are done with the prime cost, now you will have to add which cost that is factory overhead. Factory overhead, which is also known as work overhead. So either you can say it is factory overhead or it can be known as work overhead. Now there will be a list. There will be a list actually. The list can be like this. Uh, rent and then there is a depreciation on machinery, then supervisor salary those will come in inner column and whatever is the final answer that will be shown here like you can see that for raw material also i wanted the final answer but for, for that matter if any working is done that should be shown in the inner column so i can say the list will be given when we solve the question we will see that uh, like rent and all karke so we can see that that will come over here 
this was your prime cost this was your cost this was your direct cost which was incurred in the factory but other than direct cost in factory we incur indirect cost also that is factory overhead now if you guys add this now if you guys add this obviously you will get one thing that is known as factory cost factory oblique works cost but 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 this is known as gross factory cost now the question arises sir why like this why it is known as gross and not net to understand this Achha. Uh, when uh, we are making this cost sheet, first of all, you should be very clear with the thought process that when you make this cost sheet, this cost sheet is prepared uh, for a manufacturing organization or a trading organization, the, the company which is engaged in manufacturing activity or a trading activity. Manufacturing. manufacturing. Obviously, we guys are converting raw material into a finished product. It means it is a manufacturing activity. Something is being produced. If it is trading activity, it is very easy, sir. At whatever price you purchase, that becomes your cost. That's it. And the sales, it is quite easy for that matter. Trade, uh, manufacturing is quite difficult. You need to take the total of all the cost which are incurred in manufacturing activity. So the first one is this material. You can understand this now. If I uh, show you this uh, diagram here, yeah. you can have idea. In factory, whatever expenses are incurred, these are the direct expenses. So the, these are direct expenses. And other than those direct, these are incurred which are indirect. So I can say, see this one. These are direct expenses and then other expenses which are incurred are indirect expenses. And once you take the total of this, obviously you're going to get the factory cost. But sir, then why you say gross factory cost, sir? Gross. Understand. Now if I talk about any manufacturing organization, there are three types of stock those you will find. One is raw material, that is a plastic let us say, uh, on which we did not start work. Abhi tak uske upar kaam nahi hua still it is in raw format it is lying in the go down we have not started working on that there must be some uh, there must be some subjects on which you did not start yet it is in raw metal format okay now there are some subjects you started working on that like uh, i can say that there is a plastic which is lying in the go down is raw material yes sir i can get this once you manufacture a pain from that raw material that is your finished goods which you can sell it in the market yes so raw material is clear what is finished goods is clear which is a pen but sometimes i hope you understand there is a possibility that you can start working on something it is year end but at the year end we started working but we haven't finished yet which is known as wip work is in progress Kaam chalu hai. we can say we can say that it is work is in progress okay that is your wip we can say that it is in process we started working only 40 percent work is done and in our case, if I talk about you, so whether you are raw material, WIP or finished goods, because you guys have cleared your foundation examinations, we can say, to CA ke liye tumhara kaam to shuru ho gaya hai, to you are not raw material. Ha, but the work you are in inter, to it is in WIP, matlab you guys are in work in progress, we can say, and I am, I am finished goods, like I did this course, I finished it, so I am finished goods, we can say here now, there is no work which is yet to be done for you, there is a lot to be done, there is enter, then there is a final also, okay, so WIP is nothing but you started working on that, uh, but uh, till now we haven't finished yet, okay, so now, mujhe bata do, just tell me one thing, uh, where will you keep the WIP, I hope you will keep, uh, I hope you understand that will be kept in uh, factory only, Alright, because uh, we have to work on that, na? so it should be there in factory, na? hello, you agree with yes, me? Yes sir. Ha. So fine, so uh, that is a raw material, uh, that is a WIP which will be kept in factory only because we have to finish that work, okay, uh, the production work. So now, you need to adjust that stock also, raw material stock, uh, the WIP stock will be adjusted, we are done with raw material stock, it is being adjusted, now there is a WIP stock, so you guys will add opening stock of WIP. less closing stock of WIP and then you get is nothing but your net but generally we do not write net even if you write net that is okay if only works cost you write it means it is net only so it is net factory cost or net works cost Achha. for stock we never calculate uh, this for stock or uh, uh, CPU is not calculated, we will discuss that. 
because it is not a cost it is a stock which is lying in the go down it is not a cost which is incurred during the year so we never calculate cpu for that वैसे so it is not calculated okay ha there are notes which are yet to be written for that okay do not worry for cpu column i will give you separate note only for cpu column as of now your focus should be on these two columns particulars and total acha now if you want uh, even we can discuss the logic also sir why opening is only added and why closing is subtracted there is a logic for that also there is a logic for that also okay if nothing is given in the question generally tell me when you start working or when you start working whatever production you have done during this year let us say there were opening wip let us say 10 units and then the input material is 200 this is current in current year input you started the input current input is 200 there were already 10 units which were in wip now you have finished you have produced let us say 50 units tell me first you will complete which production like first you will uh, start working on those opening wip or first you will start with the current year ka input opening obviously opening because something which is pending first finish it off so i can say that during this year tell me during this year if you have produced 50 units i want to know its cost let us say there is one cake on that cake you did 60% job uh, in the let us say that yesterday and you incurred 600 rupees today it was opening wip today it was opening wip and then you did 40% job on that cake so now you incurred 400 rupees if i tell you today what is the cost of the cake so what will you say total cost of the cake like if you want to sell it so first you will have to calculate the cost now then you will add your profit so what is the cost of the cake is it 400 or it is 1000 uh, 1000 now you cannot say that sir my cost is only 400 let me add 100 ka profit and let me sell it for 500 how can you do this even this was your cost only na so you need to add that so i can say that at the end 1000 is your cost so what you did you added this cost opening wip so it will be added it will be added over here okay and obviously then closing wip is something which is now here let us say i can say the closing wip is something which is not produced in this year it will be produced when it will be produced in the next year next. so when in the next year it will be produced this cost will be added there in that that year's cost sheet not this year's cost sheet uh are you guys getting it as to why it should be added and why it should be subtracted hello yes sir ha to so, 600 should be added where here no it should be added here in 1000 so when you produce that product one cake is produced here so the 600 should be added over here that is in the year in which it is completed these are closing wips these are not completed during this year so when you complete them in the next year add in that year so it will become opening wip in the next year and then it will be added okay okay otherwise you can just remember you know that sir opening is always added and closing is always subtracted that is a simple thing which you already know okay now having said that uh, once you get the factory cost now there is one more thing there is one more thing that you need to take care of that is what sir that is a q wrap acha i just forgot to do this but sir, why did you put a dash in the code wait for that i will give you a separate note for cpu column i told you that that i will give you separate note for that otherwise i just gave you one statement that because it is a stock understand otherwise just wait for it maybe let us write a note on that then you will understand as of now it is not explained let us say it is not explained okay Okay. Sir. Your focus should be on these two columns. CPU column will be explained once we are done with the format of cost sheet. Just wait for that. Okay. Now, let us proceed ahead. Ah, uh, acha. Ah, uh, let me do one thing. Ah, uh, just uh, let me just change the color. Okay. So here we go. We have our factory uh, cost with us now. Once the product is made in the factory i hope you understand even we have one department which is known as quality control department it means whatever product we have made whether does it have any defect or not that is it should be defect free because if the product is defected and if it goes to the customer then if he returns back then we will have to incur more expenses and even customer will be not satisfied our goodwill it will hamper our goodwill so there are many companies who have a department which is a quality control department inspection will be done over there so there are other certain costs which are incurred by the company other than this this is the manufacturing which is happening for production then after production also there are certain costs which are incurred 
so i have used one shortcut for that which is a q wrap i can say q wrap when you say q wrap and then there is a minus crap watch it so there is a q wrap minus crap what is this q wrap minus crap so let us understand that okay when i say q please write with me it is a quality control cost uh, initial uh, half an hour now this will be thoda sa boring because we are just understanding the format calculations will start after half an hour then you will enjoy the subject but uh, initially you will have to bear with me for the format okay so the q is nothing but quality control cost quality control cost which is incurred r is nothing but uh, research and uh, development then there is one administration uh related to production i can say administration related to production acha for production i will use like this p r o d then there is and that is production okay so you can write it somewhere then there is a p which is a primary packing cost then there is a, a sale of scrap during production well, let's do one thing let us keep it here in the column this is known as cost of production total whatever goods we have produced this is my final cost of those goods which is produced which is in shortcut known as cop which is your cost of production so quality control whatever goods you have produced guys you guys have done there is a research and development which is conducted even before you produce a product you guys conduct a research also then there is a administration with reference to that production activity design of the product and all for that matter we incur a cost then there is a primary packing now what is a primary packing let us understand when i say primary packing it means if i talk about colgate i hope it does not happen that you go to the shopkeeper and you tell him uh, i need colgate then he then you will take your brush and then he will give you the colgate on your brush it does not happen he will give you the colgate and there will be a tube which is inside that that colgate will be there inside the tube so let us say this is the tube my drawing is not that good but let us say that uh this is a tube inside which there is a colgate so this packing the tube which is there that is known as primary packing which is necessary in order to sell this product which is a necessary packing now when colgates are distributed from manufacturer to wholesaler these are distributed in one carton one box will be there inside that box uh, these colgate tubes will be there in box so i can see that the box the cost which is incurred for this box is it a primary packing or it is a secondary packing if i talk about that it is a box if i talk about it is a secondary packing so if i talk about box that secondary packing it should come in which head it should be factory overhead office or selling and distribution selling and distribution, selling and distribution. because it is for the distribution purpose the box which is used but this primary packing it is a part of production activity only and when you conduct a production activity during that production process only you use this primary packing which is a tube okay so that is it is a, that way it is added and then other than that there is one more thing which is a scrap which is generated during production activity now there are two types of scraps you can see you may get confused there is one scrap which is here there is one scrap which is here sir what is the difference between these two scraps one which is subtracted from raw material and the another which is subtracted after the factory cost is calculated understand now suppose there is a supplier there is a supplier goods are supplied from the supplier it these goods are kept in store and from store 
दिस गुड्स कम्स टू द फैक्ट्री एंड फ्रॉम फैक्ट्री वी मैन्युफैक्चर रॉ मटेरियल इज गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड इनटू फिनिश प्रोडक्ट दिन गुड्स आर बीइंग सप्लाइड टू द कस्टमर सो दिस इज द चेंज इन बिटवीन अगेन देर इज अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन चेन लाइक होलसेलर एंड रिटेलर आई एम नॉट गेटिंग इन दैट मच डिटेल बट आई एम जस्ट सींग दैट बिकॉज वी आर फैक्ट्री वी आर अ मैन्युफैक्चर तो वी कैन से गुड्स कम्स फ्रॉम द सप्लायर टू द स्टोर फ्रॉम स्टोर इट कम्स टू द फैक्ट्री नाउ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट प्लास्टिक लेट अस रॉ मटेरियल प्लास्टिक I want to know the cost that is raw material consumed. Now, there are two types of scrap which are there. The one scrap which is generated here, when the goods comes from the supplier to the store, so you know the Indian roads. Then other than that, so let us say that these goods came inside the factory. When you keep these goods inside the store, we can say there is a possibility that a certain products may get damaged. or there is a scrap which can be generated then you will have to sell it in the market that is we haven't started production activity on those raw materials still it got scrapped so that is that scrap which is there in the fact uh, warehouse this is all about warehouse that is scrap of material which was generated in the godown only we haven't started production on that but now when you start production now there is a raw material then a raw material consumed then labor will come so his cost will come because it is in factory factory order will come then when the production activity is going out you know that there is something known as normal loss when the production activity is carried out there is something known as normal loss it means uh, when uh, let us say that you want to manufacture uh, let us say you want to juice simple in simple words you want juice so if you want uh, sugar cane juice uh, what you can do is guys that sugar cane will be put inside the machinery and you will get juice is it i hope you understand there is there will always be a uh, something known as a scrap which will be generated or let us say if you want to manufacture or not if you want to manufacture you want shirt so you ask tailor sir how much matlab uh, what the material ka length kitna chahiye wagera so he told you that i need 4 meter of cloth he said okay then i asked him sir kitna wo shirt ke andar jayega so he said 3.5 meter will go let it will be used and 0.5 meter will be a scrap now i hope you understand it is which scrap it is during the production activity it means when he started working there is a cutting and all that will happen and because of it some scrap will be generated that is during production activity so that scrap if i talk about you cannot subtract it from here because it is not generated here in warehouse it is generated once you put labor also factory overhead also so after incurring all the expenses that scrap is generated so it should be subtracted once you take the total of all then it should be subtracted and not from the this raw material hello are you guys getting the difference between two scraps one which is generated in the godown when we did not start working on those scrap and this is another scrap which is generated during production activity hello Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Fine. Sir. Yes, please. So, so the first uh, scrap, like an example, could be like the first scrap. It will be uh, the plastic which is not uh, up to that quality, or it is damaged plastic. It is damaged it is plastic. Uh, and we took example of plastic, but I hope you understand there are certain products which should be uh, kept under certain temperatures. Otherwise, uh, those will be like I can say those will expire, or those will not be in the condition where we can use it as a raw material. Like if I talk about meat, so hello. Yes. or any other example like dairy products we can say that that we are in the business of manufacturing sweets and all so we need let us say milk so milk is also a perishable product so there is a possibility that we did not start working on still before that only it got like uh, we can say damaged we can say or it is something which cannot be used for production now yes sir okay fine so we have understood this uh, as to there are two types of scrap if it is before production it should be subtracted from raw material if it is after production that is after incurring all the cost then it should be subtracted from here now once you guys get cost of production you will have to add one thing add opening stock of finished goods less closing stock of finished goods Add opening stock of finished goods less a uh, closing stock of finished goods. अच्छा. Having done that again because it is a stock, 
you should not calculate uh, we will make a working out for that do not worry okay now having said that uh, once you do this you gonna get one cost which is known as cost of goods sold in shortcut we will say it is a cogs goods which are sold now let us discuss why this name is given we have discussed why it is gross and why it is net now we will discuss why it is cop and why it is cogs i will have to give an example and yes your thought process will be very much clear with this why it is cop and why it is cogs okay so uh, once you write this now i will give you an example just listen to me carefully okay now here we go let us say that uh, let us say that you guys have produced uh, let us say the, here we have units and here we have cost let us say that you produced 100 units and the cost of 100 units is uh, let us say 10 at the rate of rupees uh, 2 so it is 200 okay now is it necessary that whatever you produce it will be sold or there is a possibility that you can have a stock there is a possibility you understand you can have a stock also let us say in this question in this question there is no opening stock there is no opening stock so out of 100 units 20 units uh, or let us say 10 units are still lying in the go down uh, we can say chalo uh, 10 units are still lying in the go down so i can say i must have sold 90 units so i have produced 100 units from 100 units i can say we have sold 90 and 10 units are still lying in my go down at the end of the year which is my closing stock now if i talk about this value i hope you understand if uh, every unit is produced at the rate of rupees 2 the cost per unit is 2 rupees it is cpu so the cost of 10 units will be 20 and 90 units will be 180 what, whatever units we have sold now if i talk about this you understand how many units you have produced 100 what is the cost of those 100 units 200 so wh that's why this name is given cost of production production is 100 and the cost of which is 200 that's why it is known as cost of production now guys you have sold how many units i can see you have sold 90 units so you can see it is good, good sold you guys have sold 90 units and whatever units you have sold what is the cost of those units this is your 180 the cost is 180 because cpu cost per unit is 2 rupees so the cost of those 90 units is 180 that's why it is known as cost of goods which are being sold by organization i hope that is clear that why this terminology is used why it is known as cop and why it is known as cogs and in between there is an adjustment of opening and closing stock of finished goods so we are done with format till here if you have any doubt if you say nice sir why it is like this if you have any queries please uh, you can come up or you can ask your doubts please don't ask me any doubt with reference to CPU, I will discuss that. CPU column, do not ask any doubt, I will explain that. Other than that, if you have any doubt with reference to these two columns, you can ask me. Okay, here we go. So, let us go for this. Now, tell me, there is one more expense which is yet to come. Uh, which one is that? You have calculated the cost of goods. This is a cost factory cost of the goods we can say whatever we have uh, sold but there is one more cost which will be incurred when you sell the product tell me which cost will be incurred when you sell the product selling and distribution, selling and distribution. or i can say when you make your trading account there is a trading account and there is a pnl account so in pnl account we write everything like uh, direct material direct labor factory overhead and all karke. now there are two overheads which comes here one is office and administration and the one is selling and distribution okay so yeah here you will write two overheads that is uh, add add okay that is uh, even if you do not uh, have that symbol that is okay if you do not write anything it means it is added only but still i am writing let us say it is added and added or let's not write the symbol okay now what you will write is uh, general office and administration general office and administration overhead selling and distribution overheads
now having said that this is the final cost there is no other cost which is left you have added everything whatever cost you can imagine all the cost are being added now the cost which you get is your total cost or i can say cost of sales in shortcut it is known as cos cos it means it is known as cost of sales okay when you say that cost of sales now you need to add your profit this is known as cost sheet a piece of paper where entire cost is written that is a cost sheet actually where entire cost is written this is known as cost sheet now if you want to add profit and you will get your sales value here this is nothing but your selling price to write down this is your selling price that is the price of one unit where at what price you sell the product okay that is your selling price okay so that is what the format is now there is one discussion which is pending you can see that you can see that administration expenses is written here also and here also how it is possible to understand uh this is the revised format of cost sheet earlier the format was quite different this is the revised format of cost sheet okay so now understand what i am saying is uh if we talk about this here first of all first of all uh, here if we talk about to understand if i just ask you sir there are two possibilities either the expense can be incurred for the production of a product or are you done with this or it is uh, still pending from your side are you done with the writing part yes sir done okay now 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 the thing is whatever expense you incurred either it can be incurred for the production of a product or for the sale of the product so there are two purposes either you will incur it for the purpose of production or it will be incurred for the purpose of sales okay if it is incurred for the purpose of production it will come above this that is cost of production if it is incurred for the purpose of sales it means it will come after cost of goods sold when you sell it you will incur it karke okay now if i talk about factory overhead you have a very clear cut idea tell me factory overhead so whatever expense which is incurred in the factory it is incurred on those units which are produced or it is incurred on those units which are sold which are produced produced so i can say factory overhead is incurred for the purpose of production activity and when i talk about the salesman commission or i can say the packing and all karke which is secondary packing we can say distribution that is a transportation carriage outward we can say the distribution whatever we incurred it is always incurred on those units which are sold by organization so that is selling and distribution is incurred for sales but now i hope you understand now there is a problem if i talk about office and administration tell me accountant if you talk about accountant what will you do that uh, that expenses incurred for the production activity or for the sales activity for both na we can say hello yes sir hmm so for both so we can say that production no, that uh, accountant salary if we talk about so it is incurred for quantity produced or quantity sold so he will take into account everything he calculates everything for all produced production also and sales also he will take accounting of everything so that account final final account will be prepared or trading panel will be prepared he will consider everything which happens in the company okay now here we go then what to do with this sir so i hope you understand then you need to assume something that either it can be a production part or it can be sales part so first of all do we actually incur the cost when you produce a product office cost no you do not incur it okay so then if it is incurred for the purpose of production that can be seen as a wrong and you can see also your uh, final accounts when you make your final account what do you assume that uh, office and administration is written with selling and distribution right so it means you assume it is incurred for the purpose of sales it does not have a connection with the production activity hello are you agree with me na when you write office and administration it is not written uh, on this account trading and manufacturing it is written in pnl account it means it is indirect we say it is incurred for the it is not incurred for the purpose of production we say that you have to assume something because it is not actually incurred for production or not it is not actually incurred for sales also then you have to take one stand so that's why we say it is like pnl account 
so your general administration office and administration over it it will form part of this Achha. but now i'm saying is tell me i hope you understand in factory also there is a possibility there will be one uh, accountant or one person who can work with the computer who will make the budget key how many units should be produced what should be your raw material cost and all what should be the labor cost and then what should be the design of the product so he must be uh, making the designs of the products key this should be my product and all karke. so if that computer or that account that fellow is there on the computer who is using his brain for the purpose of production that how you should produce the product this should be the design and these many labors we require he will make some budgets so then that will come over here that is administration which is related to production or is it clear there is a possibility now certain administration expenses are specifically incurred for the production activity like when i say before you manufacture a product you need to make the design so designing is something but connected with production only now when you make the product Baba, it, it is clear what i am saying hello whatever i want to convey i hope you are getting the message that yeah it is clear okay now here we go uh, so we are discuss uh, we are done with the format okay uh, let's do one thing uh, let us take one break and then uh, after break we will come and we will uh, write the whatever part which is pending huh. the basic format is done we will uh, revise the format also but as of now let us have a break uh, i did not give you the break after one hour okay it is 6 20 so let's have a break for uh, three minutes and then we'll come after three minutes okay okay uh, so till now we are done with the basic format guys uh, which is this uh, that is the format which will be used and you will have understanding you will be able to buy heart everything do not worry so this is a basic structure of the format uh, let me revise the entire format now for you okay uh, let me revise the entire format it is like this please understand this if i talk about say, cost of a product cost is first of all divided into two parts that is one is direct cost one the another one is indirect cost yes sir if i talk about direct cost sir it has uh, three parts okay sir direct material then direct labor and then direct expenses sir okay sir when you take the total of these three you get prime cost which is primary cost sir yes it is understood now i can say that there is one overhead which is incurred which is factory overhead once you add this factory overhead, you are going to get the cost of the factory that is gross factory cost this is indirect cost of the factory this is direct cost of the factory taking the total you're gonna get the gross factory cost but now sir why it is known as gross factory cost the quite the thing is very easy the seek because he, there is a wip stock which is yet to be adjusted so make adjustment add opening stock of wip subtract closing stock of wip and at the end this is there is one that is wip if i talk about one is opening stock another is closing stock then you will get factory cost or or this is also known as works cost because the production activity happens that is work happens in a factory so either it is known as factory cost or it is known as works cost once you talk about the factory cost now the when the goods are produced then there are certain expenses uh, there are some other heads which are incurred that is q wrap that is i can say if there is a factory beside the factory there is one person uh, whose name is q who is doing wrap and that wrap is nothing but scrap so after factory once the factory is over there is one person known as q who is doing wrap so that is q wrap and that wrap is scrap now when i talk about q it means quality control r means research and development a means administration which is connected with the production activity then there is a primary packing which is incurred guys primary packing then there is a scrap which is generated during production activity having done this scrap should be subtracted because it is income then you're gonna get a cost of production once you know that this this is your cost of goods which are being produced by you this is your cost of production you make you're gonna make the adjustment for opening stock and closing stock of finished goods once you make the adjustment for your opening stock and closing stock of finished goods opening and closing stock of finished goods you will get cogs which is cost of goods sold and when you actually sell the product there are two expenses we say we incur one is office and administration which is general which comes in the PL account then there is a selling and distribution once you take the total you gonna get the total cost uh, which is also known as a cost of sales so plus a profit that is a cost at the time of sale when you actually sold the product at that point of time what was your cost which is cost of sales 
plus profit and you will get your sales so this is a basic income statement or basic cost sheet once you solve three four questions uh, you will have you will be able to buy hard this thing do not worry about this okay now having said that now there are few notes which i want you to write so please write few notes either you can write here because you have a space uh, here so you can write those notes here notes like you can make a star mark if you want notes for cost sheet notes for cost sheets so the first note will be if only administration overhead is given in the question please write with me if only administration is given in the question then it is general administration overhead which will come with selling and distribution it means if you see the question of cost sheet please understand if you see the question of cost sheet and you see this that is uh, administration overhead you need to understand that administration overhead is nothing but something which will come up with selling and distribution if only administration overhead you see Achha. but if you see if you see uh, I can say if you see this uh, like uh, administration overhead in bracket it is written it is connected with the production activity if this thing is written that your administration overhead is connected with production activity if this is written it means you need to understand that this is something which is incurred for production activity so it will come with Q wrap that is this one okay so please that is one note which is written if only admin it, it means it is something that comes with selling and distribution general administration now let us have a discussion about the one column uh, that is a CPU column. So let's have a discussion about that column cost per unit column cost per unit column. Uh, when I say cost per unit it is uh, first of all when will you make this column so just few points here you can write A if details of finished goods quantity is given then only we can make this column It means in order to uh, make this column we can say first of all what we should have is we should have a details of finished goods quantity like if I tell you like if I tell you if you are done with the writing part I can just tell you one thing that sir suppose 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 if I tell you your raw material cost is 1 lakh rupees let us say or let uh, 1 lakh rupees let us say if I want to uh, tell uh, if I tell you to calculate the CPU but I did not give you the units ka data. How can you calculate? If I tell you, you guys have produced 50,000 units. Now tell me, what is your CPU? You guys have incurred 1 lakh rupees as a material cost. And by incurring 1 lakh rupees, you guys have produced 15,000 marker pens. What is per unit cost? 2 rupees. Simple. It means I can say that in order to have cost per unit, you need which data? CPU data. Cost, sorry, units data. If this data is not there in the question obviously you cannot make that column you cannot make that column for that matter you can see cpu it means you should have units ka data you should have units data you should have two datas cost data and units data so cost will be obviously given in the question but units if it is not there so you cannot make that if only the details of quantity is given then only we will make this column okay b when you calculate the CPU, uh, there are two possibilities by which you can calculate the CPU. So calculation of CPU 
I can say calculation of CPU calculation of CPU the first is up to cost of production then from COGS from cost of goods sold so if we discuss uh, if you want to calculate the cost of production up to cost of production if you want to calculate the CPU the formula will be very easy whatever cost you guys have incurred this will be divided by quantity produced This will be divided by quantity produced but uh, from COGS if you want to calculate your cost per unit your total cost will be divided by quantity sold your total cost will be divided by quantity sold Achha, now like if I tell you uh, there are two things let us say uh, once this is written uh, if I tell you this as to suppose Suppose, suppose uh, you have an opening stock, suppose you have an opening stock of 100, let us say you guys have produced 200, if I tell you that you have sold a let us say 250 units, can you tell me what will be there in your go down at the end closing stock? Hello, you have opening stock of 100. It will be 50 now because you are having opening of 100 you have produced 200 so you should have a stock of 300 but guys you don't have stock of 300 out of 300 I can see you have only you have sold 250 so what remains is 50 now now when you incur this cost let us say this 1 lakh tell me this 1 lakh is incurred for 200 or 250 when you incur this 1 lakh rupees during this year it is 200 during year whatever you have produced for that matter you have incurred this cost it was the opening stock the cost was incurred in the last year okay I can see that whatever you have produced is 200 and for the purpose of production you have incurred 1 lakh so that 1 lakh will be divided by 200 that is 1 lakh divided by 200 is nothing but 1 lakh divided by quantity produced so, so formula I can say it is total cost divided by quantity produced but but if I tell you that you have incurred for selling and distribution for selling and distribution that is this for selling and distribution administration here if I talk about selling and distribution let us say you have incurred 1 lakh rupees now this 1 lakh will be divided it should be divided by uh, 200 or 250 okay. it should be 250 because when do you incur selling and distribution cost packing cost you incur when you actually sell the product that is it is incurred for the purpose of sale or you can see this cost sheet is actually divided into two parts one is up to cost of production then after adjustment of opening closing stock what starts is cogs it means whatever information pertains after this it is with reference to cost of goods sold so it should be divided by goods sold to get cpu that is what which is written uh, we are going to solve the questions but uh, i have written that that up to cost of production cost should be divided by quantity produced from COGS cost should be divided by quantity sold now uh, I can say that uh, valuation of valuation of finished goods stock a closing stock of finished goods valuation of closing stock of finished goods If you talk about valuation of closing stock of finished goods so now here if you talk about valuation of closing stock of finished goods please understand once you give this heading here we go if I talk about that uh, let us see that let us see that uh, Uh, let's say that uh, here you have produced this is your this is your total cost column 
this is your CPU column. Let us see you have produced uh, 100, uh, 200 units and you have incurred 400 rupees as a cost. And your cost per unit is 2 rupees that means. Okay. Now, you must be having opening stock let us say of 100 units uh, at uh, one, uh, 150. Okay. So, in the previous year I can say that your cost was 1.5. Uh, now, in this year there is inflation. So, your cost is like you can see at the rate of 2. That becomes 400. Now tell me, uh, if I tell you again, you have sold 250. So 50 must be in your go down. Can you tell me the value of this 50 units? What will be the value of this 50 units? Hello. You have 50 units in your go down. This is quantity column. So what is the value of this 50 units? 100. 100. Uh, why? Why you said 100? Can you give me the explanation, sir? I thought like this. So, one fourth of 400. One fourth of 400. Achha, otherwise, I can say that if the question is silent, we always follow which method? We follow FIFO method, LIFO method, or weighted average method if question is silent. FIFO method. method. FIFO method. First in, first out. Tell me, this is a stock which you guys you have. You have produced 200, you are already having 100. So, as in when you want to sell, obviously, first you will sell from the opening stock. So, when you sold 250, you must have sold this 100. When you sold this 250, you must have first sold this 100. See, when you sold 250, from opening you have sold 100. And from current year production, you have sold 150. Okay, that is how you have sold 250. Now tell me, if your production is 200, out of that 150 has been sold from that production so what remains is 50 can i say that what 50 whatever remains with you that remains from your production current year's production because opening is already sold so now if that is the case if that is the case in that case every unit is valued at 2 rupees in the current year we have produced 200 units and my cost is 400 how come it is 200 into 2 now in that case if I ask you what is the cost of this 50 units so again it will be 50 into 2 now it will be 100 hello is it clear whatever we have written yes sir huh. you can explain it once again. okay Achha. Uh, I will repeat that again uh, just listen to me okay see first of all here we go uh, let me just copy this whole thing let me just cut and paste on the next page okay Achha. now what i am telling you is i am having opening stock of 100 i am having uh, i have produced let us say 200 units now i am having a stock of 300 okay now if i tell you that i have sold quantity sold i have sold 250 so if nothing is given in the question, we always follow FIFO method accordingly. If I have sold 250, uh, I was having 300 units in my go down. So tell me, first I will sell from where? From opening stock or uh, from uh, current year's production? Opening. From opening because it is a FIFO method. It is first in, so first out. I can say. First you will sell this. Now. I have in totality sold 250, uh, 100 from opening, so 150, I have sold 250 now units, so 150 must be from current year's production. Yes. So can I see like this that whatever I have, this is sold, this is sold. Now for, for this 200 I can say I have sold 150, so I must be having stock of. So now I must be having a stock of 50 units. You understand this? Yes, sir. Now, in the current year, I have produced 200 units. Every unit we have incurred 2 rupees cost. It means we have incurred 400 rupees during this year. So we have incurred 400 rupees and per unit cost is 2. So I can see that if 1 unit is there in my go down, what will be the value of 1 unit? It will be 2 rupees only. Na? If from this 200, if there is 1 unit which is lying in my go down, the value will be 2. How many units are there in my go down? So I have uh, 50 units in my go down. So what will be the value of those? 50 into 2? Yes. Every unit's value is 2 rupees. So I can say it will be 100. I hope that is clear. Yes, sir. Now. Let me change the question. Let us say that question tells you 
to follow LIFO method. Now it is little bit complicated. I hope still you will be able to manage. If I tell you company follows LIFO method, can you tell me the value of this 50 minutes 50 into what will you do? One point five. You understand why? No. Are right. when I say LIFO method. Achai, that is not going to come in the examination, uh, LIFO method. So I just thought ki let us explain only. That's why I'm explaining. Now let us talk about the LIFO method. Maybe it will give you more clarity. It is like uh, this is last 10. You understand? First uh, opening came, then current year you produce. In the current year you produce 200. Now when you sell 250 quantity sold, it will be from where? Can I say first you will sell from the production that is last 10 first out? Yes. Then uh, you will sell 50 units which are remaining. You you have sold 250. It will be from the opening stock. Yes. So now I can say that uh, you guys were having 100 units in the opening from which 50 has been sold. So 50 are still there with you. Uh, I think I am complicating the things. They are not going to ask LIFO method but still I am explaining this. I hope you guys are getting it as to how LIFO method works. Hello. Yes sir. Okay. Now tell me, uh, in the opening stock there were 100 units, so the calculation was like this, 100 multiplied by 1.5 that came to 150. 100 multiplied by 1.5 that came to 150. Now here, these 50 units are pending, so I can say the value will be this, 50 into this, 1.5. If it is a LIFO. Okay. But they are not asking, as and when they ask a question, generally it will be for your, uh, this method only, that is, uh, FIFO method. So if the question is silent, it is always a FIFO method. So I will now just uh, forget about that LIFO method. What you guys need to do is this. It's very simple. You will say that if you have a stock of 50 units, it will be from this 200 only. It will be there. So the value will be this. So you will always say this 50 into 2. 50 into 2. That is you will get this. Okay. Uh, now do not worry we guys gonna repeat that again and again Achha, you are writing that yes sir okay so if at all you want to write this to it it was like this okay uh, just give me the signal that you are done once you are done Okay, uh, I hope uh, that is done. Yes, sir. Done. Okay, fine. Here we go then. That was just explanation. Now here I can just write the format. If the question is silent, we follow FIFO method. That is cost of production method. If, yeah, to if, yeah, to I can directly write here. Closing stock is valued at cost of production. Closing stock is valued at cost of production and when you say closing stock is valued at cost of production what will be the formula sir the formula is very easy uh, you will say uh, it will be closing stock quantity you will always have to use this formula closing stock quantity multiplied by cost of production per unit what is your per unit cost multiplied by closing stock quantity this is formula for closing stock closing stock opening stock value will be given in the question because opening stock is manufactured in the previous year so they should give the value this will be the cost so that is how you will value the closing stock okay Fine. Uh, now let us uh, start with the question. So we can see that we are done with the format. Now last brush up. Uh, I will just revise the format. Then we will start with the question. So this was the introduction with reference to cost sheet ka format. Yeah, it took a little bit uh, more time. We can say because it was a format of cost sheet. Okay. Now having said that, uh, let us start with the questions only. Then you will understand. So this was the format. 
Uh, okay. Okay, guys, let us read the question. What is given in the question? The following data relates to the manufacturer. You can see there is a manufacturer uh, of a standard product during the month of April. So, one thing is very much clear in this question. Why? What, sir, the data is given for a month? It means cost sheet will be for the month ended, sir. There is no doubt in that. Yes, cost sheet for the month ended. Okay, now, you can see the data. Data is given for raw material. Yeah, 1,80,000. Then there is direct wages. Then there is some uh, overheads. When the one machinery works, there will be power consumption. There will be, uh, you can say there are other expenses which will be there, which are incurred in factory. These are other expenses of factory other than material and labor. That is, this is factory overhead. Okay, please. Ye, this is the new point for you. You will have to understand. This is your factory overhead. FOH, we can say factory overheads. Okay. That will be 10 into 8. Okay. That will come. Then if I talk about administration wala part, administration overhead, tell me if nothing is given in the question, this is uh, what kind of administration overhead, something that will come up, uh, that will come with QRAP or with selling and distribution? Yes, selling, and distribution. selling and distribution, because if that is, that will come with selling and distribution, that is after, see, that will come with selling and distribution, that we know, it is general. Okay. Then there is a selling overhead, then there is a quantity produced, then there is a quantity sold and then there is a selling price, okay, that is given. What these guys are asking from us, let us read the required, required part. You are required to prepare. Prepare. You can say it is given in bold. They are asking us to prepare what? Cost sheet in respect of the following. First, cost per unit column, okay, so cost per unit column will come and then there is a profit for the month, okay. So cost sheet will be prepared for the month, we can say and we need to calculate everything. So let us make the cost sheet for one month now when you make the cost sheet uh, okay so even before you make the cost sheet it is always preferable if you make a working it is always preferable if you make this working this 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 Achha. in the question if nothing is given about opening stock obviously opening stock will not be there in the question but if nothing is given about closing stock please do not assume that there is no closing stock tell me in this question how many units are there in closing stock 400 or it is easy now you guys have produced 4000 this is produced and you have sold 3600 so what remains in your go down is 400 only so that is what we will write we will make one working note so let us make one working note so let me make one working note which is uh, working note number one please give the heading as details of finished goods When you write details of finished goods, you can make any format you want. Uh, I generally prefer this format, particulars, quantity, particulars, quantity. First, there is opening stock. Then there is a quantity produced. Then there is a quantity sold and then there is a closing stock. Now, let's write the data which is given in the question. So what was given in the question is we have produced 4000, we have sold 3600. Okay, you can see this. So the opening stock and closing stock is not given. What they have provided us with is opening stock, uh, quantity produced and quantity sold. Now. Because nothing was given in the question, there will not be any opening stock, but you cannot assume same for closing stock. First of all, again, I will uh, have a look. You can see this here. It was 4000 here. It was 3600. So now I can say that you guys have produced 4000 uh, from 4000. I can say that if you have sold 3600, so what remains in your go down is this. It is a balancing figure. If something is balancing figure, please keep that in that box or bracket or circle, whatever you say, because it will be indication that it is a balancing figure. Yes, you got your closing stock. Now, uh, simple. Let's make the cost sheet. These guys are asking for cost sheet and it is for the month of April or th for the month ended. Let me write. This is the solution. Cost sheet for the month of April 
that April is uh, you can see this April 20x8 okay now here the question comes whether will you prepare per unit column or not so you can see that uh, the data is given with reference to details of finished goods so yes CPU column will be prepared so well first particular then total and then there will be one CPU column CPU which is cost per unit Achha. let us start writing uh, it is a quite small question and very easy okay having said that I hope uh, you must have written till here now I can proceed with yes now let's go for this you can see that the first cost is material cost okay first it can be seen there is a material cost the second one is labor cost you can add and you can get prime cost so let us write direct material and direct wages direct material direct wages or you can say direct labor that will give you prime cost Achha. let us calculate it is 1,80,000 and uh, 90,000 so 1,80,000 and 90,000 and yeah that will become 2,70,000 that will be your prime cost then other than material and labor there are other expenses which are incurred in the factory which are given on per hour basis that is your factory overhead In bracket we can show the calculation when the machinery works for one hour we charge eight rupees and we are working we have worked for ten thousand hours so ten thousand into it ten thousand we have worked for ten thousand hours and if for every hour we have incurred eight rupees so this will be eighty thousand now when you add this you're gonna get three lakh fifty thousand now this is known as what this is known as what this is known gross as factory gross factory, factory cost. cost but 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 in the question have they provided us with the details of opening and closing stock of WIP no no so it does not make any sense if I write uh, gross factory cost then if I write add opening closing WIP which is nil then again if I write factory cost and 350,000 it does not make any sense so what I can do this what I can do is directly I can say this is my factory cost right even one more thing can be done this only can be known as cost of production this only can be known as cost of production why because after factory cost what comes is q wrap uh, after factory what there is person q who does wrap that is q wrap which is scrap in the question there is no quality control there is no research and development there is no administration which is connected to production that is not there there is no packing and then there is no scrap primary packing and so i can say again then it, if it is nothing that will become your cop which is nothing but your cost of production okay so it can be known as your cost of production okay now if you proceed uh so once this uh, you get this as a cost of production you guys will have to make adjustment now tell me after cop you know that if you want to go to the cogs there is adjustment that is opening stock of finished goods and there is a closing stock of finished goods we have the data of closing stock please opening stock is not there tell me when i write minus closing stock of finished goods what is the amount that will be written in total column closing stock of finished goods amount which will be written in total column please send me the answer in dm so that i will come to know that you guys got the answer i can take your name that you got the right answer akash uh, sorry akshat nai uh, rishab uh, nai Vedant nai acha main kya bolta hu what i want to say is whatever co cost you guys have incurred that is uh, 350000 this is incurred for 
4000 यूनिट्स 3600 यूनिट्स और 400 यूनिट्स 4000 यूनिट्स राइट तो लेट अस कैलकुलेट सीपीयू नाउ लेट अस कैलकुलेट सीपीयू ओनली हाउ टू कैलकुलेट सीपीयू एवरीथिंग दिस कॉलम विल बी डिवाइडेड बाय व्हिच दिस कॉस्ट विल बी डिवाइडेड बाय क्वांटिटी प्रोड्यूस व्हिच इज 4000 सो लेट अस डू दैट अच्छा आई होप यू मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ दिस शॉर्टकट और आई कैन से आई एम 100% श्योर दैट यू आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ दिस शॉर्टकट फर्स्ट लेट अस कैलकुलेट सीपीयू 180000 इज माय कॉस्ट डिवाइडेड बाय 4000 दैट इज 45 रुपीस पर यूनिट इज माय मटेरियल कॉस्ट I paid my workers ninety thousand. They have produced four thousand units. So my workers' cost is twenty two point five plus forty five. That is sixty seven point five. We write in decimals. Yes, you have to uh, round off till two decimals. When you make cost sheet, two decimals you need to write down. Eighty thousand divided by four thousand, you will get twenty. Sixty-seven point five plus twenty that becomes a eighty-seven point five zero. Now, I can say that I can say that during this year you guys have incurred this much cost. This three lakh fifty thousand was incurred for four thousand units. So I can say that your cost per unit is eighty-seven point five. As in when you produce one unit, you have incurred this much. It can be simply said that you produce four thousand. For every unit you have incurred eighty seven point five, and by this you got this three lakh fifty thousand. Now, if I tell you that there is one unit which is lying in the go down, there is one unit which is lying in the go down. Tell me what will be the value of that one unit? I hope you understand. It will be eighty seven point five. That is the cost per unit. Yes. But do we have only one unit in my go down? No, sir. We don't have one unit. We have four hundred units in my go down. Then in that case, it will be this, na? No? 400 into 87.5. Ha, Rishab, now that is right. Okay. Oh, uh, there should not be uh, any doubt. If you have any doubt, please let me know. It is simple. And I wrote that formula also, na? No? That how to get that cost of the closing stock value. We have written that it should be closing stock quantity into cost of production per unit. So that's it. That is something what you you should have done. That is closing stock quantity multiplied by cost of production per unit. Okay, now this is clear. By the time we solve uh, many questions, uh, the clarity will come. Do not worry. Uh, so 400 into 87.5 that becomes 35,000. Acha, do not calculate CPU. Why? Tell me. If you want to calculate CPU, 35,000 will be divided by uh, what value? 4,400, 3,600. Four hundred now because this value represents this, and this is just see this column is cost per unit column. It means what is your value per unit, and this is my stock, and this is not my cost. This is my stock which is there in my go down. So that's why for stock we do not calculate CPU. Even if you want to calculate, even module never does that. But even if you want to calculate at the end, so it should be divided by this. Okay, agar if you want to do it. It should be divided by four hundred, but because it is my stock, we never calculate CPU for that. Okay, now I can see that. Now the answer which you will get is cost of goods sold. I can see that you were have you produced four thousand, you are having three four hundred in your go down, so you must have sold three thousand six hundred. That is your goods sold. What is the cost? So that the cost is three lakh fifty thousand. Minus thirty five thousand. Your cost is three lakh fifteen thousand. This is your cost of goods sold. Okay, whatever units you have sold, that is three thousand six hundred. Your cost is this. Now let's not calculate CPU here. Acha, there is one shortcut to calculate the CPU. Ah, uh, see what you can do is you can write it somewhere else. Ah, uh, first let us let us finish this. Then I will give you the shortcut. Acha. After CPU, just what comes into the picture is your administration and selling and distribution. So. I can say administration overhead. That is directly given in the question. You can see that it is thirty-five thousand. Then there is a selling overhead. Tell me the value of selling overhead, which will be written over here. Tell me, please send me the answer. The value of selling overhead. Ah, uh, Rishab, ah, uh, that is right answer. 
others please try whether it is right wrong it does not matter participation is more important if you interact in the class then it will be easier for you तो प्लीज वैष्णवी नहीं वेदांत यस अर्पित राइट रिधिमा राइट ओके हियर वी गो सो फोर फाइव पीपल हैव आंसर्ड द क्वेश्चन इट इज वेरी अगेन देर इज वन मिस्टेक विच कैन हैपन सो प्लीज डोंट मेक दैट मिस्टेक दैट इज सर सेलिंग ओवर इट इज फाइव रुपीज पर यूनिट नाउ सर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय व्हाट वेदर इट इज क्वांटिटी प्रोड्यूस्ड और सोल्ड तो अंडरस्टैंड व्हेन यू इनकर सेलिंग कॉस्ट इट इज लाइक कमीशन गिवन टू द सेल्समैन यू गिव फाइव रुपीज पर यूनिट सेल्समैन को कमीशन सो व्हेन यू गिव द कमीशन व्हेन ही सेल्स यस व्हेन ही सेल्स द प्रोडक्ट एंड हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स वी हैव सोल्ड 3600 सो इट शुड बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय क्वांटिटी सोल्ड और ई कैन से दिस इज क्वांटिटी सोल्ड सो व्हाटएवर कम्स आफ्टर दिस इट शुड बी क्वांटिटी सोल्ड ओनली फॉर क्वांटिटी सोल्ड ओनली सो इट शुड बी 18000 There is no other cost which is left. There is no other cost which is left. We can say. So if you just take the total, that will be your cost of sales, or we can say total cost. Then if you add profit, you will get sales value. अच्छा सो नाउ इफ यू एड अ प्रॉफिट यू कैन गेट द सेल्स वैल्यू अच्छा डू वी हैव द सेल्स फर्स्ट लेट इस एड दिस थ्री लैख फिफ्टीन प्लस थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड प्लस एटीन थाउजेंड सो इट शुड बी थ्री लैख सिक्सटी एट थाउजेंड ओके नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द सेल्स येस दैट इज दर इन द क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी Uh, the selling price is 125. So you sell one unit for 125 rupees, and you have sold how many units? 3,600. You guys have sold. So 125 into 3,000, 4,50,000. That happens. Zero. इधर उधर हो जाता है कभी. It is 4,50,000 minus 3,60. That becomes 82,000. So this is gonna be my profit. Okay. Now, now. If I ask you, sir, calculate CPU. So if you want to calculate the CPU, you need to understand. Now this data pertains to quantity sold. That is goods sold. This all values will be divided by one thing. That is quantity sold. Now first of all, let me give you the shortcut. Now first of all, let me give you the shortcut. The first thing is, uh, when you wanted to calculate this CPU, now you will see the magic, the calculator's ka magic, which is quite easy for you now. I can see that when you calculated for first one, you said one lakh eighty thousand. Divided by four uh, thousand, and you got your value, which is forty-five. Okay, that is what you did is nothing but this one lakh forty thousand, one lakh eighty thousand divided by forty-five, and you got your value, which is one second one lakh forty thousand, one lakh eighty thousand divided by four thousand, you got forty-five. Now, when you wanted answer for ninety thousand, now what you need to do is press ninety thousand, then press equal to. That's it. Then press. Uh, Two lakh seventy thousand, and then press equal to. Let's repeat that now. Whatever I am saying, please take your calculator and do it on your calculator. Please type well. Uh, there are some calculators like Casio calculator. Maybe it will not work on some of those calculators. Okay. Uh, now please type with me one lakh eighty thousand on calculator. Okay. Divide ka sign. So divided by four thousand. Then press equal to. So one lakh eighty thousand divided by four thousand equal to. Sir, we got forty five. Yes, sir. Now, if you want answer for this, just press ninety thousand and equal to. Just press ninety thousand and equal to. You will get twenty two point five. Then press two lakh seventy thousand and equal to. You will get sixty seven point five. Eighty thousand equal to. Uh, have you got the shortcut trick? Otherwise, we have got the answer. But I hope you understand the shortcut trick. This is saved in memory function when you do it for the first time. अच्छा अदरवाइज लेट इट बी इफ यू डू नॉट गेट इट तो दैट इज ओके वी कैन गो फॉर दैट इंडिविजुअल बेसिस नाउ कैलकुलेट थ्री लैख फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड आई विल डू लाइक दिस थ्री लैख फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड क्वान्टिटी सोल्ड थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड इक्वल टू दैट बिकम्स एट्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव देन थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड इक्वल टू दैट इज नाइन पॉइंट सेवन टू एटीन थाउजेंड इक्वल टू दैट इज फाइव Three lakh sixty-eight thousand equal to that is one zero two point two two. 
four lakh fifty thousand is one twenty five, and eighty two thousand that becomes twenty two point seven seven. I hope uh, that is clear. If you do not get the shortcut, that is okay. Uh, you know that individually how to get this. This should be divided by quantity produced. This part should be divided by quantity sold to get the CPU. They were asking for this only. They were asking profit for the month, which is eighty-two thousand, and they were asking for CPU column, which is done by us. We can see that that was the requirement of the question. If if I just read the requirement. That is cost per unit column, and then your profit for the month. Okay, so this is the solution. Done with this question, which took around twenty minutes. We can say so done with this. Okay, uh, let us read this question. What is given? Uh, the data is the following information has been obtained uh, from the records of the ABC Corporation uh, for the period from June one to June thirty two uh, zero x eight. Like either you can say 2018 because we are in that decade, so you can say 2018. So the data is given for a month, month June. It is given for the month of June. You can see the data. Uh, this is the first June and this is 30th June. It means uh, the stock which will be there that will be the opening. The stock which will be here that will be the closing stock. So they have provided us with the details of opening stock, cost of raw material on the opening and at the closing. So. Then cost of uh, stock WIP. Then cost of stock of finished goods also. So stock of raw material, stock of WIP, stock of finished goods is given in the question. Yes. Then there is a purchase of raw material. So at the end, when the month ended, the total purchase is four lakh eighty. There is wages paid. There is a factory overhead. There is a factory administration overhead, which is related to production, which is very much important. They have specified it is related to production. It is specified. Okay. There is a selling and distribution. Then there is a sales. So entire data is there. Prepare a statement showing a statement giving the following: raw material consumed, prime cost, factory cost, cost of goods sold, and net profit. I hope you understand when they say prepare a statement. So now which statement these guys are asking for? Cost statement, which is nothing but cost sheet. So we will have to make the cost sheet. Okay. One question even before we solve this question. What do you think? Do we have to make the CPU column, or we will not make CPU column? No need. No need. No need. Why it is not required, or we cannot make only? The reason is to make the CPU column. This all cost will be divided by either quantity produced or quantity sold. And in the entire question, details about quantity produced and sold is not given in the question. I hope you understand that. Therefore, uh, there is no need to make the CPU column. Even if you make, that will be empty. So it is preferable. Let's not make the CPU column. There will be only two columns, particulars, and then there will be a total cost column. Okay. So let us uh, make the cost sheet. Cost sheet uh, for the month of June. So directly we can start now this time. So give the heading cost sheet. For the month of June two zero x eight, particulars we will say total cost. That the total. Okay, now. If we talk about the cost, uh, we can see in the question. Acha, you have the data in front of you. Please uh, make some calculations and uh, send me the answer of raw material consumed, so that I will come to know that you guys are actually calculating at your end. I will come to know how many students are there who are actually serious about this. So please send me the answer of raw material consumed, or whatever you make the whatever calculations are there. Please make those on your calculator and send me the answer. Raw material consumed amount. It is not that difficult. Yes, uh, Rishab, that is right answer. Vedan, that is right answer. Vaishnavi, that is right. Okay. Ah, uh, Rishab, no, uh, you made some mistake. We will have a look. What is that mistake? Okay. Ah, uh, Vedan, Vaishnavi, Dhruvi, right answer. Uh, Arpit, right? Uh, 
ठीक है वैष्णवी ध्रुवी अर्पित ओके फाइन यू कैन सी ना इट इज लाइक सर ओपनिंग स्टॉक इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन यस सर कॉस्ट ऑफ रॉ मेटेरियल क्लोदिंग स्टॉक इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन एंड देर इज वन मोर थिंग विच इज रॉ मेटेरियल परचेज नथिंग एल्स इज देयर विच इज विच कनेक्ट्स टू द रॉ मेटेरियल कंज्यूम तो आई कैन से दैट इफ ओपनिंग इज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड सर यू हैव परचेज फोर लैख एटी थाउजेंड रॉ मेटेरियल एंड योर क्लोजिंग स्टॉक इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड जस्ट सब्सट्रैक्टेड ओपनिंग प्लस परचेज माइनस क्लोजिंग एंड यू विल गेट द रॉ मेटेरियल कंज्यूम्ड ओके सो लेट्स राइट दैट रॉ मेटेरियल कंज्यूम्ड When you say raw material consumed, the formula is here. Opening is given in the question. Opening stock of raw material. Opening stock. Add we can say purchases minus closing stock. You can specify it is of raw material. It is of raw material. Okay. So here we have a opening stock of uh, six uh, sixty thousand, and here it is fifty thousand. Closing is six fifty sixty and fifty. Yes. Then, then we have purchases. Purchases around four lakh eighty thousand. Okay. So four lakh eighty thousand purchases. You can subtract your closing, and you have your answer. Sixty thousand plus four lakh eighty minus fifty that becomes four lakh ninety thousand. Yes, that is there. So your raw metal consumed is four lakh ninety thousand. Yes, sir. Now, so, bolo. So these shortcuts are M O H R applicable in exam also? No, no, no. You have to write full form. You cannot write R uh, R M and all. It is preferable if you write the full form. Okay. No. Yes, yes. It is preferable if you write the full form. Okay. Okay. Let's not take the risk. It is as simple as that because it all depends upon the examiner. Because as an examiner, maybe I can say that is quite okay. But if someone else is there who will say that, what is the shortcut? So he may deduct your marks. So on the safer side, it is preferable. We will always write uh, like uh, full form in examinations. Yes, sir. It will hardly take like maybe four or five minutes extra in totality. In three hours paper, and that is okay. Okay. Now, after raw material consumed, I can see there is a labor uh, that can be seen here. Labor cost, wages paid, which is two lakh forty thousand. So please write wages paid. That is direct wages. What was the value? So I can say direct wages is nothing but two lakh forty thousand. So two lakh forty thousand. If I add this, I am going to get prime cost. So I will write prime cost. That is a seven lakh thirty thousand. Okay. Now, once you get prime cost, now you must be aware that now we gonna add factory overhead. Factory is direct cost is done. Now we will focus about in on the indirect cost of factory overhead. So indirect cost that is given factory overheads which is one lakh which is given in the question. So please write one lakh. When you add this one lakh, you will get factory cost. This will be gross factory cost or gross work cost. This will be gross factory cost. No need to calculate, but still. I am habituated with calculator, so I have calculated on calculator. It is eight lakh thirty. Now you also know now by far now we have got the factory cost, but why it is known as gross because one stock adjustment is yet to be made, which is WIP stock. And in this question details is given, so you will add opening stock of WIP, you will subtract closing stock of WIP. So opening stock of WIP. WIP can be written in the examinations, uh, which is normal. Everyone writes WIP only, even institute also. So that can be written. Closing stock of WIP. Okay. 
now when i talk about opening stock and closing stock so that is you can see that it is 12,000 and 15,000. So it is 12,000 and 15,000. So now, once you do this, uh, your gross factory cost will become your net factory cost. That is only factory cost as well, right? We are done with all the factory cost. We will start with Q wrap. After factory cost, you should always remember beside factory there is one person known as Q who does wrap, which is scrap. So after factory cost, there is always Q wrap. After factory cost, there is always Q wrap. So if I talk about Q wrap, if I talk about Q wrap, uh, there should be a uh, quality control uh, or research and development that is Q, then there is R quality control, research and development, administration, which is connected with production. Or primary packing so there is administration which is there in this question you can see this there is administration cost which is related to production which is 50,000 so let us write administration related to production admin overhead related to production which is 50,000 if you add that will be then your cost of production that is 8,77,000 yeah this will be your cost of production having said that once you get your cost of production now now you will have to add a uh, opening stock of finished goods and less closing stock of finished goods then you will get cogs to so add opening stock of finished goods less closing stock of finished goods then you will get cost of goods sold That is COGS, that is cost of goods. Sold. Sorry, how then you will get cost of goods sold, which is COGS. Now, in the question, you can see uh, you can see that closing stock here, which is uh, 90,000 and 1,10,000. So, 90,000 and 1,10,000. So eight lakh seventy seven thousand plus ninety thousand minus one lakh ten thousand that is eight lakh fifty seven thousand. That is gonna be your COGS that is cost of goods sold. Now once you get cost of goods sold, uh, what cost you incur at the time of sale that is your selling and distribution and administration expenses. So let's have a look. Uh, administration is given. This was with, which was connected to production. We are done with that fifty thousand. Uh, this is 25,000 which is selling and distribution. So let us write that add selling and distribution that is selling and distribution overhead 25,000. Once that is being added you will get total cost which is known as cost of sales. total cost which is known as cost of sales you will add profit and you will get sales so now if you talk about uh, profit uh, sales which is 10 lakh which is given in the question you can see that sales is 10 lakh that is given in the question so let's write that 10 lakh Yes, and profit will be balancing figure. So, eight lakh fifty-seven thousand plus twenty-five thousand. You guys will have eight lakh eighty-two thousand over here. Minus ten lakh. That will be one lakh eighteen thousand. This will be your profit, which will be there, which is one lakh eighteen thousand. Yes, and that is the solution. yes so that was quite easy you can see that even the the format was quite difficult otherwise now once you get the format the questions are quite easy okay 
fine uh, we always have a habit uh, before we leave first of all we are done with this question okay that took around 14 minutes we can say that took around 14 minutes i have a timer over here so i can just record it okay uh, before we start uh, what we will do is guys we will revise whatever we have done then we will proceed ahead okay so just uh, listen to me what we have done guys we started with cost sheet when i say cost sheet cost sheet it means a piece of paper on which details of cost is written when you say details of cost now you need to understand cost is divided into how many parts so if i talk about the cost your cost will be divided into two parts one will be direct cost another will be indirect cost and then one statement will be presented to show the bifurcation of the cost in more detail so let us start with that if i talk about the cost Sir, that cost is divided into two parts, direct cost, indirect cost. Achha, uh, can someone please tell me indirect cost is also known as what? Indirect cost is also known as? Overheads. Overheads, exactly. So, we know that indirect cost is also known as overheads. Theke. Now, if I talk about the direct cost, there are three parts. Like we can say direct material, direct labor, direct expenses. When you take the total of this, that is known as one of the uh, one of the costs which you incurred at the very beginning. That is your prime cost. Okay. Once you get your prime cost, first of all, if I ask you, where do you incur this cost, sir? This cost is incurred in the factory only. But this is a direct cost which is incurred in the factory. There is one more cost which is incurred in the factory, which is indirect cost. Okay, sir. So that cost which is indirectly incurred in the factory is known as factory overhead. Sir, any example? Yes, depreciation on machinery, supervisor salary, factory rent and all. Okay. Once you add this, you're going to get your factory cost, but that is not known as factory cost. This will be known as gross factory cost. Exactly. Because there is a WIP which is lying in the go down, you need to make adjustment for that WIP stock also. So, you will add opening stock and less closing stock of WIP. And after adjusting your WIP, the answer which you get is factory cost. Acha, one more thing. This factory cost is also known as what? This factory cost is also known as Bolo. work cost. Yeah, it is also known as works cost. Works cost is nothing but work happens in factory. That is production work. That's why it is also known as works cost. Or you can also say that it is also known as factory cost of production. Or we can simply say it is a works cost. Okay. That is a factory cost and works cost. Okay. After that, I can say that... Uh, once the factory cost is done inside factory, there are uh, other costs also which are incurred. We have to show them separately. And there is one uh, shortcut which is there with us that is a Q wrap minus crap. Uh, you should be able to tell me when I say Q, it means you should know what is Q. Q means quality, quality control. control. Exactly. Now I will tell R means research and development, A means uh, administration, but only that administration which is connected with production activity. Then there is a primary packing, primary packing. If it is a secondary packing, where will it come? In which overhead? Selling and distribution. Selling and distribution. If it is a secondary packing, it will form a part of selling and distribution overhead. Exactly. Okay. That is at the time of distribution, we can say, or at the time of sales. It is a primary packing, which is in factory. So I can say, then less sale of scrap. Now there are two types of scraps. Uh, one, uh, which is generated when the raw material was in go down and one which is generated when the raw material was there in the factory, when production activity was happening. This is one raw material scrap, which is generated in store. And the under raw material, uh, the scrap which is generated in factory, it is during production activity. Tell me, if I talk about this, this is scrap number one, this is scrap number two. Tell me, this scrap number two will be subtracted from where? From raw material consumed or from Q wrap? Q wrap. Q wrap. It is during production activity. So when I say it is during production activity, on this scrap, we have incurred material, labor and overheads also. So it should be subtracted after adding all these expenses. Therefore, it will be subtracted here. But if there is only raw material scrap, which is generated in store or in go down, then it should be subtracted from raw material consumed. Okay. So you should be clear with this. Okay. Now, once I say this, once I say that uh, you get your uh, cost of production. Once you say this is your cost of production. Now, one thing you can do. Once you get your cost of production. Now, there is one total column which we guys have. Now, there is one more column which is CPU column. Now, you need to tell me when do you prepare CPU column. I need one data. Then only I can prepare CPU column. Tell me. Exactly. I need simply units data. That is finished goods units. 
if that data is there that is then only i can divide by units na to i need units data acha if units data is given in the question sir then what to do opening plus production then you will sell that is quantity sold and remaining will be clothing stock of finished goods theek hai when you are adding all the expenses which are incurred in the which are incurred during the year all the expenses are incurred during the year for the purpose of production so therefore it is known as cost of production whatever answer you get then in that if you add opening stock of finished goods if you subtract clothing stock of finished goods you you gonna get cost of goods sold so in this case i can say that Add opening stock of finished goods less clothing stock of finished goods. You are going to get quantity that is cost of goods sold. Now the question arises: Till cost of production, if you want to calculate the CPU, what will be your formula, sir? This divided by this, then you will get CPU up to cost of production. Total cost upon quantity produced. Exactly, it will be total cost because that cost is incurred for the purpose of production. Okay, then from COGS, uh, you all understand. Now the data pertains to quantity sold. Therefore, your total cost column will be divided by quantity sold. Now there is one more question which comes: How you will value the closing stock? so that closing stock will be valued like this that whatever is your cpu over here like let us the cpu is 2 rupees what does this indicate cpu this indicates that during the year as and when you produced one unit guys you have incurred 2 rupees for one unit that is your cost per unit suppose you have 10 units in your go down 10 units in your go down as a closing stock i can say that value will be 10 into 2 that is 20 rupees that is nothing but quantity into cost of production per unit which is 2 okay having done this you gonna get your cogs now it is like your uh, trading uh, manufacturing account is done now we have to come to the pnl account in pnl account there are two more overheads that is office and administration which are general overheads and there is a selling and distribution these overheads are there when you add them this is the final cost there is no other cost which is pending goods are being dispatched or distributed to the customers i can say house now or home we can say now once you get this cost this is the final cost that's why this is known as total cost or it is popularly known as cost of sale that is cost at the time of sale when you sold the product that is the final cost add profit and get your sales that's it yeah acha one more thing uh, suppose in the question nothing is specified suppose in the question nothing is specified only office and administration this much is written now you have two options either you will have to assume uh, it is a part of q wrap or it will come along with selling and distribution so in the absence of information what will you do q wrap or selling yeah, and distribution yeah. it is selling and distribution it is general administration overhead only if it is specifically written in bracket office and admin which are connected with production activity then only you will say it is connected with production so please it should be written in q wrap okay sir uh, this much revision is sufficient uh, that the formula has been discussed whatever we have done in the previous lecture even that has been discussed uh, now we can start with our questions okay let's start uh Uh, hello guys uh, if you have seen video till here and if you feel that i have contributed something in your success what you can do is either you can write a very good message on this number that is 9967736613 this number you can write a message a very good message you can comment also below the video don't like and uh, don't forget to like and share with your friends do like and do subscribe the channel and if you feel that there is any contribution from my side and if you want to donate something from your side again it is completely optional or you can donate even when you uh, even it can be any random amount which you want you can google pay on this number which is 9967736613 thank you so much bye bye yeah okay let's read the question this question is based on missing figure the books of adarsh manufacturing company presents the following data for the month of april so i can say that when you prepare a cost sheet that will be for the month of april so you can give the heading cost sheet for the month of cost sheet for the month of cost sheet for the month of april okay now we have to observe the question and you have we have to decide whether we should prepare cpu column or not so if you observe the question in the entire question they haven't mentioned about units so there is no data of units in that case only two columns will be prepared particulars 
and total because data with reference to units is not available we cannot calculate cost per unit so only two uh, columns particulars and the second one is total now the first element the the primary co the, the first cost which you incur is the pro that is your prime cost in that also the first one is material cost so let us read the data direct labor is given which is 17500 being 175 percent of work overhead now you should know that when i say work overhead it means which overhead when i say work overhead sir it means factory overhead okay now cost of goods sold excluding administration expenses 56000 we will deal with that later on inventory cost showed the following opening and closing balances you can see in the question opening balance of each stock is given and closing balance of each stock is given that is balance as on 1st april and 30th april that is raw material wip and finished goods okay other data selling expenses general and admin expenses sales for the month okay now you can see that no data with reference to units now you are required to calculate the value of material purchased generally generally value of material purchased is given in the question generally it is given uh, the value of material purchased but this time these guys are asking for it okay it means we will have to make some reverse calculation that is something you should understand as and when the question is based on missing figures you will have to make reverse cost sheet always remember that the second part prepare a cost statement showing the various elements of cost and also the profit earned indirectly they are saying to make the cost sheet only okay let us make the cost sheet when you make the cost sheet guys the first element is raw material consumed so please give the heading as raw material consumed when you say raw material consumed sir 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 raw material consumed what is the formula the formula is you must be having some opening stock that is opening stock of raw material then you need to add purchase of raw material okay if there is any carriage inward it should be added or it should if there is any freight inward but that is not there in the question then there is a closing stock the so minus closing stock of raw material okay you can clearly see in the first requirement these guys are asking for this that is purchase of raw material it means it is it it will not be given in the question opening and closing stock is given in the question you can see that it is 8000 and it is a 10600 i don't know what is that answer but whatever is the answer after raw material i know that what comes is sir direct labor okay direct labor is also given in the question if you see the third line of the question direct labor cost is rupees 17500 being whatever it is that we will have a look but as of now that cost is 17500 okay no information with reference to direct expenses so there is no direct expenses if you guys add this you're gonna get the prime cost we don't know the answer because we don't know the raw material consumed we don't know raw material consumed because data with reference to purchase is not given okay so but we can write the format whatever we know Achha. sir what comes what comes after prime cost factory overhead we need to add a factory overhead or you can give the heading as factory overhead okay sir heading is given now now when you say factory overhead some information is given that is in line number three of the question direct labor cost rupees 17500 that i know being 175 percent of work overhead 175 percent of work overhead what does that mean sir what does that mean it means very simple work overhead is nothing but this only so first of all either you can say factory overhead or you can say work overhead both means same either you can say factory overhead or you can say work overhead now i will give you the calculation there is some relationship between labor and you can say work overhead so what is given is uh, labor is 175 percent of work overhead it means if work over is 100 your labor is 175 that is written uh, labor is 17,500 being 175 percent of work overhead whatever is your work overhead labor will be 175 in rupees this is in terms of percentages in terms of rupees i know 
लेबर इज सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इफ आई नो दिस तो ऑटोमेटिकली आई कैन से इट कैन बी इजीली कैलकुलेटेड व्हाट विल बी माय वर्क ओवर हेड तो माय वर्क ओवर हेड विल बी टेन थाउजेंड एंड लेबर इज वन सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ दैट विच इज सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड ओके सर सो दैट इज वॉट इट इज ओके नाउ नाउ टेक द टोटल टेक द टोटल अच्छा जस्ट इन केस uh suppose this happens that you are writing slowly just tell me wait i will wait for you either you can type the message or you can tell me i will wait for you okay so please write it down if something is pending at your end okay i hope uh this much is written then i can proceed yes fair enough अच्छा जस्ट इन केस समथिंग इज पेंडिंग एट यूर एंड यू कैन टाइप डब्ल्यू इन चैट बॉक्स इन डी एम आई विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट आई विल हैव टू वेट आई विल नॉट टेक यूर नेम ऑल्सो डू नॉट वरी अबाउट इट यू जस्ट टाइप डब्ल्यू आई विल वेट फॉर यू ओके नाउ हैविंग डन दिस बिकॉज आई डोंट नो द प्राइम कॉस्ट आई कैनॉट एड एनी थिंग बट आई कैन सी दैट वट एवर आंसर यू गेट दैट इज नोन एज ग्रॉस फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट या तो ग्रॉस वर्क कॉस्ट ग्रॉस फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट और यू कैन से ग्रॉस वर्क कॉस्ट ओके once you get this in the question you can see that information about wip is there so you can add opening stock of wip less closing stock of wip add opening stock of wip less closing stock of wip Once that is being done, what you get is your net factory cost or net works cost. अच्छा, information about WIP is given in the first table. In the second row, which is ten thousand five hundred and fourteen thousand five hundred. Okay, sir. Now, once you get factory cost, what comes? Q wrap. Quality control? No, sir. It is not given. Research and development? Not given. Administration? But Connected to production, not given. That is general administration. The in the second table and in the second row, the information which is given is with reference to general and administration. That will come along with selling and distribution. So Q wrap means Q is not given, R is not given, A is not given, P primary packing that is also not given, and even scrap is not there. So I can simply say that your factory cost will become your cost of production. Yes, sir. and after cost of production what comes is adjustment of selling or uh, adjustment of finished goods add opening stock of finished goods subtract closing stock of finished goods okay having done that whatever answer you get that is your cost of goods sold sir we have the information in the first table third row 17600 19000 sir opening closing then you get cogs in cogs you gonna add two expenses that is your administration and selling and distribution that is your general administration general admin overhead selling and distribution overhead then you will get cost of sales you will add profit and you will get sales okay so if you see a uh, general administration is uh, 2500 and yeah your selling expense is 3500 and your sales is 75000 here we go so whatever information which was there in the question we have written except one thing there is one information which is given but we did not write which is with reference to cogs if you see the fourth line of the question third and fourth line cogs excluding admin why this cogs is excluding admin because admin is coming after cogs okay there is no admin as such that is cogs excluding admin this is one more indication that your admin will not come above cogs it will come after cogs that is along with selling and distribution but nevertheless they have just specified cogs which does not include administration the excluding administration expense is 56000 this is given so what i did is a uh, step number 1 as and when the question is based on missing figure write down the entire format write down all the values of the question we did that step number 1 
write down everything which is there in the question now try to find out how can you complete the cost sheet here you can say that it can be easily completed so this part can be easily completed let us complete this part let's add this i will give numbers also first i got this value then i got this value okay so i can say it's like this first i got this value then i got this value 56000 plus 2500 plus 3500 that is 62000 minus 75000 that is 13000 is my profit okay please write down this is my balancing figure okay so here we go please write those numbers it means you will come to know that first what we did is whatever was there we wrote that and this is how we find oh, we we found the answer the first one was of cogs the second one one the second one was of profit that was the second value which we got now you're gonna make reverse cost sheet now you have to go reverse from here from here if you go reverse Achha. now you understand that when i say cop plus opening stock minus closing stock you're gonna get cogs so if i talk about how do you get cop sir it is nothing but cogs plus closing less opening or in simple words when you go reverse you will change the signs also you will reverse the sign it means whatever was generally subtracted now that will be added and it will be subtracted because you are going reverse now okay so 56,000 plus closing which is 19,000 minus 17,600 that becomes 57,400 that is the third answer that you got Please understand this now I hope uh, this much is done I can proceed with the upper part which is pending hello is it done yes, okay if you have any doubt why it is added why it is subtracted let me know I can make that equation in draw but I hope that can be understood but still just in case you have a doubt you can ask me okay now here we go so now if we make reverse statement from here you will get fourth value here yeah. again it will be added it will be subtracted if you go reverse change the signs 57400 plus 14500 minus 10500 you will get 61400 over here okay again if you go reverse fifth value will be this it should be subtracted you are going reverse 61400 minus 10,000 so your prime cost was 51400 then you added 10,000 then you got 61400 okay so it, this will be your prime cost 51400 this will be the sixth answer that is 51400 minus 17500 that is going to be 33900 this is your raw material consumed now when you get raw material consumed the last one will be this that is 7th value this value add closing less opening or I can say the formula opening plus purchase minus closing you're gonna get raw material consumed you want purchase so raw material consumed plus closing less opening you can make that equation if you are confused you can make that working otherwise it is quite okay you can do directly 33900 plus 10600 minus 8000 this will be 33600 sorry 36500 this is the seventh value which you got as a final answer so what were they asking in question if you read the question a part was compute the value of uh, material purchase it is done it is 36500 and the second part was prepare a cost statement it means cost sheet so we are done with both the parts and this, this question is done it took around 16 minutes to solve for us okay okay you can see that what is written uh, in question number four a limited company has a capacity to produce uh, 1 lakh units of a product every month so every month we can produce 1 lakh units okay uh, it means uh, one thing is very much clear cost sheet will be prepared for a month okay 
and then it works uh, its works cost at varying level of uh, production is as follows it means the data which is given in the question is of works cost when i say works cost it means it is after considering direct material plus direct labor plus direct expenses you get prime cost after uh, in that prime cost if you add factory overhead then you get factory cost so everything is added in this so now this data will not be given because when you say you got work cost everything is added in this in works cost so you can see that in the question the works cost is if you work at 10% your works cost is 400 if you work at 20% your work cost is 390 and so on so forth Achha. can you tell me what is the reason can you tell me what is the reason that if you increase your capacity your cost per unit will reduce any reason you would like to specify any which way it is given in the question but just in case if i ask you why it is like this if you increase your production your cost per unit will decrease any reason Optimum utilization is hmm. uh, Still, I need a more clear answer. That can be one thing, but. Uh, so, because the variable cost might increase, but the fixed cost will remain the same. Exactly. See, I can say that suppose there is a rent and that rent is 10,000 per month. Let us say that. And suppose if I produce 1,000 units only. I hope you understand if I produce only 1000 units my cost per unit will be 10 rupees per unit I can say that to produce one unit generally it uh, the, the burden is 10 rupees per unit rent burden okay just in case if I tell you instead of 1000 I produce 5000 units instead of 1000 units I hope you understand now in this case 10,000 is my cost but in that one month I have produced 5000 units so now my cost per unit is 2 you can see that there is increase in production production has increased and as a result of it your cpu has decreased i hope you are getting it that is one of the reasons that because of which if you increase the production you will get large economies of scale we can say or here we can say that achha, there is one more there are various other reasons also like like very simple you purchase raw metal from the supplier let us say you manufacture a pen if you manufacture a pen to, to manufacture a pen you require plastic and plastic is purchased from whom sir from whom the person from whom we purchase let us see supplier he is supplying the plastic now if you purchase plastic only 5000 kgs and if i tell you now if you purchase plastic 50000 kgs i hope you understand because now you are buying in wholesale he can reduce the price because you have a bargaining power now like you can bargain because you have a con you are buying uh, like uh, large number of units from him so you can bargain that you are charging 100 rupees per kg for this now you have to charge only 90 because i am buying this many units in wholesale i am buying so I, you have to reduce the price he will give you some discounts also it means if you go on a large scale your cost per unit reduces uh, i hope you guys are getting the point otherwise that was given in the question i just tried to explain you why the cost per unit will reduce if you increase the production uh, I hope uh, that thought process is very much clear okay now let us go with the question otherwise it was given in the question why to argue with the question it was given that's it if you work at 10 percent uh, tell me uh, if you guys work at 30 percent how many units you will produce if you guys work at 30 percent how many units you can produce tell me in one month 30,000 it is very simple sir how did you get this it is given in the question in very first line it is given a company has a capacity to produce one lakh units a company can produce one lakh units if it works at 100 percent that is the capacity but if company works at 30 percent obviously it can produce only 30,000 then so you can say that so that is something which is answered which is very easy okay now so the data was given uh, we have discussed something now let's proceed it's fixed administration cost let us say accountant salary and all which is 150000 uh okay and mark fixed marketing expenses amount to 250000 per month you have to read the question very carefully sir why you have to read the question very carefully it is very simple sometimes they will confuse you sometimes the data will be given on per annum basis suppose if it is written your cost is 150000 per month then you have to divide by 12 why because we are going to make cost sheet for one month hello that was there in the very first line otherwise you will read and you will come to know that cost sheet will be prepared for one month so if the cost is given for per annum you have to divide by 12 in this case they are not testing you on this but i just give you an idea 
that they can change some figure also so be very careful with that you should decide your window your window is one month you have to write every cost which is which pertains to one month only okay chalo let us read ahead or uh, its fixed uh, administration expenses amount to 150000 and uh, fixed marketing expenses amount to 250000 per month respectively okay uh, the variable distribution cost amount to 30 per unit okay some data is there now it can sell it can sell 100% of its output at uh, 50 per unit provided it incurs the following further expenditure a b c d we will read it later on then it can market 30% of so there are two options if company wants company can sell 100% of its output i can say the first option let us say the one option which is there with the company is to sell 100% of its output when i say 100% it means it can market 1 lakh units okay what will be the price uh, the price will be 500 that is the selling price acha but in order to uh, achieve this target you will have to incur some expenses a b c d okay now then it can market after a b c d it can market 30% of its output when i say 30% it means 30000 units at a price of rupees 550 and you will get some answer okay this is sales value obviously if you subtract cost then you gonna get profit or uh, prepare a cost sheet the last part acha there is one more thing which is written it can market 30% of its output at rupees 550 Per unit without incurring any of the expenses referred in A, B, C, D, you don't have to incur that cost here. We don't do that here. We can say we don't have to incur those cost A, B, C, D. Okay. Prepare a cost sheet for the month. So we gonna make the cost sheet for a month. It is very much clear. Okay. They are these guys are asking for a cost sheet for a month. Okay. Ah, uh, showing the total cost and the profit at thirty percent and hundred percent capacity level. So you have to show them. If you guys work at thirty percent, what will be your profit? If you guys work at hundred percent, what will be your profit? That is something which is required. Why? Just to take the decision, sir, at which capacity to operate thirty percent or hundred percent. First of all, I can give you something. The question is realistic. I can tell you something like this. If it, uh, I can connect this with economics, like if you want to increase the quantity, tell me if you want to increase your quantity in the market, what the first option will be? You will have to reduce the selling price. I hope you understand that. If you guys reduce the selling price of a product there is a possibility demand will increase more people will buy your product like jio what they did they, they started selling at like zero price first initially at a free price then at a concessional rates so if you sell at a lower price more people will be attracted so that is what they did if you want to sell more than 30000 units or i can say if you want to sell 1 lakh units the first thing will be you have to reduce the selling price tell me any other option to uh, sell more number of units the another expenditure that you will have to increase marketing expenditures if you incur more expense on marketing more people will come to know about you and they will try to buy your product it means what you will have to do if you want to increase the quantity in in, uh, in the market there are two options there are various options here i am te telling two one you can reduce the selling price and you can try to incur more upon the marketing expenses it will help you to increase your quantity Okay, sir. Now, what I need to do in this question, guys, I need to calculate the profit at thirty percent. I need to calculate the profit at hundred percent, and the cost sheet will be prepared for one month. Okay, let's get started. We can do this. Let's start. So, first of all, give the heading cost sheet for the month. Ah, uh, give the heading as cost sheet for the month. Which month? It is not given. You can just write cost sheet for the month, whether it is month of April, May, whatever it is. It is for the month. Okay. Now, when you make the column, first of all, ah, uh, the one question which will be asked to you is, okay, ah, uh, whether do we have to make a CPU column or not? Can we make CPU column in this question? Yes or no? Yes. Why, sir? Because, sir, data with reference to units is given. If you work at thirty percent, you gonna produce thirty thousand units. If you work at hundred uh, percent, you gonna produce one lakh units. So we will make that column also. Okay. So the columns when you make, it will be like this. Uh, if you work at thirty percent, thirty thousand units will be produced. If you work at hundred percent, one lakh units will be produced. Two columns you will have to make total. CPU, total CPU.
The only one thing is exception. I will tell you that in the second chapter, where you don't have to calculate the CPU when you make the reconciliation statement. I will tell you when you come to the third chapter. But as of now, I can just tell you one thing: as and when the data is given with reference to units, calculate the CPU. Okay. Now, now here we go. Having done this, having done this, uh, now if I talk about, uh, let's uh, calculate the things. First of all, uh, that is something which you should be aware of. At thirty percent, this many units are produced, and at a hundred percent, one lakh units are produced. These are units. If you have any doubt, you can mention that these are units. Okay. I hope we guys have written till here. Now I hope you understand. You will not start with direct material. The starting point will be works cost. Yeah, the direct teacher. That is right. Works cost. When you say works cost, it is given in the question that if you work at thirty percent, your works cost is three eighty. And if you guys work at hundred percent, your works cost is three one zero. Okay. Now. If you want to calculate the total cost, it is very easy. Uh, you can say that thirty thousand units you guys have produced, and for every unit you have incurred three eighty. Here I can say that you are going to produce one lakh, and for every unit you are going to incur three one zero. So let's calculate thirty thousand units into per unit cost is three eighty. That will be one one uh, around uh, three four five one crore fourteen lakh. Okay. So that is gonna be one crore fourteen lakh. That is something what you will incur. One lakh into three one zero. That will be three four five three crore ten lakh. Okay. Now having said that, you guys are done with the works cost. After works cost, what will come? So after works cost, let us say if it is a gross, it is a net only because if if only works cost is written, it is net. So what comes after works cost? Q wrap. No information is given with reference to QRA, so this will become your cost of production. Acha. Then again, after cost of production, what comes? Add opening stock of finished goods, less closing stock of finished goods. Again, in the entire question, uh, nothing is mentioned about quantity sold or we can say closing stock or opening stock. It means it is not there. Whatever you guys produce, you sell. There is no stock. Whatever you produce, you sell. It means production will be equal to sell only. So COP will become COGS because there is No information with reference to stock. So again, this will become your COGS. First, it is your works cost because data with reference to ah, uh, I can say QR app is not there. It will become your COP. Again, finished goods data is not there. It will become your COGS. Now, once you get your COGS, after COGS, what comes? Something that comes in P&L account that is administration, selling, distribution, marketing, and all. Okay. Below the table, you can find there are three expenses. The first one is fixed administration. Let's write that fixed administration. So okay. In my device, your volume is coming like a little low. I can't tell. So I don't know if it's a problem on my end or yours. That's the even my end. Can you talk like a little closer to the speaker or a little louder? Maybe I don't know what is the problem. That should not be the case. Let me check. Is it the case in uh, uh, with everyone? Hello. Is it the case with everyone that uh, the volume okay, is? I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So uh, it's now we are done with the COGS guys. Now let's go ahead. Uh, after COGS, what comes is you have to come to the PNL. That is fixed administration. Now one question should come in your mind. Otherwise, one question is there in my mind. The cost is one lakh fifty thousand. First of all, it should be divided by twelve, or it should not be divided. Uh, it should be divided by twelve. Yes or no? No. 
no it should not be divided by 12 because already it is per month you can see that we are making the cost sheet we are preparing cost sheet for one month and that cost is for one month only now that 150000 should be divided between these two or 150000 should be written in both the columns hello both the columns you understand the choice is mutually exclusive either you will work at 30 percent or you will work at 100 percent you guys are deciding where to work at which capacity to work whether 30 percent or whether 100 percent no matter at what capacity you work let us see you will have to give same salary to the accountant you will have to pay him 1 lakh 50 thousand per month the rent of the office and all which is 1 lakh 50 thousand fixed administration expenses and then there is a fixed marketing expenses fixed marketing uh, that amounts to 2 lakh 50 thousand again it is per month and the cost sheet is also for one month only so 2 lakh 50 thousand does not matter it is a fixed cost so it will remain same irrespective of units even though there is increase in units that cost will remain same in total that is a fixed cost okay then there is uh, the variable distribution cost uh, amounts to 30 per unit variable distribution it is a distribution okay variable distribution cost when i say variable distribution cost it is like packing cost you can say the secondary packing or you can say distribution it means transportation cost it is 30 rupees per unit so if it is 30 rupees per unit you guys have you guys have produced how many units here Thirty thousand. you have produced and sold so it is 30 into 30 here you have produced and sold one lakh units so into 30 rupees per unit so okay just make that calculation 30,000 into 30 that will be 9 lakh, nine lakh. okay and uh, 30 lakh I don't know why but I always use calculator even for the simplest calculation so that will be 30 lakh okay now having said that uh, we have written these cost which are given now uh, after that what is given in the question what is given is uh, it can it can sell 100 percent of its output okay at uh, 500 per unit it is this case it can sell 100 percent of its output provided that is a condition it means you can sell this output only when only when it incurs the further uh, following further expenditure following further expenditure we will write one by one a b c d that is add further cost Let's give the heading as further cost. When you talk about further cost, we will write A, B, C, D. The, the first one is uh, uh, it gives the gift uh, items costing rupees 30 per unit of sell. So first you will give the gift. If you want to sell more, you will have to attract customer. And if you want to attract customer, you will have to give some gifts and all. So that gift cost rupees 30 rupees per unit of sell. So it is 30 rupees per unit of sell. So if you sell 1 lakh units, that will be 1 lakh into 30, as simple as that. And that will be 30 lakhs. Okay, it is gifts cost. In the further cost, the A is gift. Now if I talk about B, uh, it is like it has uh, some lucky draw and all. Please read that part, lucky draw prizes. And just let me know, I will have to make one working note. But before that, you let me know what will be your total cost. Read that paragraph of three lines and just let me know as to what will be your total cost after considering all the prices which are given to the customers One lakh rupees. exactly guys that will be one lakh rupees I will show you the calculation or I can just tell you now it has a lucky draw every month okay I will come to that later on otherwise keep it uh, blank the answer is 1 lakh we'll show the working later on okay or the C part is it spends 1 lakh on refreshments served every month to its customers so we incur one more cost for refreshments the cost is 1 lakh okay in totality it is given okay every month okay now d when i say every month it's mean it is in total you don't have to multiply by uh, one lakh units again it is already in totality one lakh rupees it sponsors a television program every week at a cost of like you can say any show you must be watching or cricket 
it is sponsored by this and all so it is written it sponsors a television program every week at a cost of rupees acha the program comes every week but now you should read that carefully the cost is given per month or per week at a cost of rupees 20 lakh per month so you don't have to multiply it by 4 but if it is written the cost is 20 lakh per week then you have to multiply by 4 then you will get per month cost okay so you should be very careful with that in this question it is directly given for one month only so there is no need to worry which is a sponsor sponsorship we can say when you say sponsorship uh, that is guys 20 lakh per month okay now once you take the total you are going to get the total cost acha now my question to you is first of all will you write all these expenses here yes or no 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 you will not write because these are incurred only when you want to sell only when you want to sell 100% of your production okay that is if you want to sell 1 lakh units that was specifically written below that a b c d below that it was specifically written it can market 30% of output at rupees 550 without incurring any of the expenses so you will not incur any expense here okay sir you will get cost you will get a profit and here it is sales so now there is one working note that we guys can make for those prices again even though it is easy but still i recommend to make that working note working note number 1 for prices now let me read that paragraph uh, that is a b point it has okay a uh, lucky draws every month okay every month I mean the cost is per month we want per month only uh, giving the first price of uh, 50000 so when i talk about prices first price is of 50000 which is per month okay and then second price is of 25000 so there is a second price again that is 25000 no. then if you read ahead so you will understand there is a third price also or uh, which is a 10000 the story does not end here okay after that uh three consolation prizes just to console them that you have participated so you are getting something after three prizes there are three consolation prizes 5000 each to the customer buying the product so when i talk about consolation prizes so the value will be 5000 each there are three prizes so that will be 15000 and if you take the total that will be 1 lakh okay that's it so you can make that working note or uh, that is with reference to prizes and yeah the value will be 1 lakh which will be written over here then now Uh, how to calculate cost per unit and all that we have seen so let us first calculate the cost selling prices are given in the question and the quantity we know first uh, this much you should write which is your working note number 1 with reference to prices okay i hope uh, that is written now 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 if i come here uh, let's calculate uh, the cpu over here uh that is nothing but these cost will be divided by 30000 so let us divide 150000 divided by 30000 that becomes 5 250000 divided by 30000 that becomes uh, 8.33 theek hai that is 8.33 okay these values will be divided by 1 lakh units 1 lakh 50000 divided by 1 lakh units that is uh, 1.5 2 lakh 50000 divided by 1 lakh which is 2.5 theek hai now here it will be 1 here it will be 1 so please uh, complete this statement here it will be 20 lakh divided by 1 lakh 20 that will be per unit now let's take the total cost uh, the, like the let's take the uh, total of this total column initially first here it is a uh, 1 crore 14 lakh plus 1 lakh 50 plus 2 lakh 50 plus 9 lakh total will be 1 crore 27 lakh here if you take the total okay now uh, have the uh, let's take total here also it is the 3 crore 10 lakh 3 crore 
टेन लैक प्लस वन लैख फिफ्टी प्लस टू लैख फिफ्टी प्लस थर्टी लैख प्लस थर्टी लैख प्लस वन लैख प्लस वन लैख प्लस ट्वेंटी लैख दैट इज थ्री करोर नाइन्टी सिक्स लैक्स यर ओके वंस यू टेक द टोटल नाउ हाउ डू यू गेट द सेल्स वैल्यू दैट इज देर इन द क्वेश्चन दे हैव सेड हियर If you sell thirty thousand units, these are being sold at what price? These are sold at five fifty. But if you want to sell one lakh units, you have to reduce the price, and the price will be five hundred. That was given in the question. So now the balancing figure will be profit. Thirty thousand units will be thirty thousand units will be sold at five fifty. That will be one crore sixty five. The balancing figure will be one crore twenty seven. That is, it will be thirty eight lakhs. Yeah, this will be my profit. Yeah, same goes for your uh, second or uh, that hundred percent wala column. One lakh units will be sold at five hundred, so five crore. Minus three crore ninety six lakh. That is uh, one crore four lakh will be your profit. Yeah, and uh, let's uh, calculate the CPU. Everything will be divided by thirty thousand. That will be four twenty three point three three. One twenty six point six seven. Five fifty. This will be five hundred. This will be one. One second. Three ninety six. One zero four. Yeah, that is how the statement will look like. If while writing, ah, uh, you skipped something, ah, uh, you can tell me, sir. Please show the upper part or show the working note number one, whatever it is. You can tell me. I will show the screen. Okay, please write it down. This is the entire solution we can say. Yeah, this will be the working note. If at all you want to go for a working note also, yeah. Done. That's it. We are done with this question. Okay. If I read this question, ah, uh, from the following, calculate the cost of production and the profit for the month of March. So it means to calculate your cost of production. I can say. to calculate your cost of production and your a uh, profit we can say that what you will have to make is cost sheet so it means we gonna make the cost sheet okay now and that will be for the month that is very important it will be for the month of march okay let's read the data first if i talk about uh, stock it is opening stock the stock which is given for 31st march it is a closing stock okay now there is opening stock and there is a closing stock okay now The stock is given for a raw material, then finished goods, then raw material, and then finished goods. Okay. Then what is given is stock of WIP. You can see the stock of WIP is also given for opening and closing. It means on the left hand side, I can say on the left hand side, the whatever data which is given in the question on the left hand side that is given with reference to stock opening and closing, raw material, WIP, and finished goods. Let's come here. acha here if i talk about the purchase of raw material is given you can see purchase of raw material okay now i hope you understand when i say purchase of raw material sir you know the opening stock of raw material sir you know the closing stock of raw material sir you know the purchase of raw material sir you can easily calculate what raw material consumed can be easily calculated based on this okay because you know the opening you know the purchase and you know the closing also then then if i read ahead what is given in the question is a uh, sale of finished goods okay that is the final uh, answer of this when you make the cost sheet this is the last part sales okay then then there is uh, one more thing that is direct wages once you get the raw material consumed you need to add direct wages you gonna get the prime cost once you get the prime cost you need to add factory overhead these are given factory expenses once you add this after adding factory expenses what do you get you get what gross factory cost then you you need to make adjustment of which stock after gross factory cost wip and that data is there you can see 
the data with reference to opening and closing WIP is given in the question. So if you just utilize that, you can easily get your net factory cost. After net factory cost, what comes is Q wrap. No information is given with reference to Q wrap. So it is not there. Achha, one thing is there. Sale of scrap. So when I say sale of scrap, so Q wrap minus scrap. So from factory cost, what will be subtracted? Scrap will be subtracted. Okay. If nothing is given, this scrap is nothing but your Q wrap wala scrap, which will be subtracted from Q wrap. It is that scrap. If it is written scrap of material, then it will be subtracted from raw material. Okay. It is a scrap which will be subtracted from Q wrap, we can say. Okay. Then there is a office. Exp then after uh, doing this, after subtracting Q wrap, the after subtracting your scrap from the works cost, we can say whatever you got. Then use Q wrap wala scrap. If you subtract, what you get is COP. From COP, if you want COGS, you will have to make adjustment for finished goods. That is given in the question opening and closing stock of finished goods. Once you make adjustment for finished goods, I hope you understand what you get is COGS and once you get COGS, you will have to add these two expenses which were pending, office and selling and distribution. Can you do this at home and then I will uh, check the answer whether it is right or not and then we can decide whether to solve this question here or it should be given as a homework. Hello. Yes, yeah, so we can do it. Uh -huh. So, uh, and then there is one more thing. When you solve the question, please measure the time that uh, how much time it took for you to solve this question. Generally, I can say that it took, uh, it uh, should take max 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, max, I am saying max. It should be solved in 10 to 15 minutes, but max 20 minutes. It should be solved, okay? In fair, not in rough. You can leave one page or uh, if you want to maintain the sequence, I can tell you, you can leave one page. It will be solved in one page. If you want to uh, know the number of lines, I can uh, calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 25 lines. It will take max 25 lines. It is taking actually only uh, 23 lines, but two lines for the safety purpose. So I can say 25 lines. If you want to leave or you can leave one entire page. For that matter, okay. So we can uh, see this is done. We'll discuss. So, Bolo. The sale of finished goods will be where, will be where? Sale of finished goods will be the after cost of sales. This is sales is nothing but sale of finished goods, and balancing figure will be profit. This is okay. what you sell in the market. Is this only na sales of finished goods? Okay. Final sales. Yeah, okay. okay. Fair enough. So that's it. So this will be uh, given as a homework done. Okay, if you talk about question number 5 guys, uh, it was given as a homework, uh, let us discuss as to what is the solution. So there is a solution uh, which is in front of you, I feel that uh, you will not get any doubt. Your profit amount will be 3,17,000, your profit amount will be sorry 31,70,000 and the rest we have discussed. So you can just take the screenshot yeah, uh, and you can write it down later on uh, just in case if you have not written. So please take the screenshot of this. And write it down, okay. Later, uh, write down at your end once you get the time. So, this is the solution of question number five, okay. Here we go. So, that's it. Uh, we are done with this. Okay, here we go. Uh, let us start with this question. Let's see as to what is written uh, from the following data of uh, Arno Metallic Limited calculate the cost of production. Question is very much clear what these guys are asking for is cost of production, cost of production we want. Okay, It means uh, you don't have to uh, add that uh, uh, selling and distribution, administration and then you will get uh, COGS and all that all we don't want. They have asked us only up to cost of production. It means after Q wrap minus scrap, whatever comes is COP. We want only that much. Okay. Now, now let's read this. You will understand what is written. Uh, repairs and maintenance uh, paid for the plant and machinery. Repairs and maintenance paid for plant and machinery. You just need to think as to where it will come. It will form a part of uh, where will you write? See, you have a few options. Either you can tell me it, it, it will be a part of raw material consumed, either it can be a direct wages or it is direct expense. Generally, it is not there. If it is there, they will specify. Then other than that, it can be a factory overhead or it can be a part of QRA. So these are the options, RMC, wage control, factory overhead or QRA. Okay. 
minus scrap. So if I talk about uh, repairs and maintenance of paid for the plant and machinery, can I say it is a part of factory overhead? Hello, because it is done in the factory. Yes. Then again, uh, if I talk about insurance premium on the inventory, so inventory is also kept in go down, uh, like it is inventory if I talk about, so that inventory is kept in a uh, factory for the purpose of we can say production. So in that case, uh, if any insurance is paid or another, otherwise we can say that it is not direct material or it is not direct labor cost. So it is incurred and it is indirect. That, that is why it is indirect factory overhead, which is insurance premium on inventory. Then insurance premium on plant and machinery again. Bolo. The inventory can uh, is fixed goods, right? Whatever we have produced. Hmm. So, sir, if the P, if, uh, shouldn't it form a part of PNL like of expenses? Uh, it's an insurance premium on inventory expense, so, which will tighten the NSO selling and distribution. No, I. No, no, no. A general, a general administration. No, first of all, uh, see, understand this. When I talk about inventory, now uh, there is a possibility. First, you need to decide as to what kind of inventory it is. That is something the first question is. If I talk about generally a finished goods, then where will you write? If I say warehouse rent, where will you write? For finished goods, where you keep the finished goods. It should be selling and distribution, right? Hello. But if I talk about uh, raw material or if I talk about WIP, so WIP will be in the factory only yes. and raw material stock will be in the store, right? Yes. So now this everything, first of all, when I talk about the insurance premium on plant and machinery, you are very much clear that it should be a factory overhead. If I talk about insurance premium on the stock of WIP, still there is no doubt it is inside the factory. But if I talk about this also, again, there are two options. Either you can say it is a direct cost, so it will come as a direct material or it can be factory overhead. First of all, when I talk about insurance premium, is it direct cost or it is indirect cost? Indirect. It is indirect because you do not directly incur that if you produce one unit, this will be the insurance premium. No, premium is incurred in totality. So in that case, now if I say if it is indirect, so it will form part of factory overhead only no? in indirect cost and not office and administration. Why do you feel it is office and administration? When I say office and administration, these are those expenses which are specifically incurred for the administration purpose like accounting and all, management accountant salary. Hello. Still, if any doubt, please let me know. Insurance premium will form a part of factory over it only. If you have any doubts, sir, it should come here. Then we will discuss. Or is it clear? No, but still, uh, this is inventory is fixed goods. Uh, I mean, sorry, finished goods, right? No, inventory can be anything, na? Inventory can be divided into three parts. Raw material. Inventory is nothing but stock. Yeah, but here it no, here it will be this raw material and WIP. If nothing is given, it is that stock. Because uh -huh. see, because why I am saying like this in the entire question, if you see which stock is given in the question, when you read the question, you will understand the stock of raw material and WIP is given. The information with reference to uh, this is given, right? Yes. And they are telling us to calculate till what? cost of production right yes. and after cost of production what comes is finished goods stock finished goods, yes. so in the absence of information what is a better assumption tell me this no, data is not there finished goods uh, sorry raw material or WIP right yes, sir. and in that case that will be factory over it only no? yes, sir. okay sir. Suppose it would be uh, finished, so it will be added to selling and distribution. Huh, it will be added to selling and distribution. Okay. Sir. Okay. Okay. Now here we go. Uh, here it is insurance premium. Uh, then uh, once we are done with this cost sheet now and a few more questions for practice, I will give you one. Uh, list for illustrative purpose that these all expenses come in factory overhead these all expenses come in office and administration these all comes in selling and distribution 
this is the list which forms part of direct expenses and direct matter and direct labor is very easy so it will be easier for you to identify where it will come but once we are done with a uh, few questions and few practice questions then i will give you this exhaustive list hello then it will solve the purpose for you okay fine as of now why i am not giving it if i give you you will search there only are sorry it will form part of this only so that's why i am not giving you we will uh, i will give it to you at the end once we are done with this chapters okay cosh it chapter okay now after a uh, repair of uh, yeah uh, i can see this then this is raw material consumed which will be the part of raw material consumed again opening stock of raw material raw material consumed closing stock of raw material raw material consumed it will be subtracted then there is a wages we can say a uh, wages paid okay that is direct labor then there is a wip wip which will be adjusted okay quality control is nothing but q you can read quality control for the products in the manufacturing process research and development for improvement in production process which is r then there is a administrative which is a and this is general administration general administration which is others for factory and production is a that is q wrap a okay then amount realized if you read ahead amount realized by selling the scrap generated during manufacturing process so it is q wrap minus scrap acha there is one more thing which is given in the question packing cost necessary to preserve the goods for further processing necessary to preserve the goods for further processing tell me primary packing that will be the uh, then q wrap minus scrap you can see it is q r a p minus scrap q wrap minus scrap so the entire purpose of this question is to discuss the q wrap we can say that okay you can see that entire data is given with reference to q wrap sir bolo so how to differentiate between primary and secondary packing something which is incurred during production or which is required for production is prime i just told you like a coal gate when i say coal gate so for coal gate i can say you require a tube hello coal gate is sold in tubes na that is a primary packing that is the it is incurred in production process only you need a tube in factory only but if you say these tubes or this coal gate is being sold in one box so this box the cost which you incur for that box in which all the coal gates are kept and these are being distributed so this packing which is done at the time of selling and distribution and not at the time of production hello that is a secondary yeah. packing so if you read the question whether it is incurred at the time of production or at the time of sale so if you read this uh the packing cost necessary to preserve the goods for further processing it means it is during production hello is it clear okay now now there is one point where maybe we can have an argument but yeah uh, we just have to settle as to what i see ai as assumed uh, if i talk about this uh, which is uh, salary paid to the director so when i say director which is technical so when i say this here when i say it is a salary paid to the director generally given a choice first of all what will you assume factory factory overhead factory expenses suppose only this much is written salary paid to director general administrator general but when you say technical it means how do you interpret this technical means factory related to the factory like he is a supervisor hmm but that is not the case again uh, we could have assumed like this uh, but yeah but if you see the icai ka solution so again uh, i don't want to go against the icai and what they must have assumed like i can say that when i say salary paid to the technical director if we talk about institute so yahan pe they are saying that technical director is someone who is not in the uh, factory the technical means something there are different technical analysis like you must have uh, seen in stock market also uh, some uh, you must not be aware uh, are you aware about the stock market we do technical analysis you need to see the candles and all like uh, maybe not but i can say that uh, technical analysis it is nothing it's it does not mean it connects with only production activity technical analysis means like if it is my company on very first day i have to decide many things see when i say in stock market what is technical analysis based on past experience 
you predict based on past experience you predict which stock will go up which stock will go down and accordingly uh, you just try to buy that stock either you buy call option put option or you purchase that stock so you just make some technical analysis based on past experience okay same goes in the company also same goes in the company there is one technical person what he will do that what he will do is what he will do is based on the past experience of the company that is demand and supply and whatever prices which are kept by the company and whatever competition which is going on in the market what will be the production during what will be the demand in this year based on that demand what will be my sales based on that sale what should i produce and all this technical analysis which will be which will be done by that person so this person is nothing but who is sitting in the office and who is doing all this analysis this is general administration so please there is a possibility you will make the mistake you will say that technical means connected with only production no production sales and all the decisions which are taken for the future based so these will be taken based on technical analysis that will be office and administration so please don't make a mistake okay for this then when i say uh, this it is general office and administration okay uh, if you want so that you can write it down later on you can take the screenshot of this so that once you get the hard copy just in case you don't have so you can just uh, then write down this q f whatever if you want okay okay here we go based on this now uh, we can uh, solve this question what i need is i need only one thing i need only c o g s okay here we go then if i need c o g s now let's see uh, without this marking whether we will be able to do it or not first of all the first question you guys will have to ask yourself sir do, do we, we need cop right ha cop bolo okay please take the screenshot Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, now uh, here we go. Maybe else I will keep the PDF as it is only for you, so that I can send this in group. Maybe so that uh, okay, we can do that. Okay. Now, having done this, uh, let us start with the solution. Now, we guys have to calculate what cost of production. Now, if you want to calculate cost of production, we will have to make the cost sheet. But sir. if you want to make the cost sheet the first question is do we have to make cpu column yes or no cpu column will come no no because details with reference to units is not given in the question so cpu column will not come so please give the heading and yeah the cost sheet will be again for the month and what that we don't know so you can just otherwise we can simply say statement showing cost of production these guys have asked that so statement showing cost of production you can write that also or you can write cost sheet statement showing cost of production they were asking for this okay now when i say this particulars we will have to make only one column which is total because detail with reference to units is not there no need to make cpu column okay so start with this the first thing will be raw material consumed you have the data in front of you please take the calculator and calculate the raw material consumed the uh, the data which is in front of you that is sufficient please tell me what is the amount of raw material consumed dm me in the chat box let me calculate that is quite easy yeah uh vedant which is right answer that is right answer dhruvi s yes. ne nishi right nish vaishnavi s yes. arpit s yes. priyam s yes. so 6 to 7 people gave the answer that is fine okay the ratio is not that bad okay now Ah, uh, let's go for the solution now. Raw material consumed. So first, give the heading. Raw material consumed. अच्छा. 
when you give this heading now what comes here is opening stock of raw material plus purchase of raw material minus closing stock of raw material and the amount will appear in the outer column okay let's have a look uh, the opening stock which is given in the question if you read roman number 3 4 and 5 you can see that purchased is 64 lakh your opening stock which is given is 2 lakh 88000 and yeah the closing stock will be 4 lakh 46000 if you subtract this you are gonna get your final answer which is 2 lakh 88000 plus 64 lakh minus 4 lakh 46000 and you have the answer which is 62 lakh 42000 yes sir this is what so this is my raw material consumed after raw material consumed sir what comes it is direct wages so let us write direct wages let's search in the question if you see the question uh, roman number 6 wages paid it is written which is 23 lakh 20 thousand just in case if you want to see this is this wages paid okay 23 lakh 20 thousand okay then there is no other information which is there in the question with reference to direct expenses if you just take the total you are gonna get prime cost take the total that will be 85 lakh 62 thousand that will be 85 lakh 62 thousand this is our prime cost guys after a prime cost what comes uh, by this time we should be able to buy hard the entire cost sheet now it is uh, like we can see that we have solved many questions so now after prime cost you guys will have to add factory overhead i need final answer of factory overhead in outer column if there is any calculation it will be shown in the inner column so factory overhead uh, I can highlight this for you uh, here we go this is factory overhead this is factory overhead and yeah then there is there is there is there is nothing as factory there is one more thing as a factory overhead which is there which is written over there so insurance premium on inventory then uh, first I will write this second this then upper one insurance premium on inventory first repairs and maintenance paid for plant and machinery repairs and maintenance of plant and machinery premium on plant and machinery then premium on inventory which is insurance premium premium on inventory okay uh, just in case you want to see the amount which is 9,80,596,000 Uh, 26,000 okay 980,500 plus 96,000 plus 26,000 that is 1102500 take the total and the answer will be gross factory cost That is Here we go. So it is 96,64,500. So we are done till here. Uh, now, yeah. Now, 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 uh, we can say that after gross factory calls, sir, what comes? What comes is WIP which is add opening stock of WIP less closing stock of WIP then you get net factory cost so we can say opening stock of WIP then we can say closing stock of WIP Okay, so when you say opening stock of WIP and closing stock of WIP, uh, the information which is given in the question is 
this of uh, four lakh six and six lakh two thousand one hundred. Four lakh six thousand. Uh, six lakh two thousand one hundred. Once you subtract this, you will get factory cost. So please calculate. Okay. Please calculate till here, which is your factory cost. You can see just in case something is pending at your end. Please finish it off. Okay, so we guys are done with this, which is uh, our uh, factory cost. We can say now after factory cost, what comes is uh, your Q wrap. Okay, so Q wrap. Minus scrap. In this question, all the data is there. The first one is quality control. That is there in the question, uh, which is uh, eighty six thousand. It can be kept here in the inner column. Okay. Then after quality control, there is R, which is research and development. Uh, that is ninety two thousand six hundred. Then there is a administration. It should be related to production. So, you can see that administration expenses, which are related to production, that is nine lakh. Then there is a primary packing also in Roman number, uh, that is thirteen. Okay, ten thousand two hundred. Primary packing. Then. After primary packing, uh, if we just discuss, so there is a scrap also. That is the yeah, a uh, twelfth number point, the point number twelve, which is nine thousand two hundred. Scrap during production. Scrap. Yeah, the sale of scrap. Whatever you write. Yeah, uh, your final answer will be your final answer will be three, four, five, ten lakhs. Uh, sorry, three, four, five, yeah, ten lakh uh, seventy-nine thousand six hundred. So that answer will be ten lakh Triple zero, and this is gonna be your cost of production. That's it. They were asking for this only. Oh, sir. There is one more data which is given, which is uh, salary paid to technical director. But please understand that it will not form part of cost of production. It will come after COGS. Okay. Again, there is one more administration expenses uh, that you should not write. Like if at all, if I just show you this one. You can ignore this because it will come again after. Uh, it will come uh, with selling and distribution. We don't have to make total cost sheet. We just need cost of production. They were asking for this only. We can just make one note uh, so that you will remember that uh, salary paid to technical director is general uh, office and administration. It is a note which you can write. Director is general office in administration. So it will not form part of cost of production. 
so salary paid to technical director is a general office and administration so it will not form part of cost of production this will be your note okay fair enough so that was the solution the answer was uh, uh, we can say 3 4 5 so 1 crore 50 uh, 1 crore 5 lakh 48000 1 crore 5 lakh 48000 and uh, we did this question that's it okay uh, so here we go let's start with this question let's read the data as to what is given okay sir uh, from uh, following information is related to manufacturing concern for the year ended so this time you should be very careful the data which is given in the question is one year if you have the hard copy it is always preferable whatever the data is given you should just uh, keep that in bracket that what is my window whether it is one year or one month okay it is with reference to March the data the year end is March okay raw material stock is given opening closing purchase of raw material is given free inward Achha. Achha. I know that it will form a part of RMC raw material consume again it will be a part of RMC it will be a part of RMC closing will be subtracted tell me Freight inwards, where will you write it? Freight inwards. That that will form part of RMC only it means RMC. that is huh. Yeah, it will be added in purchase of wrong expenses on purchase. Okay. Achha, ah, there was one more point which was missing again in this question. I don't know why. When it went for a typing, he missed out one point. So please write one thing. Direct wages paid. Please mention this direct wages paid, which is uh, twelve lakh fifty six thousand. So please uh, mention this, which is uh, twelve lakh fifty six thousand direct wages paid. Okay. Now, having uh, said that, twelve lakh fifty six thousand. Now we can go for this. Okay. Now. Uh, then a uh, few more data is there the, the data which is given is direct wages outstanding first of all tell me if you made a payment for a uh, 12 lakh 56 thousand and if I tell you that uh, there is a direct wages which is outstanding at the end is 1 lakh 50 so whether this 1 lakh 50 will it be added or it will not be added It will be added now you uh, you must be aware of any concept which is accrual concept or uh, in or uh, in simple words I can say when you make PNL and trading account also what you see that see see one worker has worked in simple words if I tell you one worker has worked for uh, 12 months okay we are making one cost sheet for 12 months now I paid uh, the total payment which he is entitled to get is 12,000 because it is 1,000 per month so for 12 months that becomes 12,000 Till now I have paid him only 10,000 does that mean my cost is only 10,000 no because that fellow has worked for 12 months in this year you understand 2000 even though I haven't paid that does not mean it is not my cost I will pay it it is just that I haven't paid it in the current year I will pay it in the next year but that cost pertains to this year only which is it has accrued it has taken birth in this year we have to add that 2000 here only or in simple words you do in your uh, yeah like when you study we all know that your professors have taught you that yeah whatever is outstanding it should be added so we know that Achha, suppose suppose that worker has worked for 12 months so he's entitled for 12 months but because he was in the need of funds i paid him 15000 tell me what is the amount that will appear in my cost sheet 12000 only now because what i will say even though it is paid is 15,000 but this 3,000 does not pertain to this year it will take birth this expense will be incurred in the next year it is just that we have paid it here but when he works he will be entitled for that it is just one advance which is given so the prepaid will be subtracted amount will always remain 12,000 if it is 12 months cost sheet cost will come for 12 months only irrespective of payment or uh, do I need to go in more detail or you are convinced that we need to add outstanding Okay, fine. 
otherwise i can take basic example but uh, i can see that it is something which you already know okay so outstanding uh, outstanding will be added guys uh, please don't make any mistake in that it will be added okay again uh, i can write as direct wages in that case yes sir factory overheads uh, it is 20 percent of prime cost we we know what is prime cost it is uh, addition of direct cost material labor direct material direct labor okay now WIP is given in the question again that is WIP WIP it is just uh, I am writing for my reference so that I don't have to refer this entire thing here okay then after that there is the administration uh, very important they have specifically written it is related with the production so it is administration which will come with QRAP it is that administration because it is related with production then there is a distribution it is nothing but selling and distribution okay now 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 important thing sir they have given us details with reference to units okay when i say that the details is given with reference to units uh, let us try to calculate the things then you have the data you have the data just uh, refer the data which is given in the question just a second just read this data this data and tell me what is your closing stock let me check first of all what is asked huh. tell me closing stock in units tell me closing stock in units i want to i want you to read this at your end closing stock i need closing stock in units how many units are lying in my godown at the end of the year please send me the answer uh no uh vaishnavi no please check some mistake you must have done uh, Dhruvi yes when I say yes it means it is correct okay no means it's not correct simple okay please try it is not that difficult details with reference to units is given in the question yeah here we go uh, then Dhruvi then Arpit right answer uh, Nishi right answer Vaishnavi nai will see to it what's the error Vaishnavi you told me about opening stock I need closing stock okay uh, so check again please the data which is there is in of opening stock okay fine but still uh, you participate that is important your participation is important uh, Priyam uh, that is uh, right uh, uh, Ridhima I think you yeah. Uh -huh. Bolo. So uh, sorry, I was disconnected. What do you have to calculate? You need to calculate closing stocks. I have highlighted a few things. You have to give me the answer of closing stock in units. Okay, here we go then. Uh, let's uh, read the morning. Um, now, let's go for this. A uh, few data is there. Achha, first of all, when I say opening stock, it is opening stock of finished goods. Then there is sale of scrap of material. Now you should be very important. It is very important. What is written is sale of scrap of material. If only sale of scrap is written, we assume it is during production. It is sale of scrap of material. So where it should be adjusted? Raw material, Raw material consumed. So be clear with that. Okay. Don't make that mistake. Uh, I feel that here you guys can make the mistake. Here the mistake can be made. It is important. I need to change the color that is better thing yeah, this is important I can say where the mistake can be made okay now let's go for this color no yeah that is better something which is important I will highlight with this where error can be made okay now having said that uh, at the end what these guys are asking there is a paragraph which is given okay I will read that later on but these guys are asking for what these guys are asking for make the uh, you need to make the call sheet okay we'll do that this time now if I ask you this time if I ask you sir will you prepare CPU column yes or no yes, yes. answer should be yes because sir details of units is given and as in when you make the CPU column it is uh, always preferable that you guys will have to make one working you have to make one working which is details of finished goods so let us make one working working note number one which is details of finished goods
अच्छा वेन यू राइट डिटेल्स ऑफ फिनिश गुड्स आई थिंक यू कैन मेक वर्टिकल स्टेटमेंट बट आई जनरली गो फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर्स क्वान्टिटी पर्टिकुलर्स क्वान्टिटी ओके दैन देन आई से फर्स्ट यू विल स्टार्ट विथ ओपनिंग स्टॉक ऑफ फिनिश गुड्स then you will say how many units you guys have produced that is quantity produced then you will say quantity sold and then there is a closing stock of finished goods now we will have to read the data as to what all things are given in the question yeah तो लेट्स रीड द डेटा हैविंग डन दिस तो लेट्स रीड इन द क्वेश्चन इफ यू सी इफ यू सी वी कैन सी दैट हियर हियर व्हाट इज गिवन इज ओपनिंग स्टॉक इज गिवन वन टू वन सेवन यूनिट्स वी हैव ओपनिंग स्टॉक ऑफ वन टू वन सेवन यूनिट्स ओके सो दिस दिस मेनी यूनिट्स वर लाइंग इन द गोडाउन एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द ईयर ओके या वी गो दैट इज अप्रिल यू कैन सी दिस वर इन द बिगिनिंग ओपनिंग स्टॉक एट द बिगिनिंग ओके नाउ now again uh, just in case if someone wants these guy uh, you guys can take the screenshot of this also i will wait okay i hope that is done okay then now now here we go uh, now in this case uh, we have uh, more data we can read this the firm the firm produce 14000 units of output during the year when i say produce it means quantity produced so we guys have produced how many units 14000 already we were having a stock of 1 to 17 we guys have produced 14000 then it is said that it is said that the closing stock of finished goods at the end of the year it means a closing stock okay the stock of finished goods at the end means closing stock is valued at cost of production thank you you can tell them thank you sir why sir even if it is not given we always value our stock at cost of production only closing stock is always valued at cost of production okay sir now the firm has sold how many units the firm has sold at what price i am not interested in as of now i am not interested in the selling price what i am interested is how many units we have sold 14153 so i can write that here 14153 uh, now i can say i was having 1217 ka stock 14000 units has been produced so yes sir this many units are there with me in totality out of this many units we guys have sold 14153 so what remains with me is one this what remains with me is 1064 and because this is balancing figure please put that in bracket i will highlight also this was my answer okay it was a balancing figure Yes, sir. We are done with the details of finished goods. How many units we have produced, sold? What is my opening? What is my closing? Yes. Now we can go for our final answer, which is cost sheet. At the last line, if you read the last line of the question, these guys are asking for that only cost sheet. This time, cost sheet is for the year ended. We can see the first line of the question. Cost sheet for the year ended, thirty first March two thousand nineteen. Cost sheet. for the year ended 31st march 2019 acha now if you talk about the columns obvious it is but obvious that one column will come that is cpu column so particulars we can make one column as total then one as cpu here we go now again i need answers from your side you have the data this time there is a possibility you will make the mistake but please don't do that calculate in rough raw material consumed and send the answer in chat box i need raw material consumed from your side be very careful even though data is written you can make the mistake अर्पित दैट इज राइट आंसर नहीं अर्पित आई थिंक यू मेड वन मिस्टेक 
which was expected uh, vaishnavi again same mistake so it means there is a possibility that when this question comes in examination you will make this mistake for sure okay vedant you should send answer to everyone but uh, so to uh, in dm but theek hai yeah, and it's okay but fine no that is not the answer a uh, vaishnavi right answer no 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 a uh, vaishnavi the first un no 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 ab tak koi bhi no answer okay no one has given the right answer ridhima right answer okay a uh, nishi uh, that is right answer khushi nahi tejas nahi why you guys are making the mistake it should not happen the data is there na i sent let's see. sorry a uh, tejas uh, khushi नहीं वाई द आंसर इज फोर्टी टू लैक एटी थाउजेंड एवरी वन इज गेटिंग फोर्टी टू लैक फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड सॉरी आई डोट नो वाई फोर्टी टू लैक फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड इट शुड बी फोर्टी टू लैक फोर्टी थाउजेंड या अर्पित राइट आंसर हाँ अर्पित यू फॉर्गॉट दैट स्क्रैप इनिशियली वेन यू गिव दैट फर्स्ट आंसर हाँ एंड दैट वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड आई रोट ऑल्सो ना दैट यू विल फॉर्गेट सो please uh like it is expected always when as in when uh, such question comes i know that this is the mistake that students will make so please even you also highlight this part uh, if you don't have the hard copy at least take the screenshot when the that solution comes otherwise when you write in the notebook now we will make sure that to indicate that here you can make the mistake so let's go uh, let's give the heading as raw material consumed okay generally what comes is this opening stock of raw material then there is a purchase of raw material this time there is one more thing expenses on purchase which is carriage inward then minus closing stock of raw material one more thing which you can forget sale of scrap which is of raw material which is very very important i will indicate here also that you guys will forget this so i am indicating here also that there is a possibility that you will forget this okay see when you solve questions with me and when you solve questions at home generally it happens that you might forget something so it is always preferable you have to revise this questions at home you have to solve each and every question in rough paper you will understand there are some calculation errors sometimes you will forget zero and all that you will understand so please do practice this questions at home okay uh now let us go for the opening stock that is there opening and closing 228000 and then it is 3,5,000 2,28,000 3,5,000 it will be subtracted okay then there is a purchase and then expenses on purchase acha it is freight inward okay fair enough so by mistake i wrote it as carriage inward that is same only but still freight inward so that becomes uh, 42 lakh 25 and 1 lakh 42 lakh 25 and 1 lakh then there is a sale of scrap which is 8000 which should be subtracted okay so that is how you will get the answer 2 lakh 28000 plus 42 lakh 25000 plus 1 lakh Minus three lakh five thousand minus thirty eight thousand so forty two lakh. Acha. Ah, uh, now why you guys were getting that answer? Forty two lakh eighty thousand. I don't know why. Okay. Fine. So this will be the answer. The right answer will be ah, uh, khushi arpit. Okay, that is right. Okay, fine. Now. uh can you uh, point out any other mistake so that i will highlight it so that others should not make that mistake other than this what was the mistake you guys did it's okay to share the mistake here okay 
sometimes what you do generally uh, i commit this mistake sometimes i forget to add the uh, subtract the closing stock i just generally add it vaisa otherwise i write opening in closing closing in opening that mistake can also be done okay here we go then so that is the answer which is 42 lakh 40000 now uh, let us go for uh, again i will ask you one thing uh, let's see whether you will give me the right answer or not so that uh, it is like two way communication now there is one more thing which is there direct wages uh you have the question in front of you something is written extra as a extra part give me uh, the direct wages answer what will be the amount of direct wages yeah that seems easy okay vaishnavi uh, priyam uh, arpit that is right answer you just need to add a outstanding that's it nothing uh, there is no catch in this it is very simple you just have to uh, take care of this fact which is outstanding and the whatever you have paid you just need to add these two okay so here we go uh, 12 lakh uh, 56000 direct wages if i talk about One lakh fifty six thousand plus one lakh fifty thousand. That is fourteen lakh six thousand plus forty two lakh forty thousand. That is fifty six lakh forty six thousand. Okay, so here we go. That will be the answer. of prime cost cpu will be calculated at the end uh, as of now do not worry about cpu okay uh once you get the prime cost once you get the prime cost what comes is factory overhead so add factory overhead yes uh once you add your factory overhead that is there in the question uh which can be seen as uh, 20% of prime cost that is written so in bracket i can say 56 46 uh it is uh, it is like a uh, 56 lakh 46000 into 20% of the prime cost so into 20% 56 lakh 46000 into 20% that is 112920 add this that becomes 67 lakh 75200 Sixty-seven, seventy-five, two hundred. Yeah, that is your gross factory cost. Acha, let me check whether uh, is there a stock of WIP. Yes, there is a stock of WIP. So this is gross factory cost or gross works cost. Ah, uh, once you get your gross works cost, you need to make adjustment for your WIP stock. So you need to add opening stock of WIP, subtract closing stock of WIP. so if i talk about opening stock of wip uh, that will be uh, just in case you want to see yeah the stock is there opening and closing 1 lakh uh, the first opening is given then closing is given okay so it is there in the format which we want first opening is there 1 lakh 92500 1 lakh 4700 1 lakh 92500 1 lakh 40700 it will be subtracted and then you will have your factory cost okay uh oh, 68 lakh 27000 acha oh uh, once you write this uh, once you get uh, the factory cost now there is a uh, one thing which is there in the question uh, after factory cost what comes is q wrap there is no quality control there is no research and development but 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 there is administration which is connected with production you can see that administration which is connected with production and the answer is uh, 1 lakh 73000 administration overheads related to production
विच इज वन लैख सेवेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड वंस यू एट दिस यू गाना गेट यूर सी ओ पी विच इज कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन सिक्स एट टू सेवन ट्रिपल जीरो प्लस वन सेवन थ्री ट्रिपल जीरो दैट बिकम्स थ्री फोर फाइव सेवेंटी लैक्स इफ आंसर इज लाइक दिस यू आर श्योर दैट या इट इज राइट बिकॉज इट इज लाइक सेवेंटी लैक्स करके बट दैट इज नॉट द केस समटाइम्स आंसर कैन बी इन फ्रैक्शन सो डू नॉट वरी बट या दिस टाइम यू गेट अ श्योरिटी दैट या इफ इट इज सेवेंटी लैक्स इट इज लाइक राउंडिंग राउंडेड ऑफ आंसर इट मीन्स इट इज राइट ओके नाउ Once you get your cost of production, you guys will have to add opening stock. You will have to subtract closing stock. Let's write opening stock of finished goods. Let me check what is given. Yes, the data is there. You can see opening stock of finished goods, which is six lakh eight thousand five hundred. Six lakh eight thousand five hundred less. closing stock of finished goods please this time i need answer from your side i and i expect right answers but still even if it is wrong that is okay but you have to give me the answer please what will be the value of closing stock somewhere i have explained this and we have solved also we have calculated this value earlier yeah arpit uh, that is right answer value of closing stock what will you write below that Uh, instead of that question mark, what will be written in place of that question mark? What will you write? That's it. Only one person. A version of nine. Vedant, right answer. If you guys are revising, you will get the answers because we have specifically written the notes after cost sheet. Point number one, point number two, point number three. Where will you value the cost uh, closing stock? Even in this question, they have specifically written that closing stock will be valued at this. Okay, maybe this indicates how much attention you pay then. In that case, yeah. Or it was discussed, guys. See first of all, what is written over here is. Closing stock is valued. Closing stock, the stock of finished goods at the end. It means it is a closing stock. It is valued at cost of production because it is your second time. Maybe you are uh, not able to calculate, but we have discussed this earlier. Okay. Ah, uh, Priyam, nay, or uh, Tejas, right? Okay, fine. See, understand this. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Ah, uh, if I talk about this close, ah, uh, first quantity sold. First. If nothing is given in the question, which method you follow? Ah, uh, FIFO method, LIFO method, but it average method. Bolo, which method you follow? If question is silent, at least you can see this much. FIFO. FIFO method. Acha. When I say FIFO method, tell me. Ah, uh, when these many units are sold, that is one four one five three. When these units are sold, the first lot will be from opening, or the first lot will be from production. From opening. From opening. That is first in, first out. So can I say these units are sold by company one two one seven? Yes, and whatever we have produced, something is sold and something is lying in the go down. It means I can say that whatever is there in the go down, which is one zero six four, it is out of this only. Whatever we have produced. Now what I am saying is we have produced this much. We have produced how many units? Fourteen thousand. And to produce these units, this is the cost that we have incurred. it is a cost of production so this cost is incurred for the purpose of production whatever we have produced during this year let us calculate cpu i hope you understand when you calculate cpu when you calculate cpu your total cost will be divided by what quantity produced because this indicates this cost is incurred for the purpose of production so please divide everything uh, by uh, 14000 this every value will be divided by 14000 let us do this Forty-two lakh forty uh, thousand divided by fourteen thousand. Now that function is saved three zero two point eight six. We can write up to two decimals. Uh, there are certain chapters where you will have to keep four decimals. I will tell you, but here you can keep two decimals. That is okay. Three zero two point eight six one four zero. Then you can just type that amount double zero. Uh, 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 did I uh, like uh, have we discussed the shortcut as to how to get CPU? Like first you need to do forty two lakh forty. Yes, it has been discussed, or you know how to calculate the CPU. So please calculate that at your end. Forty two lakh forty thousand divided by fourteen thousand. Forty two lakh forty thousand divided by fourteen thousand. Forty two lakh forty thousand divided by fourteen thousand.
that CPU calculation please do this at your end because it is a stock and it is a cost per unit column do not calculate the cpu okay because you cannot see that this cost is incurred for how many units we don't know the units here of wip how many units are there so it cannot be calculated so for stock we never calculate cpu At the end, I can see that I have incurred, I have incurred 70 lakh rupees for how many units for production of 14,000 units. It means in order to produce one unit, I have incurred 500 rupees. Now, I, I hope you understand uh, that either you can make this working or you can take those two decimals or you understand you can do like this also. You can see that here if you understand if uh, chalo, let me simplify this because you guys are not getting it so let me simplify that i will write like this my cost is 70 lakh or oh, sorry i have produced 14000 units for which i have incurred 70 lakh rupees from this 14000 units how many units are in my go down i can say 1064 so what will be the cost of those units just cross multiply or in simple words i could have said like this that as and when I produce one unit, my cost is 500. So if one unit is lying in my go down, my cost will be 500. How many units are lying in my go down at the end? So you can multiply this also 1064 into 500. You will get the same answer. It is up to you what you understand first. So it is up to you. Uh, like, yeah, I hope you got the point 1064 into 500. That will be 532,000. I was expecting many answers, but okay. Sometimes expectations hurts. Nevertheless, yeah. So your answer will be five lakh thirty-two thousand. Okay. No. Because it is stock, do not calculate CPU for this. Okay. Then and you can see this. Your closing stock is valued at cost of production. Your cost of production is for fourteen thousand. It is this. So for one zero six four, it will be how much? The closing stock is valued at cost of production. That was the last line of the question. And I told you, even if the question is silent, we would have done this only. It is specifically written only. The cost of finished goods at the end of the year is valued at cost of production. Okay, so we are done with that. Having done this, the answer which you get is a COGS. That is cost of goods which are sold by organization. Okay. 70 lakh plus 608500 minus 5 lakh 32,000 that is please make this all calculations at your end okay don't just copy from the screen calculate everything on your calculator even though uh, I know the answer still I'm calculating so you will have to calculate on calculator okay for your own benefit okay once you get your COGS, sir, what comes after COGS? What comes after COGS is selling and distribution expenses. Let us have a look whether they have provided that data or not. Sir, Bolo. to find that cost of production by CPU, we could have directly divided 70 lakhs by 14,000. Exactly, but what I am saying is when the unit's data is given, you will have to make this. Yes. No, uh, this is just like if you wanted to cross check if it is correct or no, then we could have directly done 70,000 by 14,000 GP. So we would have five answers. Hmm, it can be directly done now, obviously, because the cost is this for these units only. So you can directly divide and you can get this answer 500. Yes, that is what it is done now. Here also, I did not add what I uh, what I have done is this only 70 lakh divided by 14,000. Then I got this. Okay, even uh, you know that here it can be done 1064 into 500 or this is another option if you don't understand option number one. I tried to explain you this but just in case you have a doubt go with this option. At the end I need answer that's it. Okay. Sir, so, uh, 
द आंसर शुड बी दिस फाइव लैख थर्टी टू थाउजेंड या विगो वंस यू हैव अ सी यू जी एस इन ऑर्डर टू सेल यूर प्रोडक्ट्स यू मस्ट हैव इनकड यूर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन जनरल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लेट्स हैव अ लुक इफ यू जस्ट रीड द क्वेश्चन सर ऑल द डेटा इट इज डन ना वॉट रिमीन्स इज दिस सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दिस एडमिन वॉज रिलेटेड टू प्रोडक्शन सो प्लीज इग्नोर दिस जस्ट कंसिडर दिस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एक्सपेंसिज देर इज नो अदर कॉस्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कॉस्ट इज सिक्सटीन पर यूनिट ओके सो सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन because it is 16 per unit you understand if it is 16 per unit 16 will be multiplied by a uh, number of units tell me 16 multiplied by what sold exactly because when you uh, when do you incur distribution cost when you actually sell the product that is 14153 so please write 14153 okay 16 into 14 One five three, two two six four four eight, and here you go. This is your cost of sales. Add a profit and get sales value. Okay. Now, if you talk about the sales value, uh, yeah, uh, the information was given in the question with reference to sales value. It was said that uh, if you read the last line of the question, we have sold how many units? We have sold this many units at six one eight at this price. That is one four one five three into six one eight. We can show here one four one five three into six one eight. Six seven four six five five four minus seven three zero two nine four eight. That will be one four four three six zero six. Yeah, this is gonna be your answer. One four four three six zero six. This will be the profit that you wanna earn. Okay. Now. now we can make a cpu column now when you make the cpu column if you want to calculate the cpu you understand that this all uh, the amounts will be divided by quantity sold and quantity sold is in the, in this question is this 14153 so 707650 divided by 14153 you will get 500 226448 you are get 16 Then seven three zero two nine four eight that becomes five one six. Selling price is six one eight. Or you can calculate as a CPU. You will get one zero two. So that is how the solution will look like. Okay. That is the second final answer. They were asking for that only. Prepare a cost sheet of the form, and this is the cost sheet of the form. Okay. no just in case if something is pending this is the first part where a uh, prime till prime cost the data is shown okay then from prime cost till cost of sales then from cost of sales and here we go profit so uh that is the solution okay and we are done with this question so this took around 39 minutes okay okay uh if we read the question you will have a idea what is written what is written is uh, dfg manufacturers a uh, manufacturers leather bags for the office and school purposes so we can see we are in the business of manufacturing okay mm -hmm. you open the uh, question on the okay here we go then uh theek okay. hai so uh, let us read the question what they have given us is DFG Limited manufactures leather bags for office and school uh, purposes. ठीक है. So we are in the business of what? We are in the business of manufacturing leather bags. Okay. Proceed ahead. We'll proceed ahead. The following uh, information is related with the uh, production of the leather bags for the month of September. Something which is very important. 
the data which is given in the question is for the purpose of is for the month for the month that is very important your window is one month which is september okay so we are producing leather bags now to produce leather bags what do you require so let's read that to produce leather bags leather sheets and cotton clothes are the main inputs it is nothing but raw material and the estimated requirement per bag is 2 meter of leather sheet and uh, 1 meter of uh, cotton cloth so i can simply say that here uh, to make one bag we can say two things are required one is leather sheet and then there is a cotton cloth so two uh, meter of leather sheets are required and one meter of cloth is required for one bag okay so this is the structure to make one bag we require this uh, leather sheets two meters and one meter of uh, cotton cloth okay then again uh, 2000 meters of leather sheets and uh, 1000 meters of cotton clothes are purchased at this price okay the price is given so what we have purchased in uh, 15000 respectively so there are two costs which are given you can see first what we have purchased is uh, first what we have purchased is uh, 2000 meter of leather sheets and then what you have purchased is cotton clothes and the cost is given as uh, 320000 and 115000 respectively it means 320000 pertains to leather sheets and uh, yeah you are uh, 15000 pertains to cotton clothes and uh, freight is also there which is 85 uh, 8500 acha there is one adjustment that i would uh, i would uh, like you to point it out uh, like the roman number 1 is done please read roman number 8 now so that i can give you some idea okay here what is written is there is no opening clothing stock of input material it means there is no opening clothing stock so i hope you understand if there is no opening clothing stock it means what it means your purchase is equal to consumption i hope you understand that because if there is no opening there is no closing no opening closing so whatever you purchase it will be consumed do i need to give the example or it is clear that whatever you purchase it will be consumed yes if it is clear okay fine so i hope uh, that is clear like there is no opening closing you purchased 100 units and these are not in stock it means these are consumed okay now here we go now let's read ahead uh, after that the first point pertains to raw material uh, let's read the second point that pertains to your labor cost okay stitching and finishing need a uh, 2000 man hours at the rate of rupees 80 per hour that is your this cost a uh, labor cost that will be there okay then if you read the third point other direct cost at the rate of rupees 10 per hour are incurred when i say other direct cost uh, again these are direct expenses like other direct uh, here it is specifically written other than material and labor it is other direct cost uh, that will be uh, at what rate uh, 10 rupees per labor hour so it will be again 2000 into 10 because we have worked for 2000 man hours okay so we have worked for 2000 man hours now 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 after this uh, we can say that there is uh, more data which is given in the question theek hai that we will see first of all uh, if i ask you if i ask you about quantity produced can you tell me how many bags we must have produced uh, how many bags we must have produced 1000 1000 why because it was given in the question for one bag we require two sheets uh, two or uh, two meters of leather sheets and one meter of cotton cloth how many meters we have purchased so we have purchased you can see we have purchased 2000 meter of uh, leather sheet and 1000 meter of cotton cloth so one meter of cotton cloth it means one bag you can see so 1000 meter of cotton cloth it means we must have produced 1000 bags because there is no opening closing stock of raw material there is no stock of raw material it means whatever is purchased that is consumed and we have produced a bag or we have manufactured a bag okay so that is something which is cleared so we must have produced 1000 bags okay that is one thing now now in the question some data will be there uh, we will read that then one by one but if at all i want to make some working okay acha uh, acha there is one working you can see this there are 100 bags at the end of the month tell me how many units you must have sold in that case there are 100 bags at the end 
नाइन हंड्रेड या एकदम सिंपल वेरी सिंपल सर थाउजेंड यू प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड हंड्रेड आर स्टिल देर इन गो डाउन इट मीन्स यू मस्ट हैव सोल्ड नाइन हंड्रेड येस सो बिकॉज इन दिस क्वेश्चन डिटेल्स इज गिवन विथ रेफरेंस टू यूनिट्स गाइज यू विल हैव टू मेक वन थिंग दैट इज सी पी यू कॉलम एंड बिफोर सी पी यू कॉलम वी ऑलवेज मेक वन वर्किंग नोट विच वर्किंग नोट डिटेल्स ऑफ फिनिश गुड्स सो लेट्स मेक दैट वर्किंग That is working note number one. Details of finished goods. Particulars. Quantity. Particulars. Quantity. Okay. Now, here what you write is opening stock of finished goods. what we write is quantity produced okay, then here it is a quantity which is a sold then here we write your closing stock of finished goods in the question in the question what was given just in case if you don't know quantity produce how we got that or you can make a working note otherwise uh, everything is given still just in case you have a doubt if you refer this book after one or two months then you may come across a doubt so you can write one note no opening and closing stock of raw material it means raw material purchased is equal to raw material consumed and how we produce we produce anything by consum by uh, consumption of raw material something is produced that is finished goods is produced raw material will go inside the machinery and then that bag will be produced okay now if we uh, make the equation it is like this uh, what do we require as a raw material uh so we can see that uh we can write like this the first what you require is leather sheet and then yeah leather sheet plus a uh, cotton cloth i think that is the another yeah cotton cloth is equal to bag this is the equation okay this is the equation which can be seen okay a leather sheet plus cotton cloth is equal to bag and we have the data 2 meters of sheets plus 1 meter of cotton cloth is equal to one bag now we have purchased how many kgs of raw material 2000 sorry 2000 meters of leather sheets plus 1000 meters in roman number 1 it is given it means we must have produced this many bags so we can say we must have produced 1000 bags so that will come over here as a 1000 this is your for your understanding if you forget then you can refer this note you got 1000 bags that you produce 1000 bags then if you read the last line of the question yeah it is specified that there are uh, 100 bags still in go down there is no opening stock that is the data is not there so i can say 1000 bags were there and still uh, 100 bags are in my go down so i must have sold those remaining bags these are 900 bags i must have sold these bags okay so that is the data now because we have the details of uh, finished goods units you can make cpu column okay what was the last line of the question prepare a cost sheet for the functional classification when i say functional classification it means where do you incur the cost material is one function labor is one function factory is one function office is one function selling and distribution it means simply they are saying make the cost sheet nothing else so cost sheet of following the functional classifications for the month 
वी कैन गिव द हेडिंग कॉस्टशीट फॉर द मंथ एंडेड सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन कॉस्टशीट फॉर द मंथ एंडेड सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ओके The CPU column will come. Please write this much. Okay. Now, having done this, we can start with the solution. When you start with the solution, uh, what all things will uh, come into play? So I can say the first thing will be, yes, uh, you are a uh, first point that is leather sheets and all we have purchased. So that is raw material consumed. There are two types of raw materials uh, which can be uh, shown here. The first one is a leather sheet. Another was in another one is cotton cloth. So I can say leather sheet, cotton cloth. Acha. If you talk about leather sheet, uh, how many? Uh, kgs or how many meters so we have purchased 2000 meters here we have purchased 1000 meters and we have uh, you can indicate those meters over here okay and what is the cost of that you can refer the question you can have a look here your cost is which is given in the question is this Three lakh twenty thousand and fifteen thousand respectively. So three lakh twenty and fifteen thousand. Acha, that is raw material consumed. Leather has been consumed. And then cotton cloth has been consumed. There is one more expense which is incurred, which is freight incurred at the time of purchase. You can see that which is eight thousand five hundred. You just need to add these three, and you will get total raw material consumed. So that will be three lakh forty three thousand five hundred. Yes, this is my total raw material consumed. Now, worker will work on that. That is stitching cost and all. So that will come. There is direct labor, direct expenses. Those will come. Okay. If we are done with this, so uh, yeah, so we'll proceed. You can see that there is a direct wages or direct labor. We can say then there are direct expenses. Acha details was given in the point number two of the question. Ah, uh, if you just have a look. What was written, sir? It was written stitching and finishing need two thousand man hours and every hour we pay twenty eighty rupees, eighty rupees. So two thousand man hours every hour we we pay eighty. There is one more thing. If you read ahead, other direct cost. Again, it is a direct cost which is other than material and labor. It is direct expense. That is ten rupees per man hour. So two thousand hours workers are working for ten rupees per man hour. Two thousand hours they are working, ten rupees per man hour. Take the total, and that will be the prime cost. One lakh sixty thousand. That is twenty thousand. Take the total. Please write it is five lakh twenty three thousand five hundred. This is your first answer, which is up to co prime cost. 
okay now after prime cost you need to add factory overhead and there is a possibility that you can make a mistake okay now uh, would you please tell me uh, as to Achha, there are a few adjustments those you need to see that is now the next adjustment first give the heading as add factory overhead or you can write factory overhead Now there is a possibility you will make the mistake. Okay, please read this point and tell me the amount of factory overhead. Read this. Whatever is highlighted in yellow, please read this and tell me the amount of factory overhead. Uh, Arpit, right answer. Uh, I was not expecting actually a right answer, but that is the right answer. Yeah. I need depreciation. Are whether it is right or wrong, please give me the answer, okay? You need to calculate the depreciation. You know the formula cost minus scrap divided by estimated working life. Just use that formula and get me the answer. Uh, Vaishnavi Nai, uh, Dhruvi Nai, Vedantna, Vedant right answer. Dhruvi, you made one mistake which I was expecting, okay? There is only one mistake which you did, okay? And that was expected, that is quite common that that mistake happens, okay? Now, only few people are giving the answers. I don't know what others are doing. Okay, please understand one thing. It is very, very important. You need to decide your window. So the data which is given is for one month. Okay, now when you say one month, uh, Priyam again, you made that same mistake. Okay, now let's have a look. When I say one month, now let's read the data. Depreciation if I talk about in factory overhead. If you guys talk about the depreciation, understand depreciation, depreciation, depreciation. Okay, let's read. Okay, DFG, which is the name of the company. Okay, DFG. Okay, DFG has four machines. Okay, at a total cost, total means total one plus two plus three plus four. All the machineries total cost is twenty two lakh. Machine has a life of ten years with the scrap value of ten percent. When I say ten percent, it means twenty two lakh into 10 percent so that the scrap value will be 2 lakh 20 thousand scrap value will be 2 lakh 20 thousand yes sir and the depreciation is charged on a straight line basis you know that when you say straight line basis so it is a cost minus a scrap divided by estimated working life cost minus scrap divided by estimated working life okay so cost minus scrap divided by estimated working life so here we can see that depreciation yes sir cost 22 lakh okay scrap 10 percent of that that is 22 lakh into 10 percent which is 2 lakh 20 thousand yes sir this is the net cost divided by the life is 10 years you got the answer okay but sir this answer is for one year this is depreciation one for one year but don't forget what is your window you guys are making cost sheet for one month it means it will be divided by i can say it is like one byte well you have to do this because cost sheet is made only for one month so whatever is the amount of depreciation that you got it is for one year it should be divided by 12 or you can say one by 12 for one month therefore yeah so here is uh, where you can make the mistake this is the point where mistake can be done so please highlight this this is important I will always highlight where you can uh, commit the mistake okay so 22 lakh minus 2 lakh 20 thousand divided by 10 divided by 12 that is 16500 yeah I will write it in inner column 16500 now let's write this first please complete this just in case if it is pending please finish
ओके आई होप यू हैव रिटर्न टेल हियर नाउ वंस यू गेट द डेप्रिसिएशन लेट अस रीड द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इफ यू रीड द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट सर हियर द मंथली मंथली अरे आई वांट मंथली ओनली एंड इट इज रिटर्न मंथली कॉस्ट ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सेल्स ऑफ स्टाफ इज फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड सेवेंटी टू थाउजेंड सो मंथली कॉस्ट ऑफ एडमिन इज गिवन एंड सेल्स ऑफ स्टाफ इज गिवन विच इज फोर्टी फाइव एंड सेवेंटी टू आई डोंट वॉन्ट दैट फर्स्ट आई नीड अ फैक्ट्री एक्सपेंस लेट इज रीड रिस्पेक्टिवली ठीक है आई गॉट एडमिन एंड आई गॉट सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अच्छा इफ क्वेश्चन इज साइलेंट टेल मी दिस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन विल बी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ क्यू रैप क्यू रैप वाला एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन और इट विल बी जनरल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन विच विल कम अलॉन्ग विद सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज इट जनरल और क्यू रैप जनरल सो इफ क्वेश्चन इज साइलेंट इट विल बी जनरल इफ इट इज रिलेटेड टू प्रोडक्शन दैट विल बी स्पेसिफाइड ओके नाउ डी एफ जी पेज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड पर मंथ एज अ रेंट फॉर टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड स्क्वायर फीट ओके ऑफ द फैक्ट्री प्रेमाइसिस सो देर इज अ फैक्ट्री प्रेमाइसिस फॉर विच वी पे वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड बट 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 डोंट राइट इट इन द कॉश इट डिरेक्टली एज अ फैक्ट्री वर्ड वाई द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड द सेलिंग ऑफिस ऑक्यूपाइज टू फोर्टी फीट एरिया एंड टू हंड्रेड एरिया रिस्पेक्टिवली ऑफ द factory premises so you guys can make one working note for that matter as a working note number 2 okay or uh, you can make that working note later on there uh, or i can just show you that working note you will you will make that working note later on okay uh, i am showing it on the next page okay just see to it how the working note will be prepared do not make it you can uh, take the screenshot okay you will write it later on i am making working note number 2 Even though you do not make that working note, that is okay. Working note is nothing but a uh, fifth reference to rent. When I say rent, uh, the amount which is given uh, of rent is one lakh twenty thousand. I want that only. But it is per month. Yes, it is per month. I want per month only. But sir, this per month rent has been paid for how many square feet? This rent has been paid for two thousand four hundred square feet. Okay. Now, this rent will be divided into three parts. This rent will be divided into three parts. Some portion is occupied by factory. Some portion is occupied by office and administration. That is office, and some portion is occupied by your sales office, sales department. So. uh in what ratio sir so it is given in the question that sir a uh, factory office has occupied sorry office has occupied 240 and uh, sales department has occupied 200 240 and 200 240 square feet here it will be 200 square feet i hope you understand if out of 2400 square feet 240 minus 200 so it will occupy 190 square feet area the remaining area will be of the factory only it is a factory premises some portion is occupied by factory or uh, some portion is occupied by office and selling department now i hope uh, you know how to calculate the answer like uh, if i ask you ki calculate the answer you know how to calculate with the help of ratios please calculate and send me the answer what will be the answer yeah uh, arpit that is right acha then i will have to show the working it means maybe your maths is weak or you did not study ratio chapter so we can see your total rent is 120000 it is for 2400 square feet out of that it has occupied 1960 theek hai again total rent is 120000 it is for 2400 square feet we have occupied 240 okay here 120000 Into two hundred divided by two thousand four hundred. You will write it later on. Okay, you just pay attention as of now. One lakh twenty thousand into one nine six zero divided by two thousand four hundred. That is ninety eight thousand. Then one lakh twenty thousand into two forty divided by two thousand four hundred, which is twelve thousand. One lakh twenty. One lakh twenty thousand into two hundred divided by two thousand four hundred, which is ten thousand. Okay. so 
uh, that is what it is uh, 10,000 right so now for factory it will be 98,000 so that will be written 98,000 per month so I can say rent Ninety-eight thousand. Please write it down and give the reference as working out number two, which you will prepare after this call sheet. So now, if you just take the total, that is one one four five double zero, and you will get cost of production, not cost of production, factory cost. Your answer will be six lakh thirty-eight thousand. Okay, here we have our answer. Okay, now, now maybe we are running out of time. We cannot solve this question ahead. I will never take your extra lectures. Do not worry. Yeah, but uh, okay. Uh, we will just revise for one minute. Uh, we are done with uh, the this part. Uh, ka part will be done in the next lecture. Till now, we have calculated factory cost. We will have to come to the sales part. That is profit and all. That will be done. Even though that is easy, uh, maybe if you permit, so I think that will take uh, five minutes more. So we can do it, and in the next lecture, I will leave you early instead of leaving. Yes, this. sir. Please complete this. Okay, so let's complete this. Okay, having done this, uh, once you get the factory cost, once you get the factory cost, guys, now only two, three adjustments. Uh, there is there are expenses like administration and sales office. Okay, there is one thing which is written. You can see freight paid on delivery. It is a distribution. Freight paid on delivery of finished goods. It is a distribution which is selling and distribution. Okay. Then there is one more thing. During the month, uh, three thousand five hundred kgs of leather and cotton cuttings or uh, cotton uh, cuttings are sold at this price. So we can see that. Uh, if we have sold this, so this is my this is my uh. Scrap Q wrap minus scrap. We say that is this. So after factory cost, what comes is Q wrap. So minus sale of scrap. When I say sale of scrap, you can see that the sale of scrap is uh, three uh, thirty five kgs has been sold at the rate of rupees. These are cuttings. Or uh, like when you cut the cloth or leather sheet, there will be some scrap. Chindi we can say okay. 35 kgs at the rate of rupees 150. So 35 kgs at the rate of rupees 150. So that scrap will be 5250. Because it is a scrap, it will reduce your cost. It is income. Then you're gonna get your uh, Q wrap is not there in this question. Okay. Then you will get your cost of production. That is six lakh thirty two thousand seven fifty. So this will be six lakh thirty two thousand seven fifty. This is your cost of production. Uh, once you get the cost of production, uh, we can see that now you need to make adjustment for finished goods. There is no opening stock. You can see that there is no opening stock. Yeah, but there is a closing stock. Now by far I can say that now you must be aware how to value this. So please directly if I ask you what is the value of closing stock. Calculate the value of closing stock and tell me. Send the answer. This time I expect right answer from you. I expect right answers. Dhruvi, that is right. I can simply say that this cost has been incurred for how many bags? Thousand bags. So what is my cost per bag? Six three two seven five zero divided by one thousand. That will be six thirty two point seven five. This is the cost of one bag, right? Yeah. Uh, Arpit, that is right answer. How many uh, bags are there in my go down? I I was expecting answers from many again, but uh, again there is a disappointment. 
वेदांत राइट आंसर ओके हाउ मेनी स्टॉक्स डू वी हैव हाउ मेनी स्टॉक्स डू वी हैव वी हैव हंड्रेड बैग सर वी हैव हंड्रेड बैग्स इन गो डाउन इन एवरी बैग द कॉस्ट ऑफ एवरी बैग इज दिस तो आई कैन सिंपली से इट इज हंड्रेड बैग्स इन टू सिक्स थर्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो दिस इज कॉस्ट ऑफ वन बैग एक सेकेंड समेक इट इज सेवन फाइव so the cost of one bag is 632.75 there are 100 bags so in 200 6 through uh, this 63275 having done that if you subtract this please take two decimals okay then you gonna get cogs cost of goods which are sold Five sixty nine four seventy five. So yeah, uh, this many uh, goods you have sold, which is the cost of goods sold. Okay. Now, at the time of sale, you will incur selling and distribution and administration that we will write. Okay. So here I go. Uh, maybe that will be written on the next page. So let's keep. Let's take that there. This is my COGS. After COGS, what do you incur, sir? You incur selling and distribution and administ uh, administration, general administration. I can highlight those costs. The first one is this monthly cost of administration, then selling offices, forty-five thousand and seventy-two thousand. So then there is one more thing. Ah, uh, even some portion of rent will also come over here. So first I will write administration, then I will write selling and distribution. There is one more cost, freight invert. Uh, freight outward that is freight paid on delivery that is a part of selling and distribution okay first let us write administration uh, i can say admin overhead when i say admin overhead the data which is given is uh, this 45000 so i will write uh, which is what 45000 is uh, staff expense sales staff expense so it is with reference to staff admin staff and sales office staff the staff which is 45000 then some portion will come from here also which is 12000 rent where these guys are working so that is rent 12000 which will come from working note number 2 Take the total. Yeah, that will be fifty-seven thousand. Now, if you talk about after administration, there is a selling and distribution that will come into play. Again, selling and distribution. If you refer that working note, you will understand there is a selling and distribution, which is this office here, yeah, this one. Sales office staff, and the cost is seventy-two thousand. So again, staff cost seventy-two thousand. Sales staff. This one is sales staff. Then again, some portion of rent will come, which will come from working note number two, which is connected with sales office, which is ten thousand. We can see it in the working. Yes, it is this ten thousand. Okay. There is one more thing. yeah there is one more thing which is pending which is distribution cost you can see this freight paid on delivery which is distribution or uh, selling and distribution mein it is distribution which is 18000 delivery or you can say freight which was uh, 18000 okay to so 72000 plus 10000 plus 18000 That becomes one lakh. Take the total, and you you gonna get cost of sales. Your cost of sales will be seven lakh twenty-five thousand 
ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड फोर सेवेंटी फाइव यस ओके अगेन दे हैव नॉट प्रोवाइडेड अस विद द डिटेल्स एज टू वॉट इज योर सेलिंग प्राइस तो यू कैनॉट मेक द एंटायर कॉस्ट शीट इट मीन्स यू कैनॉट कैलकुलेट द प्रॉफिट दिस इज कॉस्ट शीट वेर द कॉस्ट इज रिटर्न बट प्रॉफिट कैनॉट बी कैलकुलेटेड वाई बिकॉज इन द एंटायर क्वेश्चन इट इज नॉट गिवन दैट नाइन हंड्रेड बैग्स आर सोल्ड एट वॉट प्राइस विदर इट इज टेन थाउजेंड और वॉट इट इज Accordingly, you could have got the profit, but that selling price is not given in the question. So profit cannot be calculated. Or the another way, they could have given like this: profit is twenty percent on sales. Still, it will be calculated, but no data is there. This is the cost sheet. They were asking for cost sheet, and this is cost sheet. Details of cost. Acha. Now, you can just take the screenshot. You can write it down uh, once the lecture is done. So please take the screenshot of this. Okay. So please write it down. Uh, okay. Now one thing is pending. What is pending, sir? You need to calculate CPU. So let me calculate CPU. Uh, the initial before cost of production, everything will be divided by what? One uh, thousand bags. That is quantity produced. So three twenty, fifteen. Then uh, you can say uh, eight point five, three forty three point five zero. If you divide by one thousand, so one sixty twenty. By twenty three point five zero. Please write it down. If you just divide by one thousand three decimal, that is three zeros will. Uh, you just need to change the decimal place from right to left, or just three. Just divide by one thousand. That's it. Simple. Then here it is one one four point five zero six thirty eight. For scrap, that's okay. Again, you don't calculate. It is uh, not uh, income. It is a scrap, so it is scrap. It is not cost. So you can dash. You can say dash. It is a closing stock. You can say dash. So you can just have a look. Just in case, if you want to write the CPU, this is the data of CPU up to cost of production from COGS. From COGS, everything will be divided by quantity sold, which is nine hundred. Okay. So five six nine four seven five divided by nine hundred. That is six thirty two point seven five divided by nine hundred. Now everything will be divided by nine hundred. Six thirty two point seven five. Sixty three point three three. One 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 point one one. And yeah, eight zero seven point one nine. That will be everything. This. Data will be divided by quantity sold. I hope uh, that is done. Okay. Now, just in case if something is pending, just let me know that, sir. Please show that part or this part of the screen. Sir, can you please show the working note number three? Okay. Fine. Okay. So that's yes. it. Uh, we can see that uh, we took ten minutes extra, but okay. Somewhere we will add. Just do not worry about it. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, we'll meet in the next lecture. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, let us read this question. Okay. What is given in the question is, uh, if at all, if we discuss. Okay. Uh, the following uh, figures are extracted uh, from the. Trial balance of Go Gator and Company uh, on 30th September 2020. Okay, so some information is given uh, on 30th September. Okay, now if you read the information, what is given in the information first? Inventories. Inventories is nothing but a stock. It it is given as on this date. So can you tell me whether it is opening stock or closing stock? Hello. Trial balance is prepared at the end, so this will be your closing stock. So please remember, this is your closing stock. Just in case, if you have any doubt, do not worry. When you read the adjustments again, uh, you will have idea uh, that uh, what or sorry, uh, if uh, nothing is given here, or uh, like uh, if not, see here they haven't mentioned uh, which stock it is. So if you see this adjustments, that is uh, other information that is. Further details are available as follows. So here you can see that information which is given is with reference to the closing stock. So this is your closing stock of raw of finished goods, raw material and WIP. So closing stock of raw finished goods, raw material and WIP is given. It means the stock which is given over here is your opening stock. So you can give the heading as opening stock is given in the question. Opening stock of raw material, WIP and finished goods. Okay. 
Then again, if we read ahead, uh, you will understand there is uh, office appliances, then there is plant and machinery building. Okay. So this is given. Then sales, which is 7,68,000. Uh, sales return and rebates. Okay. Uh, once you subtract that, you will get net sales. Like you will say this is your sales amount and this is your sales return. If you net it off, you will get your final sales value that is net sales. Then material purchased, uh, we can say material purchased, which is a part of raw metal consumed. Then there is a uh, freight, a uh, purchase returns, uh, direct labor, indirect la employee cost, direct and indirect, factory supervision and so on and so forth. So there are many expenses which are given in the question. I will first have a look uh, for uh, I will first look at the adjustments as to adjustments are given for which all points it is like your final account ka question first what you will do is you will read the adjustment and you will just uh, uh, make the mark that the adjustment is there on that point which is appearing in the trial balance so if I read this first of all outstanding expenses uh, information is given with reference to outstanding expenses tell me if information is given with reference to outstanding expenses you will add it or you will subtract it or ignore add. you will add that so let's do one thing the direct employee cost it will be added so i have a direct employee cost uh, which is which is uh, yeah uh, 160000 you will add 8000 to that and you will get your answer okay okay so I will add 8000 okay here I will add 8000 okay then there is one more thing uh, indirect employee cost if we read indirect employee cost is outstanding which is 1200 so that will be again added plus 1200 which is outstanding that will be added and uh, interest on borrowed funds is 2000 so here you can see interest on borrowed funds so again you will add a 2000 interest on borrowed fund at 2000 okay so we are done with this adjustment now there is no need to read this adjustment we are done with adjustment number two we gave that effect in the trial balance itself when we write that amount we will take care of that fact we need to add this outstanding okay now there is one more information which is given with reference to depreciation to be provided on depreciation will be provided on uh, office appliances then we can say plant and machinery and then we will say building Achha. Uh, the percentages are given now understand when you purchase a set worth 1 lakh rupees is it your cost if i ask you when you purchase a set worth 1 lakh rupees whether this is your cost and when you or when you use this asset and then whatever the reduction in value which has happened that is your cost like you have purchased asset for 1 lakh rupee and let us say that it has a life of 10 years and there is no scrap value at the after 10 years so what is your cost in year one will you say the cost is 1 lakh or you will say the cost is 10,000 in year one it will, it will be 10,000 per year right that 1 lakh will appear in the trial uh, in 1 lakh will appear in the balance sheet as an asset and from that 1 lakh rupees you will subtract 10,000 as in depreciation so please understand value of asset when you purchase any asset that is not cost for you it is nothing but transformation of asset earlier you were having cash of 1 lakh rupees in your balance sheet what you did is cash went out and instead of cash what came is a asset worth 1 lakh rupee okay so there is no expense it is just that cash went out and asset came in okay and there is no expense but when you use this asset for one year and if there is reduction in the value let us say at the end of the year value became 90,000 in that case you will say that sir 10,000 is your depreciation that will become your cost for that year okay so purchase of asset is never in cost purchase of asset is not your cost depreciation on that asset is your cost and that depreciation is you can see 5%, 10% and 4%. 5% is on office appliances, on plant and machinery it is 10%, on building it is 4%. So let me use those percentages. On the office appliances 5%. So here I will write into 5%. Office appliances into 5%. You will get depreciation. And then it is 10% on plant and machinery. So I will say on plant and machinery into 10% you will get the depreciation. 
and then it is on building it is 4% so it is 4% okay so these these will not become your cost depreciation on this asset will become your cost that will appear in the cost sheet where it will appear that we will discuss but first understand what is your cost it is not this value depreciation on this value will become your cost okay sir so that point is also done we have taken care of this fact that is your uh, depreciation wala part we can say outstanding has been added and yeah depreciation percentages we have written beside those uh, specific assets now now the third or uh, the fourth point we can say which is distribution of overheads now when i say heat light and power see in this case there is a possibility that company has taken one building on rent and in this one building let us say that the building is of 10 floors i'm just uh, giving you an example the building has 10 floors let us say just for the sake of understanding and out of those 10 floor or whatever the area this building has 80 percent area is occupied by factory and let us say 10 percent area is occupied by office and 10 percent area is occupied by sales department or marketing department so in this in that case whatever expense you incurred let us say rent if i talk about rent if you pay the rent of rupees 10,000. So entire 10,000 will not go in factory or office or selling and distribution. That 10,000 will be divided between these three parts or between these three like factory, office and selling and distribution. Okay. So that data is there in the question. If you read, you will understand heat, light and power. It means uh, the cost of uh, the electricity bill. We can in simple words, we can put it like this electricity cost. Heat, light and uh, power. So the factory office and distribution is in the ratio of 8 is to 1 is to 1. So uh, let us do one thing. Let's make one working note here itself in uh, for the solution. Uh, so if you just make one working note. Uh, suggested then here we go one. Yeah, let's make the working note. So when you make working note. Uh, give the heading as working note number one which will be for heat light and power so he heading will be given as heat light and power heat light and power okay when you say heat light and power what is the cost that is given in the question so if you look at the cost of heat light and power first of all the ratio it is 8 is to 1 is to 1 okay the ratio it 8 x second why i am not able to write on this okay fair enough so you can see that it is heat light and power and the ratio it, it is to 1 is to 1 and the cost of heat light and power which is given in the question is this uh, which is uh, 65,000 so let, let us write that the amount of 65,000 will be divided into three parts let's make that segregation heat light and power will be divided into three parts partly it will go to factory some part will go to the office which is office and administration and then there is a distribution which is selling and distribution okay if you talk about the expense uh, the ratio which was specified in the question was 8 is to 1 is to 1 so if you apply this ratio 8 is to 1 is to 1 in that case 65,000 divided by 10 I generally do like this 65,000 divided by 10 which is the total of this ratio then multiplied by 8 equal to 1 equal to 1 equal to please type with me you will understand the shortcut okay 65,000 divided by 10 so for one unit it is 6,500 into into press into into that is multiply twice so again 6,000 uh, 65,000 sorry my bad 65,000 divided by 10 multiply multiply 8 equal to which is a 52,000 then 1 equal to that becomes 6,500 again 1 equal to that becomes 6,500 now we all know that uh, this will form part of this will form part of factory overhead this will form, uh, form part of office and administration and this will form part of selling and distribution it is needless to say that yeah it is factory overhead and it is selling and distribution okay now uh, that was the first adjustment that we did okay so we are done with this so oh. then 
ओके नाउ नाउ लेट इज गो फॉर द सेकेंड पार्ट इफ यू सी दिस रेट्स टैक्सेस रेट्स एंड टैक्सेस दीज आर टू थर्ड बिलोंग्स टू द फैक्ट्री एंड वन थर्ड बिलोंग्स टू ऑफिस सो रेट्स एंड टैक्सेस विल बी डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट फैक्ट्री एंड ऑफिस और टू थर्ड एंड वन थर्ड सो वट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ रेट्स एंड टैक्सेस रेट्स एंड टैक्सेस सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड सो प्लीज राइट दैट वर्किंग विथ नंबर टू रेट्स एंड टैक्सेस अच्छा वेन वी राइट रेट्स एंड टैक्सेस ओके Uh, rates and taxes. Here we go. Uh, the final value which is given in the question is six thousand three hundred. Six thousand three hundred will be divided into two parts. Some part, uh, partly it is connected to office, and partly it is connected to factory, and partly it is connected to office. Okay. So, uh, it was given in the question that. a uh, two third belongs to a uh, factory and one third belongs to office let me check that again uh, yes it was written a uh, two third belongs to factory and one third to office so please calculate the amount 6300 into 2 by 3 it is 2 is to 1 the ratio is 2 is to 1 so the value will be 4200 and one equal to that is your yeah, uh, 6300 divided by 3 that is 2100 again something which is connected to a uh, factory obviously that will be the part of factory overhead and it will be part of office and administration overhead okay now after that uh, there is one more adjustment that is given in the question so we did adjustment heat uh, with reference to heat lighting with reference to rates and now there is adjustment with reference to this uh, what a uh, depreciation on building now whatever amount of depreciation you calculate on building which is 4% on the value of asset that building i can say that some part is connected to office some part to factory office or factory office and selling and distribution department and again the ratio 8 to 8 is to 1 is to 1 in that case first you will have to calculate the depreciation on building so let us calculate depreciation on building that will be my next working note which is working note number 3 that is depreciation on building now when you calculate depreciation on building first calculate the value of depreciation so first it is 4% it is 4% on value of asset which is building let's go there and have a look yeah your building is uh, uh, worth rupees 2 lakh uh, that is not the actually real case in real life the cost of the building will be much higher it is just one example okay and yeah the depreciation rate is 4% so 2 lakh into 4% so calculate that 2 lakh Into four percent, sir. The amount of depreciation will be eight thousand. The value of eight thousand again will be divided into two parts. Sorry, not sorry, two parts. It will be divided into three parts between factory, office, and sales and distribution. Factory, office, and selling. in the ratio of 8 is to 1 is to 1 that was given in the question in the ratio of 8 is to 1 is to 1 so if you divide that 8000 divided by 10 into into 8 equal to 6400 1 equal to 800 800 if you divide in this ratio you know this will be the part of factory overhead this will be part of office and administration this will be part of selling and distribution okay so now uh, we can see that now we can see that here that uh, we are done with this part that is which part sir we are done with these adjustments again there is no need to refer this adjustment because whatever was connected uh, we already made the working note so uh, work uh, adjustment number 2 3 and 4 uh, no need to refer it later on okay we made all the uh, workings with reference to those workings now now what is written is with the help of above information just in case you have not written so that is the solution okay now 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 if you see a uh, profit and loss account uh, with the help of the above information you are required to prepare the condensed pnl account now the requirement is very much clear what you guys will have to prepare is uh, let's ch change the color of the pen yeah
what you guys will have to prepare is condensed profit and loss account you guys will have to prepare a condensed ppnl account we will prepare that for the company which name is go getter uh, go getter company for the year ended you can see for the year ended uh, september 2020 okay along with the supporting schedules of first we will have to calculate cost of sales we know that if you make the cost sheet you will get cost of sales then you need to make a separate working for uh, selling and distribution in separate working for administration see what they what they are trying to convey is you need to make supporting schedules when you say supporting schedule means at the end what is expected from you guys is pnl account that was specifically written in the question condensed pnl account now guys if you want to make the pnl account before that you guys will have to make three schedules one is with reference to cost of sales the second one is with reference to selling and distribution then there is one more with reference to office and administration overhead so accordingly our solution will proceed so now this time i will not write cost sheet instead i will write schedule of cost of sales that will be the appropriate word the for first schedule of cost of sales then schedule of selling and distribution and setting uh, schedule of administration expenses so please give the heading now we are going for solutions though the first part will be schedule of cost of sales schedule of cost of sales it is nothing but your cost sheet that's it Achha, now when you make the cost sheet or schedule of cost of sales the question arises sir will you make cpu column no sir because in the entire question information with reference to units is not given so simple only two columns particulars and total just make two columns particulars and total okay now even before you start with the solution you know that first what comes is raw material so now you need to make some uh, uh you need to give some headings as to which will uh, what um, uh, like which item will go where so we know that these are just stocks so there is no these are just stocks which is nothing but it will go to the raw material consumed we can say and again uh, this is nothing but your wip stock this is your finished good stock okay tell me uh, office appliances this is depreciation rate so depreciation on office appliance where will it go office and administration over it, na? i will write o for that that will go to the office and administration depreciation on plant and machinery where will that go depreciation on plant and machinery hello factory over it, na? Uh -huh. yes, now depreciation on building please uh, don't get confused uh, with reference to that there is one working note which is prepared so I am writing working note you refer working note you will understand that we made that bifurcation if we talk about sales it is nothing but final sales so I am not writing anything for sales and sales return it will be written at the end okay sales and sales return material purchased is part of RMC uh, uh, freight incurred on material again it is part of RMC purchase return it is nothing but again a part of rmc but it will be subtracted because when you purchased it was added if you return it so you have to subtract it so purchase return will be subtracted direct employee cost it is direct labor or direct wages whatever you say indirect employee cost tell me where will you write that indirect employee cost factory, factory overhead that will be written in factory overhead okay then uh, factory supervision factory overhead yeah there is no doubt in that now uh, uh, uh repairs and uh, factory upkeeping so again that is which is connected with the factory so you can write factory overhead for heat light refer working note for rates and taxes we refer working note we have made a separate working note miscellaneous factory overhead again factory overhead uh, factory expenses sales commission no doubt it is selling and distribution sales traveling sales promotion everything which is connected with sales again distribution department how huh, please uh, make that necessary change that amount is not 1 lakh 21 thousand there is some printing error so please make that change and uh, change it to uh, 11 thousand okay uh, now uh, just one query from my side generally what approach is preferable to you do i need to show you the textbook or you are more comfortable with the approach where i show you only a notebook that is where i write hello that is just a uh, text me in dm when i say you need only textbook type one that is only one uh, one side you want 
or if you need textbook and notebook both it means when i read no uh, textbook you need textbook on the screen and when i write you need notebooks and type 2 it means you need both one or two that is i will understand which approach is better for you guys okay accordingly i will make the call if you don't if you don't write anything then i will not be able to understand okay krish arpit okay i got your message okay dhruvi okay Tej. so everyone is saying two so that is again i am more comfortable with so we will go for that i am not actually that comfortable i have to switch but okay that is uh, uh, not that much difficult for me okay now when i say distribution that will go to selling and distribution that will go to selling and distribution okay vaishnavi uh, nishi or uh, tejas okay fine so everyone said two only okay office salaries office salaries uh, okay which will go to the office and administration o i have written or o n a office and administration now uh there is one point now you will say sir why you did like this so i will say wait your interest on borrowed fund it will be ignored or this will not form part of actually a cost sheet why sir i will tell you later on as of now i can just tell you it is a financial expense it is not a expense which is connected to the product but it is connected to the company there is one chapter which is yet to be done which is reconciliation statement when you when i teach you that reconciliation i will tell you there are certain expenses which are ignored by cost accountant okay but still as of now i can just tell you this much this is a uh, expense which is not connected with the product but ha huh, wait for it i will tell you reason also when we learn what reconciliation but as of now i can say you have to ignore because it is a financial expense in simple words if i want to put okay here we go then now having said that uh, you just have to refer this uh, till here that is uh, clothing stocks of uh, finished goods raw material and a wip now even before i calculate because i have done all the markings i want answer of raw material consumption from your side please send me that answer answer of raw material consumption please try and send the answer whether it is right or wrong that is secondary but you have to give the answer participation is more important i will repeat that again and again so please give me the raw material consumption ka answer Yeah, Dhruvi, Vaishnavi, that is right answer. Nishi, right answer. Dhruvi, Vaishnavi, Nishi. Okay. Uh, Vedant, right answer. Moksha, right answer. Okay. Uh, Tejas, right. Krish, uh, right. Okay, Krish, I think you added uh, one extra zero. That is okay, but maybe typing error we can say. Okay. Huh. Okay. Oh, uh, fair enough. So, uh, uh, let's uh, start with this then. Uh, you just need to give the heading as raw material consumed, and then we will calculate the amount of raw material consumed. So, heading will be given as uh, raw. material consumed okay now in this heading uh, the first thing will be opening stock of raw material so if you talk about opening stock of raw material uh, it is uh, this okay uh, i will just see this which is 1,40,000 so let's write which is 1,40,000 then we must have purchased some raw material this time there is written also so add purchase then subtract purchase written okay when you say add purchase and purchase written so let me check 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 RMC metal purchased is given freight is given purchase written is given okay so accordingly uh, 
ठीक है यू कैन आफ्टर परचेस ऑल्सो यू कैन राइट फ्रेट इन वर्ड दैट इज ओके डू दैट ओनली चलेगा ऐसा कुछ दैट डज नॉट इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट देर शुड बी वन सीक्वेंस आई देर इवन इफ यू राइट फर्स्ट फ्रेट इन वर्ड देन यू सब्सट्रैक्ट परचेस रिटर्न दैट इज ओके फर्स्ट फ्रेट इन वर्ड ओके दैट वॉज रिटर्न फ्रेट इन वर्ड माइनस परचेस रिटर्न okay uh when you say purchase uh so the purchase was 320000 uh then 16000 is a freight inward and the purchase return is a 4800 so it will be subtracted okay so that is the information which is there uh later on if you see uh, there is is there any other information is there any other information which is given in the table no sir with reference to rmc there is no information then in adjustment there is a closing stock which is given which is 1 lakh 80000 it will be subtracted that is closing stock of raw material uh which was 1 lakh na ek second uh 1 lakh 80000 so it will be subtracted and final answer of raw material consumed will come in the outer column 1 lakh 40000 plus 3 lakh 20 plus 16 minus 4800 minus 1 lakh 80 that is 2 lakh 91 1200 okay so that is my answer so we got direct uh, raw material consumed after direct uh, raw material comes is direct labor or direct wages whatever you say if you want you can add it and directly show in the outer column both values that is a paid and outstanding or if you want you can show the bifurcation first you will write paid in inner column then you will write outstanding okay so let's read uh you can see that uh, here here uh, it is a direct labor the amount is 160 in which 8000 or uh, the 8000 outstanding it will be added so direct uh, employee cost the heading was direct employee cost okay so 160 plus 8 so if that total is taken 160 plus 8 that will become 168000 and now when you take the total that will be prime cost if you take the total that will be prime cost yes and that is 4 lakh 59200 okay now again i am giving you one task i would like to see that whether you can calculate in rough or not we will write in fair okay i would like to see whether you are getting it wrong or right or not so if i write here as a factory overhead okay that i will write on the next page suppose this is my prime cost so yeah this prime cost is written now in this factory overhead will be added when you write factory overhead we need to write a list of expenses in the inner column and after adding those what is the final amount that will come outside outer column so i want to know this what is the final amount which will come here as a factory overhead please make some uh, 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 additions in rough and tell me this so that i will come to know that you are getting it right it is like one homework for you here only in class or a small test we can please calculate and tell me amount of factory overhead you have all the markings Uh, Vaishnavi, nahi. There is a possibility we'll forget something, and that should not happen. So please take care of the fact that you 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 should not forget that one thing. There is one thing which you will forget. But make mistakes in class. That is okay. Not in exam. Uh, Vaishnavi, nahi. Show 
is it visible okay ध्रुवी और दैट इज राइट आंसर और निशि नहीं अविदांत नहीं मोक्षा नहीं एज आई टोल्ड यू देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट यू विल मेक मिस्टेक हियर एंड व्हाट दैट मिस्टेक विल बी लेट्स चेक फॉर दैट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल when you write factory over it now we need to rely, write list of expenses which are uh, which comes in the category of factory overhead and we have made some markings so accordingly we will proceed with that if you start from here the first one is here which is plant and machinery that is depreciation on plant and machinery so please write first as depreciation on plant and machinery depreciation on plant and machinery we can calculate that uh, which is 460500 into 40% so uh, 460500 into 40% is it 40 or 4% sorry it is a 10% ha huh. it is 10% If you calculate that, that will be a four six zero five zero. Okay, four six uh, zero five zero. That is depreciation on plant and machinery. Then, if you go ahead again, acha. There is working. Acha. Everything where working note is written, that will be uh, dealt with uh, later on. But we will deal with this later on. Once we are done with all the classifications. Okay, that is all factory overhead elements. So we'll deal with this later on. Okay. Then there is again, again, again here. We have factory over it. Don't take only eighteen thousand. There is outstanding also, which is twelve hundred. It will be added indirect employee cost. So please write indirect cost, indirect labor cost, or the employee cost. Ah, uh, that is eighteen plus twelve hundred. So eighteen thousand plus twelve hundred. So that is ah. Uh, Eighteen thousand, or so nineteen thousand twelve hundred. Okay, so that is your indirect employee cost. Then, 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 ah, uh, there is a factor supervision which is ten thousand. So ten thousand factor supervision. So ten thousand will be factor supervision. Okay. Once that is written, that uh, factory supervision is ten thousand. Then uh, there is a uh, repairs and factory upkeeping expenses fourteen thousand. Repairs we can say in simple words. Repairs. Okay, repairs is written now. After repairs, heat light that will be uh, done later on, and repairs working note. Then there is miscellaneous. Uh, Which is eighteen thousand seven hundred. After that, there is no factory cost. Eighteen thousand seven hundred. Miscellaneous. Factory cost. Factory cost or factory expenses. Ach now. Now even before you close this, you guys will have to refer all the working notes wherever the factory overhead has come. You have to write that, and there are three working notes which we have prepared. One with reference to heat and lighting, so that will be written. It is this value. This will be written. Then again here there is factory overhead. Again here there is factory overhead. So everything will be written first. Heat light. Second one is rates and taxes, and the third one is depreciation. heat light rates and taxes depreciation on building heat light and power we can say heat light rates and taxes depreciation on building so if you refer uh, the respective working notes like for this working note number 1 for this working note number 2 for this working note number 3 you will get the respective values that is uh, 52000 4200 first 52000 
then 4200 then again if you refer over there that is uh, 6400 and finally that's it now you will take the total and you will put that in outer column 46050 plus 19200 plus 10000 plus 14000 plus 18700 plus 52000 plus 4200 plus 6400 that is 170 double five zero so that will be the answer and once we take the total you get works cost gross works cost or gross factory cost six two nine seven five zero or uh, six two nine 750 okay so here it is 629750 now having done this having done this now if we proceed ahead uh, here we have uh, the data will be now with reference to so uh, that's the solution now uh, yeah we got this gross factory cost now you will have to make adjustments for your uh, WIP then you will get your factory cost so add opening stock of WIP less closing stock of WIP add less add opening stock of WIP less closing stock of WIP So let us check the value opening stock is here which is a 2 lakh and closing stock is in adjustment which is 1 lakh 92 2 lakh and 1 lakh 92 that will be adjusted and then you will get your factory cost now but in this question you can see there is no information which is available uh, for a QRAP. Tell me, uh, if I talk about Q, that is not there. Quality control, R, research and development is not there. A, administration. Achha. In the question, office and administration is there. But nowhere it is written that it is connected to production activity. It is not written. It means it is general administration over it. So that E is also not there. QRAP, primary packing is not there. Minus crap, that is also not there. So in the absence of information, then if it is not there, your factory cost will become your factory cost will become your cost of production because there is no Q wrap in between. So that becomes your cost of production, which is uh, 620. Uh, here we can 629 then plus 2 lakh and it's 1 lakh 92 that is 63 six three seven seven five zero okay and then we will add opening stock of finished goods closing stock of finished goods subtracted then you will get cogs add you should know the format of cost sheet okay to solve these questions opening stock of finished goods subtract closing stock of finished goods then you will get cost of goods sold so the opening stock and closing stock values this will be given in the questions uh, if we just have a look your opening stock value is 80,000 and closing stock value is 1,15,80 and 1,15,80,000 1 lakh 15 that is 602750 602750 6 lakh 2750 that is your cost of goods sold again add administration which is office Achha. here you will add office and administration overhead 
here you will add selling and distribution overhead and then you will get cost of sales Now, we do not know the value of office and administration and we do not know the value of selling and distribution. But sir, why you did not do like this? Can you tell me the reason why I have not written office and administration overhead like this? The way I have written for factory overhead, I haven't applied that. What I am going to do is, I will write here in bracket refer schedule. The same thing will be written here, refer schedule. And we have made schedule number one as a schedule of cost of sales because it is the requirement of the question. If you read the requirement of the question uh, carefully, it was written. First, you guys will have to make the cost of sales schedule supporting schedules that is first is cost of sales then there is a selling and distribution then there is an administration so it is up to you now first i am making administration office and administration over it so now it is a second schedule and the final amount will be written over there in the cost of sales schedule over here we will write that so uh, schedule of office and administration Now, when you give this heading that is office of, uh, oh, sorry, schedule of office and administration. Now here, particulars, amount or total, whatever you write that is okay. Let's start writing the expenses first from the cost sheet. Uh, first from the question, uh, there is first one is uh, depreciation on office appliances. Okay, I can show that working, uh, which is 17,400 uh, multiplied by 5%. multiplied by 5%, that becomes 870. Okay, now, after that, if we refer the question, yes, uh, this is done office appliances then 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 oh where we have written oh 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 here that is office salaries and expenses you can see office salaries and expenses which is uh, 8600 office salaries and expenses now there is no other cost which is there in the uh, uh, question now what you will do is refer, you will refer the working notes and whatever uh, expenses are there in working notes you will just copy those okay so here we have a look here we have office and administration if you just have a look 6500 here it is 2100 here also it is there so the first one is here I can just copy as it is these three things which is heat light rates and taxes yeah the only change will be this or uh, the va values will change so we'll change the values of this heat light rates and taxes so please copy those values from there for office and administration it is 6500 2100 and 800 6500 2100 and 800 6500 2100 and 800 that's it there is no other cost take the total and then you have a total cost of office and administration in the schedule okay Eight seventy plus eight thousand six hundred plus six thousand five hundred plus two thousand one hundred plus eight hundred. That becomes one eight eight seven zero. 
Okay, now <clears throat> here we go. After that, there is a next uh, schedule that will be prepared. Three, four, six. Uh, I don't have that much space to write here, so I will shift to the next page. Okay. Now, uh, if anything is pending from your end, so please write it down. Acha, uh, first we need to copy this. Acha, we need to make one more schedule. That is the schedule with reference to selling and distribution. That will be your third schedule. So let's make the third schedule. Okay. Third schedule of selling and distribution overheads. Particulars. Then you will say amount. Now. Wherever you have marked something as S, that is something which is connected with selling and distribution. So please, uh, let's go for it. Now, here we go. Uh, there is S, S, no S is written. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, here we go. Sales commission, sales traveling, sales promotion. Sales commission, sales traveling, sales promotion. Sales commission. Sales traveling, sales promotion. And the value is CTP and yeah, CTP, yes, yeah, CTP, and the value is uh, 33,600, 11,000, 22,500, 36, 33,600, 11,000. And uh, then uh, 22,500. Yes. So uh, we have uh, written this much uh, from the question. Uh, then again, in the trial balance, if you read ahead, there is one more expense, which is distribution department salaries are 18,000. That is distribution department salaries, 18,000. Okay. Distribution. department salaries so uh, these are the expenses which we have written now now we we are done with the trial balance we are done with the trial balance which was connected with s now we need to refer the working notes and wherever you see selling and distribution you have to write so if you refer working note number one yes there is selling and distribution that is six thousand five hundred then here it is 800 which is depreciation there are two heat light and depreciation on building so please give that heading heat light and depreciation on building heat light and power actually that is heat light and power depreciation on building there is working note number one which is prepared for this Working note number three is prepared for this. Okay, uh, the value will be uh, 6,500, 800. 6,500 and 800. Ninety-two four hundred. The the value of selling and distribution will be written in the schedule of cost of sales, which is ninety to four hundred here. Ninety to four hundred and just take the total. Total uh, cost of sales will be seven one four zero two zero. 7,14,020. Please write this. This is your total cost of sales. Okay.
डन ओके नौ now after this uh, i hope that that is written hello yes okay now uh akshat uh, i made that change now you can see this it is 11000 that was a printing error okay fine so that is a printing error please make that necessary change if you haven't it was not 121 okay fine now uh, having done this uh, what was the actual requirement of the question uh, that was not the cost sheet actually that was that was if we read the question again here you can read that the requirement was a condense profit and loss statement of go getter and company so we guys will have to make and before that that statement should support this schedules we made this three schedules which is a schedule of cost of sales schedule of selling and distribution and schedule of administration now let us go for this uh, pnl account okay condense it means we can just summarized summarized pnl account okay so now in the books of uh, go getter company we can give that heading in the books of go getter company the way you write in your accounts a profit and loss statement for the year ended 30th september profit and loss statement for the year ended 30th September 2020. So we are going to make profit and loss account statement for this year. And yes, there will be two columns, particulars. One is inner column, one will be outer column. Okay. So now uh, let us make condense that is summarize PNL account. Okay. Now if you have a look, uh, the sales information was there in the question. Here, here we go. The sales was seven lakh sixty eight and sales return is uh, fourteen thousand. So we will write here gross sales. Minus sales return. What you will write is gross sales minus sales return. Okay, so sales return. So in that case, your gross sales was seven lakh sixty-eight thousand, and sales return uh, was fourteen thousand. So what was your net sales? Seven lakh fifty-four. Okay, so uh, your sales is your sales is we can say that is a seven lakh fifty four. Now from this we will subtract your cost of sales, cost of a product, cost of sales. That is a seven one four zero two zero, which came from schedule three. Once uh, that is being subtracted. the amount which you get is known as net operating profit are you done with cash flow statement hello yes or no maybe not done with as3 accounting standard 3 cash flow statement i i think you are not done with that hello no sir no theek no. hai so fine 
देर यू विल लर्न दैट इंटरेस्ट इज अ फाइनेंशियल एक्सपेंस ओके बट ठीक है यार आई कैन से नो नेट ऑपरेटिंग नेट ऑपरेटिंग इनकम नेट ऑपरेटिंग इट मीन्स इनकम विच इज जनरेटेड थ्रू द बिजनेस सी लाइक आई कैन नेट ऑपरेटिंग इनकम फर्स्ट इफ आई राइट दिस इट इज लाइक विच इज इनकम विच इज प्योरली जनरेटेड थ्रू बिजनेस ओके नाउ नाउ देर इज वन कॉस्ट विच वी हैव इग्नोर दैट इज इंटरेस्ट कॉस्ट बिकॉज इट इज अ फाइनेंशियल इन नेचर इट इज नॉट कनेक्टेड विथ प्रोडक्ट लाइक आई कैन गिव यू वन सिंपल वेदर इट इज इंटरेस्ट वेदर इट इज expense or as a income let me give you an example suppose suppose guys you have factory okay and let us say that by earning some money you you uh, you got 10 lakh rupees as a profit and let then this 10 lakh has been invested in the business not in business let us say in bank and when you invest this 10 lakh rupees in bank bank is going to give you interest there is a fixed deposit that we made okay for let us say 10 years or 5 years whatever it is every year let us say bank will give you on those 10 lakhs 10 lakh into 6% let us say bank will give you 50000 per annum as interest now tell me this interest is income yes sir this is income but whether this income is connected with production activity or not so understand now there is one factory which is there with us there is one factory which is there with us you generate sales of a 10 uh, let us say the sales of 10 lakh rupees has been generated now when sales will be generated only when you carry out this production activity when your raw material will be converted into finished product and this product will be sold in the market if you stop your production activity this income will stop but tell me uh, whether if you uh, if you stop your factory if you shut down your factory uh whether bank will uh, stop paying interest or it will still pay you the interest till the time you have deposited money in bank i hope you understand bank will never ask you whether uh, your factory is running or not bank will give you the interest because they have kept your money guys so understand this this is income but whether this income is connected with product or not so whether tell me whether this income is connected with product yes or no is it connected with product no interesting ha huh. so i can say that if i make cost sheet as a cost accountant cost sheet is always made for a product that this product generates this much sales for this product i incur this much cost and this is my profit for this product okay so specifically by selling the product i earn this much profit so if anything which is not connected to the product cost accountant will not write and uh, will not write that in their cost sheet because it is not connected to the product it is income of the company i understand but this is not the income of the product therefore that will be ignored a detailed discussion will be done when we learn reconciliation then i will give you the perspective of financial accountant and that perspective of financial accountant will be compared with the perspective of cost accountant and i will give you the reasons also that cost accountant will ignore these expenses the shortcut is diwali and like the end word that i stands for interest i have explained you only one so there are other expenses also which are ignored by cost accountant uh, the reason will be simple because these expenses are not expenses of the product okay so therefore interest and all that will come later on but as of now i can say interest is a expense or income of the company that's why it is ignored or it is a financial expense or financial income in simple words if i want to put now because it is a pnl account it is not something which is prepared uh, as a financial accountant so in this case when you make pnl account here interest will be written this is income of a product income generated through the product this income hello okay now now here we go now here if we write uh, this is the income which is generated through the product now let us subtract cost which is uh, interest interest on borrowed fund so if you borrow the funds you guys will have to pay the interest so interest on borrowed funds again please take a note of this fact that you have paid 2000 as a interest and in the adjustment you can see that in the adjustment 
2000 still it was pending from your side which was written interest on borrowed fund 2000 so total if i talk about that total will come to 4000 that total will come to 4000 and because it is expense of the company company has borrowed funds so it will be subtracted and then you will get the net profit of the company net profit okay 35980 that is gonna be the profit of the company 35980 and yes that is the solution which took around one hour to solve uh, for this question we took one hour okay or uh, to be very precise one hour and two minutes two minutes okay uh, so we are done with uh, this question if you want to show me some uh, any side of the solution you can uh, tell me that sir please uh, that part is pending please show working note number one schedule number one schedule number two please tell me that i will show you that part okay so if no one says anything it means you have written with me okay so that's it so we are done with this uh, question